in food. Well, let's hope our brain has a bit of an appetite today, because i got to play as a kind of complicated nation that I've not used before, and I'm not used to free spawners like this. So I, I told the Mario Marathon Master, who brought this game back to the channel, that they could decide what our first nation is going to be, or what our first game is going to be. And they said, yeah, play Lemuria versus three disciple nations. And I'm just like, oh, well, okay, I said I'd do it, so we're going to do it. Uh, that means the first thing we need to do is create ourselves a Lemuria, but I'm running with a bunch of mods. What could it be? Jake playing mods with the game? What am I playing with? I'm playing with AI No Recruit. This stops the AI from wasting all their resources on crappy militia that they find in random provinces, and that means they're going to recruit a lot more of their much stronger national troops. This just makes the AI straight up better. It doesn't affect you as a player in any way. Uh, that's good, because facing endless waves of AI chaff that you can instantly crush isn't very engaging, especially into the mid and late game. I am running with the custom global name list. Uh, I asked the community to just put forward their names and fun fictional names, and those are going to be the names that are picked from for all of the commanders that spawn in the game. So if you add it to the list, you could be there. So you might be some amazing super combatant that we send into battle, or you could be my little slave that sits down chained to his desk doing my research. Um, I'd say about 85% of named commanders don't really amount to anything, but it's those few that go out and really make a name for themselves that are... Well, we'll see who they end up being. 30 random nations have been generated for this, so I've grouped all of the nations into a single middle age, and in addition we've got 30 randomly made nations. We'll have a look at a few of those. Uh, that's what One Age does, groups everybody together, so we don't have to play as anything other than Middle Age. And Sensible Battle AI just makes your off-script mages not act quite so stupid. I don't know exactly what changes that does, but it seems to be good. Spark of Divinity I was going to run with, but it's just a little bit too... You know when a mod is so impactful that everything becomes about the changes the mod does? That's what this feels like. When I played with it... I started to feel like all my strategies were based around what this mod was doing, and that's a bit too overhauly for me. It basically just makes the Pretender Gods have lots of uh, lots of unique effects, and some of those effects can be overwhelming strategically. Right, let's get to it then. I need to create a, a Pretender God for a Disciple game, even though we will not be running a Disciple, or having any Disciples, we have to make it for this. And we are going to be playing as, 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 I think if I go down to the bottom and come up a bit, I will find Lemuria, the Soul Gates. So most nations play roughly the same. Lemuria does not. Lemuria has no commanders and no units, and its only site is the Scalaris, which just generates death gems. Uh, in short, there was a big Roman-themed nation that collapsed. So they raised all of their dead to fight, and eventually all the dead turned to dust. So they just ended up raising the ghosts, and now you have a ghost army. The ghosts will freely spawn in your provinces, most specifically inside your forts, and you gotta go and fight with them. Lemuria is late age, Jake. Uh, yes. Oh, maybe you were telling me for where to look onto the, uh, on the list, yeah. So I have to create a pretender based on this, and really I don't know what I'm, what I'm gonna do with them, so... Perhaps we can brainstorm together. Now, to complicate this, I do not have the traditional blesses that you would see in a game. I ran a little program that remakes your game and changes all the blesses. So, you're not going to see the traditional ones here, you're going to see a whole load of new ones. And I have to decide what we're going to use out of this list in order to make ourselves a... Uh, a good nation. Now what makes Lemuria a pain to plan around is it doesn't show you any of the bloody units that you're going to get. Fortunately, I do have that list somewhere. Do I have it here? I think this is it, yeah. This is a list of the stuff that summons in the game, or what you can summon. So I can t see that we've got centurions, consuls, tribunes, senator. This is, this is a real pain to look through, so I'm just going to pay attention to a few things. I plan on thugging this consul because he's he's got fear, uh, he's an immortal sacred, so I think a lot of my strategy is going to be uh, based around how I can make this guy awesome. I could also load up the mod inspector for this. We're going to be referring to this quite a bit. No, no ice devils for me, thank you. I want to know about the 
console? Imperial console? Grave console? Why am I not seeing the console there? Because it's console, not console. There we go. Lemur console. I want to work with this guy, but he's not the only sacred. In fact, we could find out who our sacreds are by going to Late Age Lemuria. What kind of order is this in? Lemuria, the Soul Gates, and tell me who your all units sacreds are. Oh, you get Wraith Lords. But this console is the one that I can crap out. I swear, I thought there was a, um, I thought there was some kind of mall wielding three spawn, but maybe this doesn't show that. Oh god, when you turn on, uh, when you don't have national only, it shows a whole lot. We can't see the open menus, Jake. Oh, right, when I was hovering over the other thing. You can't see that. Oh, no, you can see that. Hmm. Yeah, Glorious Dawn 5 Mod Inspector is fantastic. Anyway, free spawn troops. I don't know why Lictor wasn't showing up here, but I'm sure if I just turn off all of this and just plug in Lictor. Yeah, there we go. Spectral Lictor. So you might end up being my free spawn sacreds that I use if I can get enough of you. And you're going to be my thug. So I don't want to go too heavy on the bless, but I want something that's going to make this guy quite impressive in battle. Not that he needs that much, he already has protection 19, which is pretty damn high. Um, attack skill and defense skill of 16 is also amazing, and he is uh, ethereal. That sounds amazing, but he has weaknesses, everyone's got weaknesses. He's only size 2, and he is undead, so a lot of undead counters. The humble priest could come and thwack this guy. Magic resistance 17 is okay, but still vulnerable. But he has... Magic power. So his stats are going to be boosted as long as magic is high, so I'm definitely going to be doing that. Right, I, I just need to figure out what kind of bless I'm going to use to do this, but even though I know most of the vanilla blesses, I don't know these other blesses, so let's go and see if we can find something that works well with that, shall we? Uh, the first thing I'm, I think I'll do is I'm going to set my dominion. Uh, because we're a, we are a nation that spreads death and kills everyone in our domain, it makes a lot of sense to tank our scales, because we're not going to have a population that uses these scales. This gives us more points to spend on our bless and stuff. I understand that if you don't know this game, none of this is going to make any sense. And that's just the Dominion's 5 experience until you eventually learn the game. Uh, and I suppose this is a terrible nation to start with, because it doesn't make s it, it kind of flips a lot of the rules of the game on its head, because you don't actually recruit armies, but hey-ho. Lictors are so rare. Don't expect many of them. Any interest in input? Are you just going for up? Oh, certainly interested in input. There's just the problem with Dominions players that you can get too much input, so uh, don't feel too bad if I end up ignoring things. Right, we got a ton of stuff. Do we have anything interesting in fire that would work well for us? Da 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 da. -da. I really, really like awe. Either sun awe or regular awe. It's just one extra point to get regular awe. All would work well with us because we have fear on our unit. Fear synergizes really well with awe, and that would destroy a lot of the incoming attacks. So I would love to get that, although it's quite heavy. This is just the DDR Jake experience. I'm mostly understanding nothing. I'm just happy that Jake understands it until I realize he doesn't either. I understand a fair bit of Dominions. I'm not very good at the game, but I'd say I'm competent enough. I'd get destroyed in multiplayer though, but I don't like multiplayer in this game. And it's not just because I get destroyed. Right, air. Is there anything that I truly care about here in air? I mean, some of this would be nice, but nothing that I'm wor that I'm wanting to spend a lot of air on here. Protective force 14 is pretty big, but five and two, and protective force only happens half the time, so blur to that. Extra chill aura would be kind of nice, because our consoles that we're looking at have chill aura three, so that would double the aura. But I feel like it would be a waste, because it comes with packed in cold resistance, and all of our units have cold resistance. Quickness is incredibly tempting. Look at that. 6 and 4. Much cheaper than the 10 water you'd have to spend in vanilla. And quickness is just... Mmm. Would work well with the fact that we're undead, and we wouldn't face much uh, fatigue anyway. I always love all three, Jake. Same with that strength, plus 8. My days. Well, we'll get there. Looking at earth magic... 
I like that seed strength. That's that's a really cool one. And you can stack it. You could put down multiple uh, seed strengths. That's what the little asterisk there means. I'm not going to use that for here because we're probably going to have loads of undead chaff for doing sieges, and they don't exactly need supplies anyway. But I'm going to keep that in mind for future builds. Strength of giants doesn't need incarnate. Strength eight. Mm -hmm. So one of the big weaknesses we have on our go-to thug console guys is that they're not very killy, by which I mean they, they can't really kill much. His only weapon is a short sword. The short sword has damage 5. On top of his strength, 15. Means he's going to be hitting for about 20. Probably a bit more because he's going to have some boosts with that. But that's just a single target attack. This guy wouldn't be able to take out PD even very well with that. He probably would. He'd stand there and scare them off with his fear. But either I invest gems into making them more killy, or I give them more strength and stuff. I'd probably give them weapons, but I only have death gems, so... Don't know, I need to figure out a way to make these guys kill a bit more. Strength 8, 5 uh, earth, and 3 blood is pretty amazing. Incarnate only is a pain for that, it means it's only going to work when our god is around. So yeah, uh, uh, very tempting, very, very tempting. What else do we have over an astral? Well, astral has that quickness, of course. Otherwise, I think it looked quite weak overall. Although, what does master ritualist plus two do? That might be insanely powerful. If that, if that's what I think it is, and it gives you plus two to your magic pass for, for the uh, sake of rituals, then that is actually amazing. And magic penetration three would be amazing for an astral nation. Oh, imagine the mind burns. Let you cast any spell plus two on your path. Yeah, that's um, it's it's not really great for battle. Well, uh, this certainly is, but master ritualist two would be great for strategies around putting up globals and uh, a lot of summons. Yeah, Jake, you are an astral nation. We are. He double checks his. Uh, well, we are. We are light. Maybe not even light last astral. The Thaumaturges and the Lemurs get 1 in 2 Astral, and there's a 1 in 4 chance of getting 3 Astral and Lemur. I don't want to play this as an Astral Nation, though. I want to play this as a pretty straight dead nation, though. Skelly Spam and Ghost Spam. If we go with Death... Hmm, the Fear 5 would make our Fear 5 go up to Fear 10, but I, I don't feel that's worth it. It's still expensive to get Fear here. Corpse Eating... Undying, I'm not sure any of this really speaks to me. What about the nature and blood? Nature... <laughs> Regeneration 20%, now there's a hell bless recipe right there. There's Berserker as well. Blood has loads of hit points. Blood Surge 6 for 7 blood is extremely tasty. And I'm very tempted to get that. Since I'm going to be thugging, and I, well I do plan to thug, that means that Blood Surge is very good, because your individual guy is going to be killing. Blood Surge 6 is huge. That gives you 6 attack, 3 defense, 6 strength. And is there anything else Blood Surge gives you? Oh yeah, that's also going to give you, I think, 3... Is it 3 or 6 reinvigoration from that? Although I don't think we really have encumbrance on ourselves, do we? Yeah, we're encumbrance 0 on our undead unit. Even so, that Blood Surge is tempting. Check your big summons. Isn't there a way to check out magic here? View all researchable spells. These are our summons for our uh, for our mages. Again, we have to summon commanders because we only get free spawn otherwise. Hmm. <laughs> wow, I didn't know you could do this, says Nix. Could do what? Right, man, this is difficult to choose. I might just go Awe and Blood Surge and try and get my consoles out there pretty quickly. Check Magic, the Contender screen. Come now, Nyx, you know you can press question mark to see almost all hotkeys available. Yeah, I, I don't want to spend forever thinking about this, so let's go all 3 Blood Surge 6. Now, can we find a chassis that gives fire blood? Looking forward to Dom 6 actually showing this better. We're only allowed Dominion 4 and 3 Pretenders because of uh, this being a Disciples game. Fire Blood, huh? Do any of these guys do Fire Blood? 
Well, you're Fire Earth. That's kind of close. Uh, on top of that, you've got Forge Bonus and Master Smith. You could actually give me Fire Brands if I had the if I had the gem income for it. That's uh, marginally tempting. I wonder if I could switch out in, uh, Blood Surge for anything with Earth in it. This is the dangerous part of creating a god. You come up with a strategy and then you meld it so much that it doesn't become part of your strategy at all anymore. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What's Forge Bonus 5%? What's that even going to do for you? Larger Masons. Forge Bonus plus 2. That's plus 2 to your level, right? No, but it could make me incredibly... Could make you incredibly good at just cranking out cheap items. And this guy with... Well, I, I only have this one guy though, don't I? But still... But still, there's a little bit of a temptation there. Hmm... What about blood? What about blood? I don't want to spend too much of my expensive bloody stuff. Check the Demi Lich, that's a favourite for rainbows on Lemuria. He's quite cheap. He's only 20 for a new path. He's a boring immobile. Or in a, well, he doesn't move, that's for sure. But it's very expensive to crank up that 8 fire for awe out of you. Then again, could go dormant or even imprisoned. Let's see, I've already got the death. What could I add to you? Causing afflictions. That'd be good counter thugging, but this isn't MP, so it's probably not too much. Um, what's our undead leadership normally? That could be really good for moving around a lot of units at once. And just truly enormous armies. But I'm probably not going to be shy on... Uh, Probably not going to be shy on moving on commanders to move people around anyway. Undying seven, ah, not worth it. That causing afflictions does sound quite funny in a way. Anything else we can get to? Vulnerability, undead regen. Ooh, undead regeneration actually. That might well be worth our time. And we are undead after all. Let's this seems kind of good. So anything else that I would really want? It's not the end of the world just to shove four onto you. I would like Dominion to be higher, though. Mm. But I can't really squeeze out any more without curving down anything here. Long dead archers have banefire bows, don't they? That I don't know. I don't want to lower magic, and I don't want to lower, uh, lower fortune, and I can't lower these anymore. The alternative is to imprison him, but then I go a long time without having my blesses operational. But that might not be a bad thing. I think I can go quite a while without having these online, and then my thuggy stuff would just be late game. And I'm probably going to need some time to prepare items for them anyway. Yeah, let's let's try and be let's try and be quite frightening without our bless online. Does mean if I get rushed by a disciple, though, I'm going to be in hot water, because I really want that Dominion, but that allows me to get another Bless out. I could get five in anything, or if I went one, two, three, one, two, three, I could do something like that. None of this seems worth my time. Reincarnation! No. Quick thought, how much, uh, hit, how many hit points do our consoles have? 33, so they're re gonna regen for four. A few extra hit points aren't going to change anything there. Reformings for inanimates. Poison weapons is bleh. We already have perfect dark vision. I think army healer will be a big thing to care about. What do we get on four? Poison skin. I don't see the benefit of poison skin. Long weapons just completely remove that as a thing. Uh, I don't actually know what good solar weapons are, but I'll just ignore that. Could I get anything out of earth, water, or Air. Protective forces. Well, it's just another layer of defense. Air shield. Mm, overcharge doesn't give you shock resistance, so that's a bit. Mm, yeah. Aren't ghosts frightening by default? 
Um, some of us have fear, but not all of us. That extra chill aura is honestly a bit tempting, but I just feel like I'm wasting that cold resistance. There is defense skill boosting. Defense skill. It's rather nice because it's already quite high. Hmm. Alternatively, <laughs> we could get even larger. Extra size, extra health, extra strength. Larger not being a cross path is really rather nice here. Strength of giants as well. With dead population, you won't have too many blood slaves. Do you really need blood on your god? I'm getting it for the blood surge. I don't tend to use blood magic. But I do like that bless. Hmm. That's a cross path, so that's kind of out of it. It's been a while, but consider with who you want to summon your mages early on. If I recall correctly, you need a pretender to have death if you want to have better mages or empower. Empower's not so bad. I think I'll just empower my way forward. Although... Yeah, I'd probably still empower. Uh, empowering is expensive. No, actually, I can just wait for you to come online. Those consoles are going to be my go-to strategy once you're online as well. Mm -hmm. Do we even need reinvigoration? Do we even care about reinvigoration? Are our mages sacred? That's the question. I'm gonna have a quick look. Who's my my thaumaturges? Are my are my uh, death two mages who I might use to crank out skelly spam, and they are indeed sacred. So having them crank out more skellies when it comes to it sounds rather nice. So I think I'll go reinvigoration. And that, that gives me one annoying bit of uh, magic here. Cave Spider, this is just so useless, and this is probably even more useless. Ugh, I haven't wasted points like that. I have a sudden longing for that prophet-shaped manticore. It seems amusing to me, with no other reasons. What is even a manticore? Dominion 5 Mod Inspector, help me out. I said I wasn't going to spend forever on uh, making our stuff here, but here I am. Right, manticore. Whoa! Crikey, look at you! Well, you're still fearful. You're a size 5, 62 hit points, 3 attacks. You know what? That stops you from... That makes you a lot more tanky, in a, in a sense. Although you lose a lot of your protection. You know what? That is pretty funny. And you are flying. I hope you keep your magic paths. All right, you know what, let's do that then. We're gonna have Manticore Prophet for this. Reinvigoration, Undead, Blood Surge, oh, we still have a few points as well. Yeah, I could shove another one on these, but what do I get, get out of that? Nothing worth knowing. In that case, I'm gonna have Dominion Strength 8. Oops, yeah, that's the problem with using Dawn 5 Mod Inspector, gets in the way like that. All right, for better or for worse, this'll be the build that we go with. So, our, we're still going with a thuggy... Um, oh, right, Reinvigoration doesn't need Incarnate only, so if I'm early rushed, I can Skelly Spam with Reinvigoration up. That's good. So, what's happening in short? We're going to have uh, nice thuggy guys that when they kill, they become even stronger. They're hard to hit because they're so awesome that no one wants to attack them. Because they're undead, they're going to regenerate 10% of their health every turn. And the big thing about regeneration is it rounds up. If you have 21 health then you regenerate three hit points every turn at 10%. That's pretty good. Right, let's go for it. Who who suggested this idea anyway? Uh, right. Scipio the Manticore Lover. There we go. Is it Manticore? Manticore? Yes. All right, Scipio, you're going to be leading us here. And that was a pretender for a disciple game. Right, enough faffing around. Let's get to it. I already made my map, because I figured I would need one. This is our map. Should be a reasonable enough size for the seven nations that we're going to have. 155 provinces. That's actually a lot of provinces per nation. Hmm. Oh well, we'll go with it anyway. 
Right, and this is Lemuria Disciples Stream. Disciples means that the um, the nations actually work in teams. There is a there's a I don't know the main one and its followers. Ah, oh, oh. oh, cripes. Uh, Lemuria Disciples Stream. There we go. So so so. I'm going to be playing on Mighty. Um, normal is way too easy. Difficult's all right. The the thing about difficulty is it just gives the AI a lot more resources. I think this is like 60% extra money, uh, gems, recruitment, everything. So if I have 10 provinces, they're going to have 16 provinces worth of power. And that makes them a lot better at chugging out units. It means even if you d deliver them a hell of a blow, they can really come on back. So, I need one, two, one, two, one, two. I myself will play as Lemuria. Oh, hey, hey, here's the thing. I didn't cover these guys at all, did I? We have got 30 randomly generated nations here. Let's just click on one uh, as an example. Osedorf, Disciples of the Mirror. Is this actually going to show them to us? Oh, we don't get the information on them. Bleh, I want to look at them a bit, coming out of here. Hmm, create a pretender god, let's say. Right. It'll auto black bottle, it'll auto you. So it just completely randomly generates a nation for you like this. So we've got one that's humans, Jotuns, they like heat scale, which is unusual, right? Normally Jotuns are cold people. Uh, they've got air, water, death, they've got great magic access, strong priests and standard forts. So it just randomly makes these kinds of units for you. So they've got some kind of... Um, a weird spy guy using a hatchet. They've got their Jotun Spearmaster. Champion of the Frost. It's pretty cool that it can write wee descriptions for them, generate them. Sometimes you get really weird mixes of units. I think I saw a weird one on... Was it Magma Cult? No, it wasn't, but Magma Cult has these snake people and wee hydras. Now that is pretty cool. Led by monkeys. What was the one I was looking at that was just... Impressing me. Rat pep. Looks like you got some kind of Abyssian midget riding a giant fossil creature. So he strikes you with a lance and a morning star whilst this guy uses fossil sword. Badass. Yeah, we got we got some we got some cool random nations. They're mixed in with all the other nations, so odds are good we're gonna be fighting against at least one of those today. And I will be playing as them after this run. I plan to work my way through some of the random, although I might go back to some vanilla nations every now and then. Right, let's go. As you can tell, I haven't got this uh, this playthrough idea very well structured. Uh, Lemuria Disciples stream. So, Disciples on, we are wherever Lemuria is. Difficult to find. There we go. Uh, Mighty AI, one, two, one, two, one, two, team one, team two, team three. One pretender god, one disciple each. It is random. They might synergize well, they might synergize terribly. You might have the pretender god on the enemy team be a pop kill nation that starves out their younger nation, but that's just too bad for them, and hey, I should be team one. There we go. It doesn't really matter what the numbers are, I think. Can I right-click to grant down? There we go. Let's have at least be sensible. I hope the UI for this changes in DOM 6. Setting up games is a pain. And if you make any mistake and need to back out, then it just straight up doesn't work. Disciple, disciple, disciple. And it is A-okay. That is cool. Looks similar to what Sturm whipped up for a mod nation. Yeah, and, and it's just a, a fire and forget. You can just hit a button and generate those nations for you. You can even generate them uh, unique magic, but the game has some real hard-coded limits on magic and blesses that it can have, and I didn't want to choke out vanilla spells with it. Uh, there's also a complete magic randomizer, which I do play sometimes in my spare time, but it's just so immense that I don't think it works well for a stream. Because every single spell you got to relearn. Alright, Scipio, you manticore lover, you're in charge. As for the game settings, again, I wish I just had preset for this. I have score graphs enabled. I max out the Hall of Fame list and enchantments. No limits on artifacts. If I somehow become AI, I want to be mighty. 
Uh, random researches, best research. Thrones of Ascension. Given our setup, I think we're going to have four ones, three twos, and two threes. That gives us 16 points. Victory will be at... Normally what I do is I set this to 50 so that you have to completely destroy everyone, but that can lead to a very long, grindy late game. So instead, I think I will say that you can win with 12 points. That means each of the thrones are worth their level in points. So... Yeah, there's a bit of danger if you get... Well, you'd actually need both the level 3s and all the level 2s for victory here. Anyway, that should that should do us. Alright, renaming is allowed. Unclusters? Oh, hell no. Cluster the start positions. Unclustered for, Domin uh, for Disciples game is rough stuff. This all seems right. Do we have no wraparound? We have no wraparound. And if it ends up wrapping around when I get in, then that's that's on me, isn't it? Now, when I get in, hopefully I'll also have the custom map names going. There's a lot of setup for this game, as you can see. But it's very rewarding, and once you know how, it becomes kind of easy. Right, so, here we are! What a terrible position for us! Okay. Well, never mind. Uh, there we go. Good, good, good. Looks like our custom names are working, because we've got Orbulon, and we've got Rocket Racer, the Thumaturge. Uh, and around us, your capital is always your nation's name, but we are adjacent to New, New London, Deep Canyon, Pitney Bank, Mumbo's Mountain, yeah, see, because it's a mountainous province, and Brazil, the well-known swamp. The Panama Canal is right between us and Blobhemia, Mm-hmm. We've got Brundisium over there as well. We've got Barville. The Highlands, Hailfire Peaks, McDonald Land. And Shitetsu Shows Holy Home, and California's over there. Right, well, here we go, I guess. Why did I say this is a horrible position, despite the fact that I have one, two, three, four, five, kind of six adjacent provinces? It's because I've got a big area to defend myself against here. It's not like I have a back to the wall here. Uh, if there are any nations that are able to get into the water, I could be invaded from the water. Although I can go in water, that's worth remembering. And even on my back, we've got this. Oh man, there's probably a clustered pair of disciples here. Probably some, probably the other two here and the other two around here. Uh, Lemuria gets its strength from expanding rapidly. And I will need to expand rapidly. My strategy revolves around using this guy quite a bit. He has magic power, so I want to spread my dominion and get my magic everywhere, despite the fact that my dominion kills everyone. But he's got this, fear. He also has this, ethereal. I want to use that fear to try and rout armies, but just having one of them means if he goes, the whole army loses. So the very first thing I'm going to do is forget how to... What's the, what's the alt key for summon? How did I forget that? It's such an important... Uh, Cast Ritual Spell? C? Big C? Yeah, there we go, that makes sense. I want a second one of him. He's a Centurion, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have two Centurions lead my g, -g, -g ghost army out to conquer the lands around me. We're gonna be struggling on money because we kill everyone in the provinces. That's what our uh, Dominion does. Look at that, we already have 1,100 corpses in our capital. These 7,400 people are gonna be dead inside a year or so. Right, so do I want you as my prophet? I mean, it doesn't make much sense not to have a prophet already, so I guess I will. I don't have a, a mini me, so I get to have my own prophet. And yeah, there's no recruitment to be done whatsoever around here. Alright, I'm actually quite nervous for this because with, um, with six hostile AIs out there, this could turn very south very fast. And this is a game with people that have extremely high skill levels, so I already feel quite judged. But let's carry on anyway. And let's hope that our very first expansion doesn't fail miserably. Oh, 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 right. Uh, I thought the chain shape was something you could choose to do. You know, like uh, press space bar and it says uh, chain shape. Okay, well I guess this is you now, Orbulon. 
You can wear a helmet, but otherwise this is you. Your old age? Oh, Christ, Manticore has a max age. Well, this is going real bad already. Ah, okay, well, never mind. The two of you are going to take our Giga -G -G Ghost army. I'm going to just have them all together, unscripted. Uh, they're not going to be led by the Manticore, because the Manticore doesn't appear to be able to give orders. Jeez, uh, I'm now kind of worried about your existence. You are going to be attacking on the front lines with them. You're going to be casting spells, I guess, behind them. I can't say I didn't try to avert that result. There goes most of his undead leadership. Yeah. Oof. Oh well, what's a man to do? Right, we need to strike out. We can see what's around us. We can't see how much value the provinces have. I want that money before everybody dies. I would also quite like to know who's over in the highlands, because there's a throne there. What will I do? Well, we'll just get moving, shall we? The two of you need to head on out. You're going to go to New London. Lion tribe archers and lion tribe warriors. They're not very strong, but they're plentiful. So when you go in, just no orders. That way you'll be able to throw your spectral javelins before you engage. Ah, that should work. I'm actually going to have you a little bit front there, like so. Should I give you some bodyguards, by the way, just to, just to make sure you're not going out there and getting instantly gimped? Couldn't hurt to give you two, two little bodyguards on you. There we go. You're going to go out there. And now... I am going to, 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 to... I'm going to get myself another Acolyte, actually. With two Acolytes, I should be able to crank out two of these Centurions per turn. And I'm going to have them go together in pairs with whatever g -g -g ghosts spawn in my capital. Uh, because the capital gets this free spawn. This is called free spawn. Because these guys just spawn for free. Who would have thought? And my plan is to expand as rapidly as I can throw up as many forts as I can, and then on the assumption that I'm going to get attacked by one or more disciples, uh, hunker down with my free spawn and skelly spam them until I can get my uh, my bless online, and then go and crush down on them. At a quick glance, where are all the thrones? They're really spread out. I highly doubt one nation is going to win before I can exert my influence here. Uh, what's that second to last icon on the free spawn? You mean this one? Vulnerability to salt? Uh, I don't think the AI has the wherewithal to throw salt at my units, so I think we'll be okay. Unless you mean floating, but surely you don't. That's a rare one. Well, it's vanilla. Right, let's hope our initial expansion doesn't fail miserably. It could. Right, New London. How did the battle go? Right, there they are. They advance forward. So this is, this is battles. Enemies on one side, you on the other. Uh, so, thank you. Looks like Orbulon is casting some nice spells for us. Orbulon cast. That is hard to see, isn't it? Let's do standard battle log. Protection of the Shadelands. You've got some unique spells you can cast. Unique priestly spells. I don't actually know what that protection gave us. But I'm sure it's great. I don't know if it only affects, um... Uh, sacreds or not. So, the Spectral Javelins get thrown. Our enemies have shields, so throwing things at them is not that effective. But in comes our ethereal fear aurid commander. Again, he's not very killy, but he is scary. That fear lowers the morale of people around him, and morale lowering can cause routing. Look at this poor bugger. He's meant to have 10 morale, but he's spooked down to 7. And I don't even think he's been hit by fear yet. On top of that, my ghostly units are also ethereal, so 75% of hits just get negated on them. Is that shown here? No, it's just him resisting an effect. Well, there's not a big fight going on just yet. They're all trying to go around and kill us, uh, but unless they get very lucky with striking through ethereal and good protection, we are going to be the one that mobs them. There we go. Go, my ghostly warriors. Our weapons are spectral, so if the enemy is able to uh, magically resist it, it'll only do half the damage. But I don't think the magic resistance of 10 that these Lion Tribe Warriors has is going to be cause for concern. Instead, we're going in, we are tenderizing them, the first load of them have now retreated. Now all they have left are their naked archers. They are naked, they have zero protection. Any hit is going to maim or kill, as long as it gets through. 
Wow, surprisingly missing quite a bit of these guys, even though they have defense skill 7. Uh, defense skill 8, that guy was harassed. But this is going quite well. Absolutely tenderizing these naked tribes people with my arm... Oh, they're not armored. They only have shields. Damn, okay, my free spawn. I thought they had some protection. They do not. But that means earth magic, which my pretender has, uh, would be able to support them. But my pretender is a mobile, but I could use my pretender to summon, say, some trolls. Earth trolls. With some earth boots and earth power, uh, they could start casting down some protection spells. There we go. I don't know how a ghost gets a chest wound, but this one did. So, excellent. Did we even face any losses there? Yeah, one of my spectral has stout status. I don't know, I'm not, not big on Roman words. And one of our velites got injured. That Mantagore sat back being pretty useless. I already regret this. He has fear, but he would have had fear anyway, and now he doesn't have a lot of the buffs that he'd otherwise get. Even his protection is lower. A lot lower. The main buff he has is his hit points, and that's about it. Okay, there is the strength and the three attacks. Anyway, we made it. We are going to be facing attrition as we expand, but that's just something we're going to have to deal with. There is the throne right there. Do I rush that throne? No, because it's not really going to do anything for me. No matter what this throne is, and it's going to be a level 1 throne if it's only guarded by infantry, militia, and archers, it's, um, it's going to spread my dominion, which I actually don't really want, because my dominion is very hostile to the environment. It kills the people there, which kills my income. Uh, I would like to actually be able to have some uh, lands, like farmlands, which are not inside my ghastly uh, aura of dominion. And that way I can keep sucking money out of it, because I will need money. Not as much as most as any other nation, but I will need some. Okay, I've got my two, uh, two spellcasters back here. I won't be doing research for a long time. So I have to make do without good conjurations or good spells or good anything. Instead, we shall be casting monthly, reviving oops, reviving the Centurions. Revive Centurion, revive Centurion. And then they're going to take these free spawn ghosts, and I got quite a lot this turn. And they're going to expand out in different directions. My hope is that I can get out to about here before I encounter the AI. Crank up my province defense on the edges to uh, hopefully dissuade them from attacking me. And then hunker down and I'll have enough free spawn to just drown them in ghosts. And once they have their ghost counters online, I'll be able to send out my sacreds, which will just crush them. That's the goal, at least. God knows. Um, there's a lot to this game. I can't explain everything, but if there's some core concepts that you would like explained better, then let me know and I'll try my best. I know quite a bit about this game, but... There's always more to know about Dominions. And there is no real meta to this game because everything can be countered. If there's a meta, it's get something your opponent doesn't expect and then exploit it hard enough before he has a counter online because everything can be countered for cheaper than it costs. Take this, right? It might look like my ghost army here is pretty good, right? They're ethereal, so you can barely hit them. Uh, but they have a million ways to counter them. For one, they're undead. You can very cheaply spam out Holy One Priests, and they would cast Banishment to destroy them. On top of that, they have zero protection, so if you had magic weapons, magic weapons ignore Ethereal and would just completely destroy that. If nothing else, just throw salt in their face, right? There's a lot of ways to kill them. But, hey-ho, you'd have to get one of those counters online to deal with them, wouldn't you? Let's go. Why do the turns pass? Every Brelic stream doesn't have that. Uh, okay, a new famous hero is a good sign. What happened in the fight? The true meta of Dom 5 is making as few mistakes as possible, Jake. Defeat is when you fail to consider something. Eh, I don't know, even if you consider something, sometimes you just have to uh, do your best to work around it, right? Is that gonna hit? Nope. Spells are notorious. well, all projectiles are notoriously uh, low on precision. But there are ways to boost that. You can boost your precision. You can use spells that don't care about precision. Or you can just simply mass your archers and stuff. Right, so these poor guys got netted by these Itchiids. But even though he's... well, it's only one of them that got netted. Yeah, there we go. Netted shows up as Entangled, but I don't think Spider does. 
Doesn't matter though, I'm still scaring these guys. They have decent protection because they're wearing actual armor. On top of that, they have natural protection from their fishy skin. But they have mundane weapons made of stone, so it's very unlikely that they can pierce through my uh, ethereal nature. All the while, we keep jabbing them. You can see real details about this, for example. A spectral hit them on the shield and arm, so uh, their defense roll was good enough that they blocked it with a shield, but we still do a damage roll, but their protection was too good because their turtle shell shield added 15 protection to them. That's good. Even so, we'll chip away at them more than they chip away at us, and our commander is still spooking them. Look at this poor bugger. Scared as hell. You're running away. They probably have this water mage who's... Oh, you're routing already! Oh, I don't think they're going to be holding for much longer. And we break through. They route, and... Is that some kind of poison spell they're trying to cast on us? I don't know. I don't know what that aura that you have is. It doesn't show up here. But I'm sure it's not important because we are just going around and tenderizing them. Hold on! I, I actually did something pretty impressive there. We charmed this guy. He's now on our side. Sweet, we just broke into water. What in the world was the charm spell? Look at that, we got ourselves a shaman. He's a sacred, he's crap at research, but he's water one. Water isn't that hard to break into, but nice, we got him. What was that spell? I'm gonna see when he changes sides. Right, he hasn't changed sides yet. He's resisting an effect. What's being cast? Is it apost... apostasy? It is! Alright, I need to look at apostasy. And I would do that by looking at you, pressing Y, checking out spells. Okay, it's a holy three spell. An unholy priest corrupts the faith of an enemy priest or sacred soldier. They'll join forces with the caster and his priestly powers will be tainted. Nice. It's very easy to resist. And only affects gods and sacred... Affects gods? No way could this affect an enemy god. Anyway, that's pretty cool. So I've, uh, I've gotten myself this guy now. He wasn't injured in the fight, and he should live long and prosper, and the fact that he's sacred means that he can erect temples for us. I'll probably just use him to erect forts as and when I can. I might actually make a fort in New London already just to start cranking out more um, more undead free spawn because I want to use my other commanders for uh, for going around and expanding. The sooner I have my forts up, the sooner I'm going to have even more uh, more free spawn. So yeah. What's your, what's your name? Grandmaster Higgins. You are going to erect me a fort on New London. You're not going to be any good at researching, and regrettably, I have to pay you. You are the only unit I have to pay, but pay you I must. And all in all, that battle cost me only two of my chaff, so that's good. That's very good. Not only that, but Furude Rika's brave deeds are now told by bards and storytellers. So you're the one that didn't transform into a manticore, and Furude Rika has battle prowess. That's Great, isn't it? Uh, increased... Oh, it's only attack skill. Damn, defense skill would have been better because you don't really kill much, but... Uh, putting me on the Hall of Fame is always welcome. We can check the Hall of Fame right here. Bernard the Brave is on there. Bernard the Brave is a mercenary captain, currently being uh, employed by... Abalabia. Oh, so you're the first one that I know is on the map. Actually, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil knowing who my enemies are by checking out uh, score graphs and stuff. But this is free information, the uh, the Hall of Fame. So let's ask ourselves, who is Abalabia? We're gonna save and quit here. Or we're going to go to not that. Let's imagine we're creating a pretender god. But who the hell is Abalabia? Here we are, the Windy Market. Hey, these are the guys that we looked at earlier. So they are maining with air and water, but they've got very wide access to magic, so we could be conceivably dealing with anything out of them. 
Air is a pain because all defense is negated when you're using thunder magic and we don't have resistances. Water, eh, water is mostly about being cold and we have cold resistance. And... Good lord, that's some powerful mages. Normally you'd be turned off by a cost like that, but the AI is going to get so many, uh, so many extra resources. He's also a carcass collector. I think they'd be showering themselves in death gems. Oh, good for them. Whoa, what a, what a guy to hire. This guy you wouldn't need a temple for, because he gets random magic. Oh, oh God. <laughs> That's so good for 105. If only he were sacred, then he'd be half cost and res- Oh, my days. Just licking my lips looking at this. Who are their sacreds? This guy's their sacred. Pretty standard looking, well-armored, size 2 foot troop. Just a regular spear though, so not very killy. I won't know what bless he's using, but okay, you're out there somewhere. Abba Labia of the Windy Market. And you can do blood sacrifices, but I'm not sure if the AI does that. Alright, good to know. Let's get back to... Oh, I don't need to have testing set up here at where you go. Yeah, get rid of it. Lemuria, Disciple Stream. Let's go. Right, so these guys, I'm going to continue going on until they are so attrition that they're going to run out of units and I have to retreat them. Uh, we're going to conquer Aberdeen next because it looks like it only has weak, crappy chaff. And uh, even a small amount of our ghosts are going to destroy weak, crappy chaff, like spearmen. But it's time to get our second expansion party online. 23 of you, who should, who should lead the charge? Phoebe Chillax or Mr. Hyde? I'll take Phoebe Chillax. Oh no, she was caught cheating by uh, Uncle Ernie in Motorsport Manager, so I better not put her in charge of the army. And you guys are going to expand towards... Eh, north or south, north or south. I mean, Brazil isn't really worth anything to anyone. Mm -hmm. I'm a little scared of Pitney Bank. Because it's got a load of horse archers, but we have shields and defense. I think I'm going to spook my way through Pitney Bank, actually. So, attack, attack. Normally I would like my commanders behind my army. You know, the army is there to protect your commanders, but I see this one as the other way around. I want my commanders in the front line because they have that fear aura around them, and that's going to allow them to spook the enemy better. So I'd ideally like you two working together. I will... I won't even give you... Um, I won't even give you bodyguards. The two of you should be able to bodyguard each other nicely. Go to Pitney Bank, destroy them, you'll be fine. And then every turn... Ah, oh, right, I have to manually set this to cast because I don't have enough death gems to make it a monthly ritual. They always check to make sure if something uh, to recast per month before you get your income of gems. Why that's the case, I do not know, but it's never been changed, so it must be there for a reason. These are... I think this ghost retreated. Yeah, he must have gotten hit and diseased and... Wait, a skirmisher? Did you freely spawn or what? Since when do I have skirmishers in the army? Well, it doesn't really matter to me. They're, um, they'll be fine. Okay, not much else to worry about. The game will warn you if you try to end turn with the commanders not doing anything. But out goes Phoebe and Mr. Hyde, while Rocket Racer and Gergili continue to make us more commanders to expand. And this is the expansion phase of the game. First phase is always expansion. You try and gobble up all these independents as fast as you can. Yeah, kind of like civilization. And then once you start uh, bumping horns with other factions, then the expansion phase is over. And it's time to either build up or put down. Go to Brazil. Not happening. Right, more Lemur centurions. Good. What's happening in Aberdeen? I'll tell you what, the whole place is dilapidating. Right, this shouldn't be a problem, but it's always those fights that give you trouble, isn't it? Nah, look at these guys. Uh, most, many of them don't even have shields. Look at that, just wearing leather for protection 5, our piercing weapons are just going to obliterate through that and kill them. And uh, these little red dots are the damage they've taken, so this poor bugger, for example. He was stabbed in the... stabbed in the arm with a javelin. A thrown javelin. Oh, they're both thrown javelins. Kind of like RimWorld, isn't it? So you get jabbed in the arm twice for five damage, and then he failed to hit my Centurion. Even if he had managed to hit, 75% chance that he would have um, would have been negated by Ethereal. 
Someone actually managed to lay a finger on my guy here. Light infantry hit him in the arm for one whole damage. He's got good protection. Protection in this game is best when it's layered, so let, let's take this guy. First, you have to hit him. And uh, that's not going to be easy because he's got really good defense skill. Well, not really good. 13 is pretty good. Uh, but let's say you get past that defense skill and hit him. Then you have to get through his protection. He has natural protection 8 and armor on his head and body. So if you hit him in the body, you're going through uh, 18 damage on uh, 18 protection on the body or 23 on the head. Uh, and if you do manage to get through that, protection is uh, measured against your damage. Uh, then he has a 75% chance of negating it with Ethereal. But if you get through all of that, well done. You will hurt him. You will eat into his 25 hit points. That other guy ate into it by one hit point. And one of my guys just took a lot of damage. And these poor archers. Archers are usually very bad in melee. There's... I can't think of any equivalent of the Mountain Blade Banner Lord Theon in this game. Archers who are really good in melee, but I'm sure they exist. Some archers and crosswomen do equip uh, broadswords and good armor, but that's not what you have them for. So again, very little attrition, more, uh, more land taken over. Some nations are really good at expansion, I'd say Lemuria is very good, some nations are terrible at expansion. Uh, monkey nations tend to be pretty bad at expansion, because monkey units... Uh, it's just not what they excel at. Then again, that's why you think about what bless can I use for expansion. But that always comes at the cost of just having a better bless for the late game. There's, there's always, uh, there's always decisions to be made on that. Right. Hopefully you guys. Oh god, you're spreading apart. That's pretty bad because these guys have light lances. Their first hit does bonus damage. But we do have good defense, well, good protection, so there we go, they don't have any... They don't hurt us much, we go in. These guys, these guys are pretty good in melee, but they're going to be scared and spooked and away they go. And since they're on horseback, they can retreat really quickly. Indies, when they retreat, just cease to exist. Regular factions, armies, when they retreat, they retreat to another province and then they can regroup. Or you can chase them down and kill them, but chasing is a pain in this game. So Pitney Bank, again, one little bit of attrition and along we go. And unexpectedly in Aberdeen, a famous circus has been touring Aberdeen. Extra taxes and good luck that the circus always brings. That's funny because I'm, I'm so used to seeing all these bleeding flyers for the lady boys of Bangkok appearing in Aberdeen. Right. We have the Deimos Anomaly over here and the Weeb Junkyard. Both of them are farmlands and they are relatively far away from my ghastly dominion. So I want to take these two as a matter of priority so I can actually get some money pumped out. Uh, because that money has a lot of uses. For example, erecting a palisade here. I was thinking about doing temple first, but no, palisade first. Ooh, but temples give death gems. Mmm. But, 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 ah, uh, jeez. Do I want the extra death gem per month or do I want more, one more month of free spawn? Give me the temple. Always, always a use for death gems. Aberdeen is a joke, that makes sense. Uh, not my circus, not my clans. Not anymore, at least. Okay, McDonald Land is another delectable farmland, which I would quite like to consume. So we're going to go there, and with our solid snake and a Canadian playing as a Scot, we are going to... There we go. Ooh, we did not get a lot of spooky, scary ghosts for these guys this round. I could hold off, or I could attack anyway. Let's go for it. Let's secure Mumbo's Mountain. Boy, that is sad. But that's okay. The, the Centurions are pretty strong on their own. In fact, I'm pretty sure the Centurions could solo these two provinces. And I could just leave the, uh, the ghosts to make a bigger army for later. And that's what I'll do. It's a little risky, but let's have Solid Snake and the Canadian working together on this. Ooh, I could even send them into the water. And give them something kind of better to do with their time. The Panama Canal. I won't really get much out of the Panama Canal, but at least it would be mine. Nah, I don't think I have to fight for the water anytime soon. By the way, have there been any more Hall of Fame heroes? Ooh. Uh, follower of Rathalos, the ruler of Nabah. I'm not familiar with Nabah. 
Isn't that um, Middle Age Ubar, or is it Early Age? But Nabar are a bunch of genies, as I recall. Very Arabian-themed faction. Interesting. Why did the circus go to the Ghost's Nation to lift their spirits? Uh, I, I do like that, actually. Right, 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 right. I've had a decision to make. We're going to go to Mumbo's Mountain. If I live to regret that, then shame on me. Probably my next expansion will go up north to Deep Canyon. I'll see how far we can get with just Solid Snake and the Canadian. Otherwise, Gergili and the Rocket Racer, I want these Centurions being cranked out. They're costing me a lot of death gems, so they really need to be hauling ass and expanding well. Um, I believe for a good game you should have 20 provinces by the end of the first year. Well, how many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and it's late summer. But we should accelerate, so I'm not too worried about that. The numbers in the provinces show how far it is to journey there. <clears throat> so it's it's not a case of going one province at a time. Every unit has a map move. So these guys can move 21 units per turn. That means that Solid Snake and the Canadian could go over to Barville, because it's only 17 from here. But Aberdeen is 27, so they couldn't go there. Similarly, the Highlands is 21. But they could go all the way to McDonald Land. But they're not. They're going to Mumbo's Mountain. Okay, anything else I need to care about? Alright, I want you two attacking together. Attack, attack. Hold on. There we go. Get rid of the morning voice. Right, a couple more Centurions and three battles. If it's three successful battles, then that's three more provinces for me. But this is the one I slightly worry about. I hope these two stick together in the same square, because that allows them to just pretty much defend each other better. And it's going to make their cold aura and their fear aura work together, but... Ooh, what's that zap? Resty here is an air mage with an enchanted spear. If I kill him, there's a chance I could steal that from him. He's got mist form... He's charged his body, so that could actually be a problem for us. If we hit him, that charged body could potentially kill one of these guys. Because uh, air magic is armor negating, largely. So, good. They're sticking to the same square. They're attacking together. And look at that. Just, just by killing one or two guys, these guys all got spooked. Why was that? It's because these guys are scary. Two of them with fear. And it, uh, fear... Fear is a pretty nebulous thing, but it does work. What are you doing? You're just kind of standing there. You didn't get dementia, did you? Dementia is a real problem in the game and can cause your units to uh, just bumble around and not really understand what they're doing. So look at all these guys retreating. And the more units that retreat, the more it affects the morale of everybody. Stop chasing them down. They're already gone. Solid snake just slinking away there. I really would quite like uh, the air... Is he just an air guy or an air priest? The air mage. Yeah, if we manage to kill him, I might be able to get that enchanted spear, which would be a damn hell better than your short sword, wouldn't it? I think it's more damage and it's magical. Oh, he's running! No, don't let him run! Kill him! Oh, well, we're not getting that spear. But on the plus side, we're not having to fight that charged body. And look at that, someone got through all of his defenses and dealt eight damage to my, uh, my poor centurion. Increased you to slash. I'm taking this very slowly, by the way. Uh, a lot of players, they'll just like enter and enter and enter, and they won't even watch these battles. And I like to put them down by saying that they've clearly lost their passion for the game. If all you do is read the results, then you don't really get to take in the magic of seeing what you've set up come to fruition. So there we go. My decision to send out the Centurions with no ghosts was not punished. Yet. It likely will, and any one of those guys that dies is just goodbye, uh five death gems. McDonald land. This I'm more interested in because it's farmland. It's worth good money. Alright, ooh now, these guys are usually not something you like to see in your expansions. They hit with three attacks and the lance attack hits very heavily and even heavier on their main strike. They drop the lance after using it, but still, they've got great defense skill and they are just a pain in the bum. But, ethereal negates almost everything they do. And it's very easy to spook these guys. Despite their high morale, I find that heavy uh, cavalry route very easily. 
but they're almost immune to um, to projectile weapons because they're insane defense and their shield. But oh, they got a priest as well. This is going to be heavy on attrition. So that priest just called down banishment, which does uh, a lot of damage if it hits undead foes. Uh, come on, you guys need to rout now. Ethereal is single-handedly keeping my ghosts alive against this heavy cavalry charge. Ugh, man, they are not routing. It might be me that routes if they keep killing my ghosts, because my ghosts just can't get through that armor or defense. However, if the Centurions can get forward... Oh, there we go, they finally routed. Scared of, uh... Scared of fighting g, -g, -g ghosts They are now out of here. Heavy on attrition there, but we secured McDonald Land. And McDonald Land is a hundred income to us. I just like setting up six province defense on provinces that I take, because it, uh... It stops some of the worst events that can hit you. And order and productivity boosted here. That's pretty meaningless to me. The Earth Ritual? Eh, maybe. Maybe I want to cast uh, Break Wall or whatever it is to take out some annoying forts. Probably not. And the Deimos Anomaly. What happened there? Another farmland for us. Yeah, that Holy Light was a pain. Always is. Alright. You know, I quite like you uh, casting... Well, there, there's nobody to abduct here, but that, that ability to charm my opponents was awesome. So this is what I want. I want my uh, my commander right there in the front lines. That means everyone around him is facing his chill aura. Chill aura saps fatigue and can freeze uh, freeze you in place, meaning you can't take actions and you're very easy to hit. Between that and the fear aura, he's pretty good. Up there. there we go. Your units get back all of their health after each turn, but the problem is when they acquire afflictions. Disease doesn't affect us because we're undead, but other afflictions do. We'll have a look at afflictions once this battle's done, and it is done. No attrition as well. Great. So if you press tab, you can see we've got four afflictions. The disease that we're looking at, this is a guy who has gone limp. Limp units can get crippled as they move, and then crippled units can die, so limp on a regular unit is a death sentence. Also makes it very slow and useless in combat. Weakened isn't that bad. Strength minus four. And then this guy's got a chest wound. If you're really attached to your units, it can be really difficult to make that uh, change of thought pattern. Because I remember when I started playing this game, I saw this and I was like, Oh, my poor guys, how do I save them? What can I do to save these guys? Eventually, you have to steal yourself and accept that chaff will die. And there is very little you can do about that. But there's not nothing. You could have a run where you play very charitable and you try to save everyone. What that would mean is that all these guys, you'd have to select them, put them in garrison, and bring healers over to heal them. Not every nation even, have a even has access to healers, but every nation, one way or another, does have access to Enchantment Nature 7 Gift of Health. And that means units inside your dominion will heal their afflictions. Every affliction is healed by this, although some are harder to heal than other. More compassionate past Jay. It was the dogs. The problem was the first nation I think I played was Ulm, because I was recommended uh, Ulm as an easy one to play. Uh, maybe not the first. I think the first was early Airmore. But the point is, I played Ulm, and you could have dogs. But the problem with dogs is they just, they just die. They're cannon fodder. And I, I felt really bad about that. Right, Burdened Warrior and Sunaj, you're heading on in, you two. And you guys are going, no. You're going south. This looks like an easy fight, but the reason I'm not sending those two down there is because there's a lot more to conquer. So I want those ghosts to be able to go and curve around, or maybe just go straight to California. California's got the money. Brazil itself is a useless province. I have no use for resources because we don't recruit. Its money is very low, and I don't really spend money actively, but I need money to make my palisades, labs, and temples. One alternative idea I could have had for this is getting myself a guy that can alchemize fire and earth gems into money, but my access to those are going to be paltry. I should really use this guy for site searching, but... Uh, 
Sight searching water outside of watery provinces. Not tempting. Right, you two, as ever, I need more centurions. Uh, Mr. Hyde and Dr. Phoebe Chillax. Where are we going from here? What do you what do you have there? What kind of units are those? Amazons and Jade Maidens, those can be problematic. But they will give me access to the Jade Maiden to recruit, which is the opposite of problematic. Your army is small, and those are some difficult units to deal with. I forget if they use magical weapons, though. If they do, that could be a problem. Screw it, we're going for it. Mount Erebus should be ours. Mr. Hyde is a hero now. Yeah! So Mr. Hyde's enormous strength is the talk of heroism. How enormous. Well, it's only plus two, which might not seem that great. But uh, the more you have he heroes, and the more... Ex I think it's experience that they gain, actually makes this go up and up and up by a lot. And that can stack really well, say on people that have an increased attack and defense skill, you could just single-handedly become untouchable because your defense is so high. And high attack actually helps with defense as well, there's a mechanic in the game called Repel. If your weapon is longer than your enemy's weapon, then you do a check on your attack skill versus their defense, and if you win, you block them with your weapon and you hurt them. Which is pretty cool. But a lot of things in this game are really cool. Right, everywhere has a bit of defense. My treasury makes me very sad, but this is very early to get a fortification up, if we get this up. And that's going to significantly increase our output of undead chaff. Also, our dominion strength is really high, which is great. Also, thanks to this, we're pumping out an extra death gem per turn. So, it's looking good. Remember what I was saying about getting 20 provinces by the end of the year? Well, it's early autumn, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 provinces, and we might just get 1, 2, 3, 4 more. But some expansions can and will fail, so it's just important to uh, have enough that it's not a big deal if one or two of them do fail. Right, more Lemur Centurions on the way. What happens in Brazil? Brazil... Oh, I forgot to structure you guys. Oh, that's a shame. This is going to be worse than I wanted it to be. However, it's just naked lizard warriors. They don't even have a lizard shaman, which is unusual. Who the hell's the leader? Oh, there's the shaman. I was thinking, these guys are always led by a shaman. A shaman with an ice sword. Oh, man, I wish I had that. I mean, I just want items, because I have no magical items at all right now. These guys have no shields, no armor. The only armor they have is their inherent protection from their lizard skin. So we already took out a bunch of them. Regardless, they're still actually quite good units. Because that trident hits like a truck. It's a two-handed weapon. Um, eh, attack 11's not the worst. And they bite. So that gives them quite good attack density. But they got too scared <laughs> before they even got to us. These guys shanked them with spectral spears. And they decided to turn tail and run. Now if I... Oh, are you running? Ah, oh, damn. The shaman is running, so I wasn't able to take care of him. Well, that was free. Some of them just bled to death. Good job, Brazil. You keeled over before I even had to fight you. Dumb lizard forks can't eat ectoplasma ghosts. <laughs> oh god, more... Uh... It's very frequent to see heavy cavalry in these... Um... In these provinces, the farmland ones. It's quite good that they engage with my Centurion, though, because the Centurion, he's got enough protection to laugh off most of these attacks. I could get unlucky and they just, like, slice his head off, but the odds are on my side that they will not kill him. And that gives my other units a good chance to gank these. They do have high defense skill, but as they take attacks, they get this, a harassment penalty. And that stops you from just being single-handedly standing in the middle of a group, dodging everything. No unit can dodge everything. Harassment penalty and fatigue can eventually make you... <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? Oh, I thought he got shot from behind. It was just a nice coincidence. I thought he got shot in the back by an arrow. But no, the arrow was past him and my spectral shanked him. And that spectral got shanked as well. Right in the eye. That's a RimWorld style hit. Heavy cavalry hit them in the shield and head for 8 damage, and they lost an eye. So they even went through the shield. Oh no, 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 priest, go away! <laughs> the holy light is the scourge of our undead. 
The manticore at the back here is something else, so I hope I don't have to pay him. Yeah, good. I don't think you ever have to pay your profit. I mean, why would he accept money? Alright, we only lost one there. What happened to Erebus? Right, in we go. Right, these are kind of what I'm worried about. But they don't have magical weapons. And Indies don't have a bless. So you don't need to worry about their bless effects. Good, good, good. We clog them up with our Centurions. That's why they're there. So now they're taking cold damage. In fact, you can see that here. That's cold fatigue damage kicking in from our uh, cold aura. And that's what's causing this uh, blue bar here, their fatigue. And there it is, 33. Every bit of fatigue makes you a bit worse in battle. Ow! Mr. Hyde did not enjoy that. He's got a never healing... Oh god, he's really not enjoying this. His arm got chopped off. Jeez, these guys are better at killing us than I thought. Come, my spectral legions. We need to get these guys away before they tenderize us. There we go. Ghost has joined to square, hopefully aiding his defense, but we do not have a lot of units here. We need to spook these guys off or kill enough of them. But look at that, they're pretty good. Good defense skill. 11 protection and a shield. Uh, this could go either way. Oh my god, what was that? Look at this. Swedish Pizza, the Jade Sorceress, cast Dust to Dust. And that just removed a bunch of my ghosts. Fortunately, it looks like their cavalry is retreating, but I've got very little left here. And they are surrounded. Oh god, Dust to Dust is doing us in. This could be an end to one of my expansion groups, and I mean a full end. I need to not retreat. Oh, no, no, you are out of here. Phoebe Chillax has had enough. Mr. Hyde is still there, fighting the good fight. But it's not looking good. Oh, god. We are routed. We have failed. That dust to dust casting was painful. And that's a very simple death one. A very, very good undead counter. If you're only facing one undead, at least. So yeah, the Indies won the day today in Mount Erebus. So yeah, that's... It, fortunately, it wasn't a huge amount to lose. That's just one turn of ghosts and five death gems worth of a centurion. But uh, on the plus side, the Jade Maidens are all gone, so we just need to plow our way through the Amazons. <sighs> so, 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 so... Hold, hold on, who survived that? Was it the Canadian? No, no, no. It would have been... Uh... Hold on, hold on. I need to actually click on them. It was Mr. Hyde and Phoebe Chillax, right? When all was said and done, the survivor was... Phoebe Chillax. So who is our horribly injured individual here? Well, we can check Shatsu Show's holiday home fight for that. Just the two of them. They went in uninjured, that's not how they're coming out. Uh, sadly, they split up. It's very difficult to tell them just to stick together. But he's already spooked the militia. But Solid Snake is having to deal with all the heavy infantry in the world. Uh, he's fine though, he can handle it. The Canadian got weakened, probably by being shot there. He's jumping straight in. And yeah, there's a problem. He's lost an arm and he's weakened. But this is what happens. Units will accrue injuries and eventually die. If you want to baby all of your people, you're going to be spending a lot on very little. The stories of a Canadian playing a Scot's brave deeds and his enormous strength are now told by bards and storytellers all over the world. I like the way there's different ways to read that. And he's got enormous strength in his one arm. <laughs> That's funny, because he's got terrible strength due to being weakened. Even so, they are still alive. I think rather than bring Phoebe Chillax back to grab some more uh, Spectral Warriors, I'm going to have these three fight together. So yeah, they're going to they're gonna regroup like this. Try and layer them on top of each other, and just keep sending them out. Arborang is another lovely province of farmland that I would quite like. Let's also make sure that we've got defenses set up here. So out of those four expansions, three worked. And I'm able to salvage a bit of the one that failed, so I'm not too worried about that. All his power is concentrating on that one limb. Yeah, the problem is it's not a lot of power. 
Again, though, we barely any ghosts here, which is just sad. Yeah. I actually think what I might do is call some spirits instead. If I call some dispossessed spirits, I'll have some chaff. And then these guys can go out with the chaff. But that feels like a waste of a turn. Hmm. I do not know, Puppet Pal Mitch. The population of Lemuria is dying. It's making me no money here anymore. Well, my income's still there, but I have to spend most of it on crummy province defense. Are you going to do any death site searching? That's probably not a bad idea, actually. A rocket racer would be best for doing that. Because you can double search death and do a bit of astral. Oh, excuse me, I'm hiccuping away this morning. Uh, in that case, why don't you call me Centurions now? That way I'll get... Uh, should I send you two out alone, or... You know what? If nothing else, I'm certain you're going to take the Panama Canal. So I'm going to send you out to do exactly that. So again, you two up front. You guys just doing kind of crap behind them. You can't, you can't throw anything, but that's okay. Take the Panama Canal, at least it's a little bit of... Well, it's another province, isn't it? Rundisium's also a possibility. We're going to freeze this path, so actually this is somewhere anyone could walk into, which is a problem for me. Uh, right, you three, where are you going to go? My half-decent army led by Burdened Warrior and Sinaj. Ugh, there's another pathway into me here. I'd love a fort here just as a choke point, but... Uh, the problem is I need, to, I need to think about my provinces in the sense of I'm going to lose these and I don't care. As long as I suck the money out of them and kill everyone there, it's not a problem that other people take the land. What's important are my forts. And once expansion is done, I really need to get my forts up. I really don't like look of upper land. These are an approximation. It's 80, but it could be 60, and it could be 100, so... Eh. Long Dead Horsemen in Desolation Point. Abandoned... These are terrible provinces. I don't actually want to go out of my way for them. We're going to California. Uh, it sucks to say that, but that's where California is. Ooh, the Frostpunk Generator is over there. We're going to take Arborang, and then we're going to try and take the Frostpunk Generator. Getting the Weeb Junkyard and the Deimos Anomaly is pretty good. Unfortunately, our ghastly um, Dominion is there, so it's going to kill the people. But, hey, it's ours enough. I should probably take Click Clock Woods, just so there's another pathway there. Mm, or do I want to reach out? I don't want to overreach. Mm, I think I'll do Click Clock, Sarmazegatuza, Forest Frontiers, and just generally go that way. Or will I? Now I might do Click Clock, Sarmazegatuza, and then head north, because I want to send my next expansion party to Deep Canyon and Hellfire Peaks. Just limit the amount of times my units have to move fruitlessly without conquering another province. It is now middle of fall, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 provinces. We're going well towards a target of 20, and it is just a target. It's not always feasible for every nation and every setup. Well, I think every nation could do it, but not every setup. This setup, though, should be good for expansion. If you love Micro and hate your time, you can check those provinces every turn and see what the estimated average is for more accuracy. Yeah, but I will not. How can I get your mod list, says Athanith. Yeah, I should have anticipated that question, shouldn't I? Um, I won't tackle that now, but once this is done, I will throw together a... Um, you know what? This is slow going anyway. Why don't I do it right now? I keep a Google Drive that has a lot of stream-related files. So what I'm going to do is... Go to my drive, go to public stream stuff. I already have a Dominions 5 folder there. What's it full of? Randomizer stuff. Okay, then I'm going to make new folder. Based on five mods. And, and, and. Where are my mods? Where are they saved for this game again? Hold on, I've got, I set myself a shortcut for that, didn't I? DOM5, DOM5 shortcut mods, hey, there we go. And we are running with AI no recruit. And... Crikey, what else am I using here? 
I'm using a bunch of them. Nation gen with 30 random nations. And... What else am I using here? Sensible AI something or other. But it doesn't have a good name, does it? Mm -hmm. 30 random nations. AI no recruit. Sensible battle AI. Why does that not have a folder? Well, God knows. Alright, tell you what, for now I'm just shoving that in there. There we go. I'll structure that a lot better later on and I'll link it when the uh, when the board is up. Right, for now, two famous heroes is a good sign that this went well. Did we get California? This is a risky one. Because, oh wow, it's a farmland that doesn't have heavy, heavy cavalry. And I, I again forgot to script my units properly, so my, my commanders are at the back when they should be at the front with their fear and cold aura. But yeah, we're overcoming that, no problem. I probably wouldn't have taken so much attrition if I'd sorted them out, so I'm going to make sure that's sorted right now. Line formation behind you guys in front. Oh, and another thing. I need to tell you guys to attack. I don't need to, but I want to. Uh, right, Arborang. Another uh, farmland province. This is the Risky Biscuits, though. Again, no heavy cavalry, which is great. But heavy infantry, although they're not amazing units, they can still pretty hit pretty hard, because slash damage with that sword, slash damage increases the damage. They just need to get through, and a good attack can do some damn good damage. And they're splitting up. That's not good news for Phoebe Chillax. These two are a lot safer, because they've got each other's backs. Oh god, I say that, and... The Canadian playing as a Scot immediately takes a big shanking to the leg. And good thing he didn't lose that leg or go limp. I don't think you do lose legs, but you do go limp and crippled. Okay, so they're taking damage, but look at that, the chill aura froze that guy there, and the other guys are taking fatigue damage, those are the blue bars. The Canadian playing as Scot is just barely hanging on to life, like his arm, but he made it! Damn persistent Canadians masquerading as Scots. But he just limping his way forward. Alright, so I really did manage to salvage my failed expansion. Because I'm not convinced that would have worked with only two of them expanding there. Click Clock Woods. This is the one with our pretender. And it's no problem. And then Panama Canal. This is the underwater fight. There are two types of fight. Well, three types, really. Underwater, on land, and astral plane fighting. Why are you guys staying behind the units? Attack, you idiots. I need you up front. Maybe I didn't tell them to attack. Anyway, these guys are rubbish. Coral spears with weak poison. Well, newsflash, the undead are all almost immune to poison. Some poisons can get through that. Death poison does 35 and there's a special item that does 75 poison damage. So yeah, the undead are not getting immunity to that. But by and large, your counter to undead is not poison. That makes undead nations great for casting foul vapors if you can get yourself nature water access. And if that's your strategy, you might even plan your pretender around it. But it's kind of easy to, um, it's easy to counter. And like everything, it's cheaper to counter than... Uh, not. Okay, Phoebe Chillax's lightning reflexes, probably the retreating lightning reflexes, make her a hero. And Solid Snake's unequaled obesity. I must have missed that game, but it does give bonus hit points. 35 max hit points from that. <laughs> He's also lost an arm, though. It's fine, though. These guys never had shields, so losing an arm isn't a big deal. Just lowers their strength a touch. If they lose the other arm, though, then they're in trouble. Right, we are looking at Old Mictland. I believe they're a blood nation. I'm not looking for an early encounter here, so I'm going to leave them to their own devices for a bit. Rocket Racer, you're going to site search for me. This is a swamp, so it has more magical sites than normal. Hopefully we find something. Most magical sites are just gems, which is really sad. I wish there were more interesting ones. There are, but they're kind of rare, and it's generally just boosts to... Um, it's either boosts to certain magic paths, like, hey, Conjuration spells are 20% cheaper here, or it's uh, recruits that you can do, which are cool, but like I said, rare. Almost all of them are just, you get more gems, which is always feels a bit dull. 
Right, let's make sure the provinces we took have the bare minimum of province defense, just to shy off the worst of the events. And then, since we're starting to butt heads with foes, I really need my forts up and operational. Oh yeah, there are some which are fortresses, which is also very cool. I really don't want to chance myself with his highlands. Hey, you've got a ghost. You take that ghost. No, 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 no. It's not, it's not what I wanted. Take this ghost and just have it do whatever. And... I still don't know what this... Uh, this throne does, but... I don't want to take that fight. There's plenty of easy expansion to be done. Sarm is like a Tuza for one. And do I have the army that I need? Oh my god, where are all my ghosts? I'm getting really... I'm not getting great ghost events. I think I swear I got 18 in the early game. Right. Panama Canal, I want you to expand into Brundisium. But there's Blobhemia. You could do Blobhemia and curve your way up north. And then you guys could just take all of the waters. Water defense tends to be pretty terrible after all. I'm gonna set these guys a little bit further back. Mm, Blobhemia, Brundisium. You can't get to Brundisium in one step, so I don't know. I just fear that I'm going to butt heads with something down here, so I'd rather take... Yeah, but Blobhemia is pretty good. It chokes off a lot of this. And it's quite close to my capital, so it gets good. Yeah, screw it. Let's go for Blobhemia. And I will go for a quick water break. I'll be back in a few minutes. There we go. Much better. Yes, I am human. Who would have thought DNA Factory? On top of that, I now live in a hot country, so I drink a lot more water than even I did before. And I used to drink a lot of water. So until I get a mini fridge and a little Asda bag, I am stuck to taking short water breaks. Right, I'm not really keen on rushing anyone, because I'm not that strong, and it would be very easy to counter my undead army. So I'm going to imagine that's going to be my border here for a bit, and I'm going to curve south. California again can see another throne. Albania is full of heavy cavalry, which is not good news for us. I don't really want to have to deal with that. I mean, I could deal with it, but the attrition for you guys would not be pleasant, I think. You are actually going to curve south in that regard. Arborang is also going to go to the Frostpunk Generator. You're going to continue to revive these guys one at a time, which I know is going to make you sad, but there's nothing else you can really do. <laughs> you could blood hunt. Alright, so hopefully we have another one, two, three, four expansions. We're going to enter winter shortly. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirty, fourteen, fifteen. We're looking great. Should be able to get more than twenty provinces if we don't fail miserably on expansion. No way a human would lead our glorious ghost nation surely he needs to re-moisturize his spectral form. I like the idea of that, but my I'd have dry leathery skin for the extra protection. This is bad news. We just bumped with Mictlan, because they also wanted the Frostpunk generator. This is good news though. The Lilium Vale was discovered in Brazil. One extra death gem per turn? Always welcome. You're going to go and scout around here for magic sites. I'm doing it closer to home because this is where all my forts are going to be. 
uh, I'll probably just have contiguous forts, because my dominion's going to be strongest nearest my capital, and forts mean everything. Once we've killed everything in the province, it doesn't matter if it was farmland or if it has loads of resources, it's just D-E-D -E -D dead. Because I'm very unlikely to care about recruiting... Wow, there's nothing... Oh, right, no, there are these to recruit. Oh, they've instantly got nature access, which is nice. This is good. Natural, uh, nature astral access through the shaman. Oh, right, that astral, but these guys are cool because... Since they are sacred, they are cheaper in upkeep, so I really like the shaman guys. This is also a nice uh, cross path. Yeah, it's worth checking what you can recruit in places you take over, because occasionally you find something rare like a fire mage. Fire is hard to break into because it's very rare to find a uh, an independent priest uh, or an independent mage that can do it. I just wish there was a better interface for checking your provinces for recruitables. Take this guy. That guy that I uh, stole, I could recruit him myself, but to recruit these guys, I would need both a lab and a temple. And that's painful. Uh, I don't want that in Barville anytime soon. Aberdeen's got its priests. That's funny, because in Aberdeen we turn our churches into casinos and pubs. Right. Oh, I didn't really watch how the battles went. Globhemia, tell me more. There we go. Now these guys are really low down on their luck. Oh, change, you're already getting massacred. Ah, you're fine. You spooked them all. Good. Expanding with such small armies feels very intimidating. And you do have to have a feel for if it's going to work or not. I was relatively confident in these guys because Ethereal is very strong against Indies. Independent units don't tend to have magical weapons or Ethereal counters. So that goes fine. Sarma Zegatuza. If you're if you're not confident, just build up larger expansion groups. There's, although I'm saying a good target is 20 provinces after the first year, that's still quite aggressive. Nothing wrong with just taking it easy, especially if you're playing against normal AI. The AI is even on even the insanely uh, powerful AI is very bad at expansion. But once they've expanded, higher difficulty AIs just have so many resources that they're terrifying. So I lost that Dispossessed Spirit, that stuff is just useless chaff. The Spirits, so these guys will free spawn if you don't have a fort in a province, but you do have Dominion, and they're just awful. I mean, sure they're ethereal, but if you so much as sneeze on them, one in four of those attacks will go through, they have no protection, and they have one hit point, so bleh. The main thing that they're good at is if you mass them and send them in first, well they're going to take all the hits and they're going to paralyze opponents. They won't actually hurt them unless they fatigue out, but it's just a great way to clog up enemy formations, especially if you have uh, ranged units behind them. Right, so the Frostpunk Generator, Mictalan and I both were heading in there, but Mictalan got there first. And that's troublesome, because Mictalan seemed like they brought an actual army here. So what have they got? They got uh, Stone Spear Wielding Slaves. Obsidian Clubs, very heavy hitting Obsidian Club Sword Sacreds. Obsidian Club Sword Regular Units. Uh, blood Slaves. Do you have a Blood Mage on you? Yes, you do. You've got a Priestly King. I've never seen the Slaver. What does Levy Slave Warriors mean? Does that mean? Is that an action you can do in a province to just get slaves? Also, we can tell that his bless involves larger. Look at that, all of these Jaguar warriors are size 3 instead of size 2. They got more health, they hit harder, they move further. And they got these flying units. Fortunately without magical weapons, but two attacks, and again they're larger and sacred. Are you gonna bless them? Because I would love to see what your bless is. You did! What is your bless? <laughs> Undead leadership. The problem with the AI is they take completely random blesses. Sometimes they make amazing ones, sometimes they make terrible choices. The Indies here are very weak, so they're unlikely to kill many of the Mictalan's units. But uh, I'm rooting for the independence here. I know that Mictalan wins. Even if I didn't know that, I could just look at that and know that he wins. Ah, Christ, he's even summoning imps! These little bastards with their weak claws coming in. They've got really good defense skills, so they're hard to hit. Okay, yeah, these indies are toast. 
Okay, I have to fight this now, and uh, I don't think I'm going to win, but maybe. A nice thing about bumping an enemy where you both go into the uh, province at the same time is it doesn't count as an act of war. There's no end to war. Once war is declared, it's never stopped. And there's not a declare war button, there's just fighting each other and that puts you in the state of war. And state of war doesn't actually do anything different. However, uh, the AIs, at least some of them, have the good graces to tell you that you they're declaring war on you. They'll usually say that on the same turn that they invade you, but it means that until they're at war with you, they're not actively expanding into you. This is a big, big problem. Uh, let's see, Phoebe Chillax is the only person unharmed here. Solid Snake has lost his arm, and the Canadian has lost an arm and is weakened. It's not good for us. But our enemies don't resist our cold. Their morale is high, so fear is unlikely to do much. We just have to hope for the best, but plan for the worst. And the worst plan is that I just lose these guys. Yeah, come on, folks. Well, you immediately froze one of their warriors, which is good. Uh, what the hell are these? Where Jaguars? Is that some kind of transformation, or did I just not notice these guys before? Maybe they transform on injury. Oh, this poor guy, never healing chest wound, crippled. We're getting completely surrounded, so our defense skill is going to be all but gone when we get harassed. Look at this Canadian playing a Scot. His base 14 is reduced enormously due to harassment. Nobody likes the Canadian, they're all laying into him. But they are holding. It's layered defense. Again, they have to get through our defense skill, which they largely have, but then they have to get through our protection. Then they have to get through Ethereal, because they didn't bring magic weapons to this, and because their mage isn't casting magical damage on us. We are able to hold out, unless your name is a Canadian, because you're dying. Come on. They are getting horribly fatigued from the cold, and they're getting quite scared. We might just have it. Oh, they're trying to banish us as well, though, which is bad news for us. Come on, Mictalan, get out of here. I hate that banishment hitting us. We have decent magic resistance. You can see it here. Somewhere. Here we go, Decree of the Underworld. That's being used to try and banish our undead units. But it has to penetrate first, so he's got penetration 11. And then there's this number, I haven't talked about this, but almost every value has a... I think it's called DRN added to it. It's an open-ended six-sided dice, so you roll it, and that's the value you add. But if you get a six, then you get plus five and another roll, and that keeps going, and that can go to enormous values. And that allows for very unlikely situations, like a regular human slaying a massive dragon. Or a massive dragon chewing on a human, but the human is able to protect against it. And I love that, but I, I love random elements. We, we did it. These guys are fatigued out because of the cold. And that means they are frozen in place, so if your fatigue is above 100, you can no longer move. And your, uh, your skills go way down, so you're easy to hit. And you're more likely to take critical damage. So we did it. Thank goodness. But if, they, if they'd managed to hit a few more times on us, we would have been finished. And uh, our, poor, our poor guys are crippled here, this expansion party. Might not be able to expand much more. Yeah, nice kill. So, excellent. Good. Not only did we win that, but we actually took out one of Mictalan's expansion parties without having a state of war with them. Of course, Mictalan could always just go, I hate you, we're going to fight now, but let's just hope that doesn't happen. Alright, back to regular expansion going here. Um, this is taking like five times longer than is necessary. I don't need to watch all these fights. I watch them because I like watching them. I think it also gives you a better understanding of how things are going, the way they're going. If I wasn't watching these, I wouldn't have picked up on one of my armies where I hadn't scripted my Centurions right and they were behind the army instead of in front of it. Plus, it's just enjoyable, to me at least, and that's what matters. This never tells the whole story. Okay, uh, oh, not okay. Right, so McDonald Land just lost all their money this season from Bad Harvest, and Burdened, Warriors, uh, Burdened Warrior is now 
incredibly fat and gets extra hit points, but we've learned something about the Frostpunk Generator. The Frostpunk Generator has holy fire. There is a, a hidden... Um, there's a hidden site here that does undead damage, and it just killed all of my... Oh, it didn't kill the ghosts, but it's, it's hurting these guys. It's a good thing we didn't have ghosts. Uh, right, well that's a problem. I don't, I don't want... I don't want this. That's that's bad for me. That That is a case of a rare site which I really do like. I'm tempted to leave Waters Workshop, Albania, and Inaba to Mictalan because that's a lot of indies, that's heavy cavalry, and that's a throne that they're likely to throw their, uh, their units at and die. So I think I'm going to limit my expansion to the Frostpunk Generator. And you three are going to go up to Mount Erebus and finish the fight there. Alternatively, I could go for Inaba myself. No. Uh, thrones are quite nice because the AI loves to just throw their units away to die there. I want to get my hands on some spies, though, so I can see how those go. I love indie spies. They're so cheap, easy to crank out, and you just throw them around. So, a couple of spies here. Unless there's somewhere else that gets me a spy. Nah. So I'll send my spies out to the thrones. Those are the best places, in my opinion, to go and uh, go and check. Because the thrones usually hold out for a while. Not to mention spies are stealthy. They can move around unseen, unheard. So Rocket Race is going to investigate Mumbo's Mountain. I want more forts up, so I'm going to get myself another... Um, another spy, and his job is actually to make forts. So yeah, I want to encase this in forts. I even want a fort in Brundisium. Just to, or rather, Blobhemia would be a nice place for a fort. Toga Boy, Rick Astley, and your tiny ghostly army. Go up to Brundisium, and then go and take the waters. Do I want pure land? No, I don't think so. I do not think so. Oh god, did Nyx make something for us? <laughs> uh, no, let's not. Right, 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 right. Uh, greasy Italian and Van Fairweather. They're ready to take my ghostly army out, and I'm still in expansion mode. And that is fine. Nothing wrong with doing plenty of expansion. But where do we expand? We're definitely heading up north now. Deep Canyon, Hellfire, Forest Frontiers, maybe the Raccoon City Police Department in Novgorod. And then once I start butting heads with other factions, I'm going to arc around and take the Highlands. Orbulon and Furuderica. What the hell are those? Foul spawns. Those tend to be really easy to kill. Let me think. If you go there and you go there, next turn there and there. I'm just trying to think where to arc around to the highlands. I won't do it just yet, though. Go for the Wormling Spawner. What the? <laughs> What's the implication here? Uh, poor Worm. All he wants to do is perv on everyone's life. Is that too much to ask? Well, for me it is. Right, as ever, add province defense to everywhere that needs it. If there's no province defense, it could just be taken by absolutely nothing. Um, so what you do is you come here and then at the very minimum, you get yourself a commander. And then as you add more, you get a larger and larger army to defend it. And no matter what damage these take, as long as you don't lose the province on the uh, on the turn, all of these will respawn for free, and there's no upkeep cost. But the cost for generating them increases by every additional unit you add. Right now, I desperately need my money for forts and temples, so I'm only putting down six. Alright, so we're doing another one, two, three, four, five expansions. Well, we could make a whole lot. Wait, do I really want to go to Albania? Didn't I just decide I didn't want to do this? Where am I going to send you to then? I think I'll have you retreat to McDonald Land and then head up north. Seems like a better idea. <sighs> I hate to say it, but I might add 16 province defense on Frostpunk and 16 on Arborang just to dissuade him from attacking me. I want him to think that this is a better target than me. Province defense does dissuade the AI from attacking you, but 
it's hard to really know where it is. I find that 16 is good on a budget, but 31 and 41 are better, but you can see that the cost is very quickly growing outrageously. Being interested in other people is neither criminal nor morally despicable. I'll give you that it's not criminal, but moral depends from person to person. You will find someone who finds that despicable. Right. Crippled units dying in marches is not unusual. What happened in the Deep Canyon, though? If you're getting tired of these kinds of fights, don't worry. They will evolve real soon once we start but uh, butting heads to the enemy. Again, look at that. A single priest just kind of massacred us with his holy light. I did not want that um, that attrition. And if they just had like three or four priests, I could have easily lost because they would have wiped out my army there. The Wormling Spawner. What kind of hell spawn has Worm been chucking out now? Let's find out what the blur Wormlings are made of. Oh god, spiders. Horrible results of crossbreeding experiments. Few foul spawn look alike. They sometimes possess strange abilities, such as water breathing or regeneration. This one has um, water breathing, or rather amphibian. He fights just as well underwater as over. This one doesn't need to eat. This one has cold resistance. This one has a wolf for a head, so he does a bite attack. I mean, foul spawn are kind of interesting, but I don't know how they could ever be seen as useful. You even have to pay them. The payment is a lot, but I don't I don't like to pay. They're also terrible in stats. Maybe what you want is to fish for a certain kind. Like, this one's got poison spit. Now, that is pretty good. Not against me, I'm poison almost immune, but poison spit can be a really nice counter. Oh, God, this guy's a different story. Strength 24 with a stinger, a claw, fist, and fire breath is a problem. Okay, well, I have to hope he's routes rather than gets an a, a chance to attack me, but he's going for the attack. This is bad. I could actually lose my profit from this. Because this is not my stronger expansion party. Also, are you cold resistant? You are not. Okay, well, there's a small chance I could just freeze you in place. Oh, dear lord, how did you get poisoned? Oh god, what is causing all that poison? Is that you? You're dead. You just straight up died to poison. How in the world did you take all that poison damage? Something is dealing 50 poison damage to him. Do they have a mage? Uh-oh. Yeah, they do. Malschnecti. Oh dear lord, this is a hell of a hell of a province. We're dead. We are so dead. All right, well first off Furu de Rika is dead. And with her, she takes her heroic battle prowess. Maybe try and kill a few before you go yourself. But she can't escape that poison damage. Poison resistance 25 didn't save her from that spell. Uh, with any luck, Orbilon will retreat before she dies. Don't forget all the blood slaves. Yep. In a sense, now, it's better that I... Okay, well, there goes Furu de Rika. And... Blood Rain has now been cast, which hurts morale for everybody. Hold on, are you retreating? Are you going to retreat? You would, but you're fatigued. Okay, the, the tables they have turned, that giant scary monster, got spooked by the enemy's own Blood Rain. Everyone loses morale. Well, it happens that my ghosts don't mind that so much. Come on, get out of here. Also, there's a small chance that I could convert one of them. No, don't cast protection of the Shadelands. Try and convert them. Oh no, they're not. Um, they're not sacred, so we can't. That's unbelievable. We actually won that. We did lose Furu de Rika, which is a shame. But the Wormlings. It might not look like we took a lot of damage there, but that was very close for us. Nice one. Remember, that's the better AI casting mod at work. Thank you, Lucid. Right. Again, into more indies. Unusual indies here, though, because they are skeletal horsemen. Good defense skill, a couple of attacks, but... Yeah, we should be fine, although you just immediately got clobbered there, didn't you? Battle, Fright, and Cursed. Okay, uh, that's looking very bad for Burdened Warrior. Very, very bad for Burdened Warrior. He is now... Oh, I thought he died. He just... Snuck his way out. He's hoping the ghosts don't notice this. 
The ghosts will... Oh god, we're having a hard time. These guys aren't even ethereal, but we're having a hard time killing them. And their morale is really high, so I won't be able to spook them with my... Oh, I think we're going to lose our Sunage, and then that's game over for us. Yep. We got routed. Oof, yeah, wow, I didn't think I'd be hurt so badly. These guys were a good counter to my strategy, though. They resisted my cold, and that morale resisted my fear. So it just came down to me using my ethereal, and their defense is so high I was barely able to chip through them. So, unfortunate. So we actually lost in Desolation Point, but one in the Bromlings. Just one more dead fake Canadian. No real loss, isn't it? Okay, well, their heavy cavalry were pathetic there. Seems like Toga Boy and Rick Astley didn't give up. They just took him down. Palisades are up. Great. And Toga Boy! Toga Boy's got tough skin. That, that's kind of funny because I have it on good authority that Toga Boy does not have thick skin. Uh, oh, damn. I thought I had my... I thought I had my uh, my Toga Boy dot wav at the ready for it. Why do I not have it? Where in the world do I keep that? I think it's on my drive. I'm going to bring it up because it amuses me to no end. Normally I have that, uh, that thing ready to play for any moment. But not today, it seems. There we go. What did you say he called me? Toga boy! Who does this haggis-eating, skirt-wearing barbarian think he is? Rally the legions! We go to war! Alright, well, uh, see, that's not thick skin to me, but... We did find the arena. That's a little extra gold per turn. And I'm sending Toga boy underwater. This is a terrible army for it. And we might immediately just die to shamblers, but I like to think that we will manage this. And the more water I take, the more income I can have. And remember, I need to liquidate that income into forts right now. We're at the fort building stage now. Uh, I'm going to improve this into a proper fort. You're going to build me a palisade. I'm going to have more, more spies for more forts, because I should have the money for it now. Just wish I could have more spies popping up here. I don't like building non-spies for this job, but... Alright, you're going to build one in Brazil. The next one's going to hold over in Water's Workshop. Rocket Racer, I want you to search for more Death Gem sites. Deep Canyon guys, over to the Hellfire Peaks. Good, good, good. Anywhere that doesn't have Province Defense. Again, I wish I could sort this by these, but no. The UX is one of the worst things about this game. Probably the worst thing about the game, honestly. Right, here's a problem. Orbulon is all alone. We may have won, but people do not like being led by Orbulon. <laughs> and we don't get a good formation. Basically, I should probably give up on Orbulon as an expander right now. That move 26, I could get you back. But I really like the spells you cast. If I lose Orbulon, I lose my profit. Which isn't good. Mm -hmm. 19, huh? What if I do give you the army? Could you go to Hellfire? Yeah, I might actually deposit Orbulon's troops over with Greasy Italian and Ven. Then they could continue to use them. And then Orbulon's job will be to secure the... Uh, well, when I eventually take them. The Thrones of Ascension. And then I do want to keep Orbulon alive. So that when my... Uh, well, it's a ways away, isn't it? They could die with relatively few consequences right now. Screw it. I basically still want them, so you're going to join in here. Or, I look at something like this and go, that's an easy win. Yeah, yeah, why why give up? The reason why is because I could easily bump into another enemy army here. But... Can we go for it? RCPD is a much safer place to invade in the Straits of Bormoz. Let's let's err on the side of safety here. Yeah, it's the clever thing to do. I don't want to kill Orbulon for no good reason. 
Right, Burdened Warrior. What was the story here? Yeah, you failed in Desolation Point. Um, too far away for Cool Spot to get over there as well. Failed expansions always feel like a bit of a burn, don't they? Tell you what, Burdened Warrior, you can get started on the Palisades. Mordcalb is going to come over and take over Palisade duty. And Cool Spot is going to bring over an army and we're going to reform the expansion party here. We'll have enough to hopefully take another stab at Desolation Point because by now they've been weakened enough that we can take them out and then we'll make our way down. And if we can actually secure Castle Malloy, we could get Bubble Goop Swamp and even take the waters here. Our expansion is, despite some setbacks, going quite well. Arborang Spy, I want you in North Face Forest so I can get out, have an idea of what old Mictalan is up to. And these three still don't have a ghost army, but they're holding out all right. Do I go back to Mount Erebus? Dangerous. But I would really like to be able to recruit from there. But there's a good chance I'm going to bump with Mictalan. Could do Novgorod instead. Nah, screw it, go for Erebus. Okay, let's go. I don't really understand how this game works. Yeah, it, it takes. It took me between 40 and 60 hours to get confident enough in the game that I could just play it. Until then, it's just constantly trying to figure out how everything works. Uh, ooh, a special battle in Mumbo's Mountain. And three Mumbo Magic, uh, magic Site things. Burial Mound, Garden of Bones, and Starlit Pond. Three gems. That's really good. But first off, old whale bones. We're going into the water again. Against shamblers, which are pretty terrible. Look at that. No real, no good protection, but they do get two attacks. Coral spears. Bleh. Let's just see how we do here. Oh yeah, these guys are going to die. Not a problem. Far from a problem. RCPD. Be great if I had Marvin Branick for this. So this was this was the fight that I decided to continue using Orbulon for rather than uh, doing a sensible thing and regrouping. But these guys are no big deal. Wolf Tribe Warrior, the joke. There we go. And there's the punchline. Down they all go. Uh, now, now we're down to only ten units total. It's getting a little day. Well, nine units total. Very dangerous. Hillfire Peaks. Had a banjo too, -y, don't you know? Again, with priests. We do not like enemy priests. But down they all go. And Mount Erebus for the second time, and this time without ghostly backup. But we took out all of their uh, mounted units, which were the big problem last time. And it's really cold. Something to note is that the chill aura that we have, which makes people around us cold, fatigued, and eventually frozen, uh, it works better in the cold and worse during the uh, the summer. So now that it's winter, we should be fine. Oh crap, I forgot about dust to dust. That's all reason this was a problem. Hopefully they don't manage to hit us with dust to dust. Our magic resistance is having to do all the heavy lifting here, but we've managed to freeze their front line which makes them very easy to just shank to death. Like I said, we're very bad on killing power. Oh god, that's a dust to dust. Swedish pizza just took out one of our numbers. It wasn't the Canadian and it wasn't Solid Snake. Who was the third one? Was it Phoebe? All right, there we go. Well, one third of the expansion party died. Was it Phoebe? Can't remember now. Losses are to be expected, so it's not... Yeah, Phoebe chillax. Goodbye, Phoebe. Rest in pieces. So there was an assassination attempt on Rocket Racer. Um, these can just happen, but it's a pretty simple one. It's just a single long dead coming at you. And you have a million different ways of killing it, so what are you going to do? Yeah, <laughs> you're going to do a Pokemon fight. You're long dead versus theirs. Oh, no, no. Right, that's That's... Professor Oak would not allow that. There's Dust to Dust again, an amazing anti-undead anti spell. As long as it's just one undead. If you're facing undead chaff, it's not going to help you. Uh, Rick Astley's brave deeds are being told. He is also unequal at obesity. And he's also rusty. Maybe it's because he was underwater. Yeah, being underwater can cause iron equipment to go rusty, but eh. That's not a problem for these guys, I am sure. North Sea in the south, or the Oberdin? 
I think I want to head north to the Oberdeen, because I want to see what's along here. Like, these give us a lot of view of the coastline. So hopefully I'll have enough strength to arc up and back down. But it's just two of them with no support, there's a good chance I could die doing this. It's just a calculated risk, shall I say. And there's Abalabia. They maybe are working with Old Mictalan, but they're maybe not. Do we head up to Belgium? Or up to Novgorod? I think I'm going to go for Novgorod and leave them Belgium. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Right, Ao Oni. I now want to send out spies to check out the Thrones of Ascension. How are you sneaking all the way? Oh, you're sneaking one and then all the way up. That's fine. Uh, Orbilon, now is the time for you to come together with the other units, I think. So all of you get over to Forest Frontiers. Defend the RCPD. Hellfire Peaks. Get a bit of province defense going. Another spy, Grand Gobbo. Check out Water's Workshop. That way I'll be able to see when Mictalan decides to invade here. And hopefully they invade Water's Workshop and not the Frostpunk Generator. And I want more spies. Spies are very cheap and easy to pump out and they barely impact my income. And there we go. Burdened Warrior, stop building the Palisade. You take over Palisade Construction. Cool Spot and Burdened Warrior together. Mm, <laughs> Burdened Warrior's... More likely to flee in battle, so let's not have you command the troops. Seems like it would be bad for morale. Let's take out Desolation Point. It's it's barely a province worth going for. It's a wasteland, but I'd rather... There's a, there's a phrase, how does it go? I'd rather tie my horse's peg to their land than mine. Which is just saying, better to expand into their land. Which I can get behind. Right, as I said, our main advantage of having cold and fear isn't working for us against undead. So we're actually going to stand behind our Spectral Legion. We can still, or rather, maybe we just stand together with our Spectral Legion. Get in there, kill them. And we want you on attack, of course. Eh, maybe a little further back, actually. Because these guys delay a bit to throw their javelins. Okay, I've got another spy here. You're building Palisade M uh, Mumbo Mountain on Palisade and Pitney Bank. Go, go for uh, Deep Canyon first, actually. And keep crapping out uh, spies. Alright, this was an amazing find. Three magical sites, and only with three magic on us as well. That's good. And now we've finally gotten a free spawn commander. They got decent leadership. These guys can be used to ferry around troops, but what they have is this reanimator priest ability. And since there are a lot of corpses in Lemuria, I'm going to do exactly that. These guys are going to crank out uh, Dispossessed Spirits. Nothing but chaff, but I want that chaff right now, so we're going to have it. And I think the next Centurion is the last Centurion I'm going to have. After this, I want to focus on Mages. And then I can start researching at long last. Because we're getting to the point where there's not a lot more indie expansion to do. This one's cut off by Mictlan. I don't particularly want this land because there's, there's a lot of pain involved in expanding here. And I'd rather Mictlan felt that pain than me. And this throne in particular. Thralls, vampires. That's, that's a pain for many people. But I want a spy place there so I can see how that battle goes when the AI takes it. So next turn I'll have... An extra Centurion and our little, probably last expansion party. Then we're going to solidify down, build up what we can, and prepare for proper war. And uh, in case you're wondering, this whole game is being done today, no matter how long it takes. And whether it results in victory or failure. Okay, you are just going to be waiting there, Rock Man. Okay. He's playing Lemuria against the AI. Of course he's winning. Etherealness is monstrously good against the AI. It rarely gets counters for it. Well, I'm not even fighting the AI right now. I'm only fighting the independents. We'll wait until we fight the AI proper. But how can we argue with Tyrion? He managed to finish the Mario Marathon. Not many people around here could claim that. Right, the Oberdeen. Again, I'm fighting with very little underwater here. It makes sense to uh, put another expansion party underwater. How do you keep starting out with lower health? The better question is, why are you not getting all your health back? 
I do not know why these, these shamblers are terrible. They got spooked by fear instantly. And uh, Rick Astley wants them. Underwater units, by and large, are quite terrible. But the thing is, they they excel in underwater fighting, don't they? They don't have many of the downsides that other uh, other units that go underwater have. So they're well suited for the situation. But basically, if you're underwater, the way to win is use lots and lots of water elementals. You can even use water in a jar, which is probably one of my favorite items. It just instantly spawns a water elemental in the fight. Uh, those became a core strategy in a multiplayer game I played. Uh, PV... A, player versus AI, where I couldn't handle the waters, so I just cranked out an industrial amount of water in a jar and swamped people underwater with water elementals because my nation wasn't set up for that. Forest Frontier is going fine. Desolation Point, take two. Yeah, those javelins completely failing to hit. There we go. Took a bit, but we chewed through them. And now we got a useless province for all of our uh, troubles. And Novgorod. Do you know how the Lemuria free spawn mechanics work? Basically, you're going to get spirits if you don't have a fort. If you have a fort, you're going to get the go uh, well the, the ghosts of spears and uh, shields. And if you have five or more dominion, you're going to get the sacred free spawn. And if you have a temple, you're going to occasionally get commanders. That's the best that I can claim to understand it. Oh, this is bad. You just got entangled. This could go worse than I thought. But it is winter, so maybe Cold Aura can do some work for us. It did! Excellent. I mean, the Canadian's still doing this with one arm, but he's making it work. Again, Lemuria is a very unusual nation to be using here. Normally I would be bringing actual armies here, not just relying on these single units, but... This is Lemuria. I can't believe they both survived this. Shanking Ada Wong for good measure as she runs away. Right, not bad. We have now passed one year. Our province count is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 32, not bad. I'm sure it could be done better and more aggressively, but for someone that has never played Lemuria before, I'm pretty satisfied with this. Let's just make sure everyone has the bare minimum of province defense. I think in a multiplayer game you'd only put down one province defense, but that's not how I'm doing things. Okay, Orbulon, you're casting the army over to the others. I might still stick Orbulon with this army. I mean, look, the highlands are very tempting to take. We can't get there, though. Why? Oh, because uh, the others move faster than Orbulon. Hmm. back on myself. Alright, I might as well just go down to Hellfire and then attack into the Highlands. But I would... Oh my, look at, look at this! Look, I've actually got an army here! That's the benefit of having the second fort up. Uh, maybe I should just be making palisades instead of proper fortresses, though. Like, go and make a palisade over in Barville. What's your undead leadership? Non-existent. That's a damn shame. Right... I want to be underwater, and I want to be not underwater. Well, what I'm going to do is Rockman is going to go to New London, and then you're going to bring an extra army to help out with the Highlands. Joseph Hughes is going to... Hmm. Yes, Joseph Hughes will take this entire army. I'm going to split the undisciplined from the disciplined. Wow, you can't get moved since... Is this your fault? Okay, forget the dispossessed spirits. They're too slow. We'll leave them behind for now. Right. Joseph Yu is going to meet up with these folks. There, then there. There, then there. Yeah, they'll hopefully come together in Seafoam Islands, provided these guys can survive these two fights. And then I'll have a large expansion party to finish off the waters, and maybe even just defend the waters. Whilst Rockman goes and collects the army from New London and forces them into the Highlands. Alright, that works for me. Desolation Point is now secured. <laughs> With Slingers, what a joke. 
Uh, let's hope we can take the upper land without issue. I'm going to switch around their formation. So again, I want my I want my cool spot in the front. My spy is going over to Inaba. So I'll have the spies in Waters Workshop and Inaba. I should only need one, but there's a small chance that a spy would get caught before he retreats back to Inaba if they do take Waters Workshop. And pass part out. I want you over in Pitney Bank, and I want you to search Pitney Bank. And I want a palisade in Deep Canyon, and well, that money is flittering away, isn't it? Yes, it is. More spies. I love spies. Always a use for spies. Right, you go over to that unknown Throne of Ascension. The Throne of Ascension over there, but it's a little far away. Hello! Nazca. Is Nazca a vanilla nation? It looks vanilla, but it can be really hard to say. So, the spy's job is simply to wait. This is probably a level 1 throne, because it's only guarded by militia. But it's a hefty amount of them, and it gives me a good idea of what Mictalan is bringing to the party. I'm not yet tainted by knowledge of this game, so Jake's erratic thoughts in those province names do to my mind what spring does to the last snow. <laughs> Makes it persist for months on end. Sorry, I am a Scot. Right, Solid Snake, Canadian. I'm starting to feel bad about leaving Belgium back there. But I'm... Um, given both of these are untaken, I actually want to send Solid Snake and the Canadian up north. If they die, it's not a huge loss. I mean, they're already horribly crippled and maimed. But the more land I take, the more good I feel about myself. So we'll do that anyway. So there we go, another bunch of expansion. Although my expansion is slowing down immensely now. And I'm focusing more on building up. If I can just make a solid core of forts here, I should be able to swamp the enemies and ghosts. And like I said, once they get counters up for that, like spamming out priests, that's when my thugs come into play. If I ever get around to having them. Okay, Pretender Gods are wakening. Not my one, because mine is imprisoned, but the dormant ones usually wake up within a year, give or take a few months. No sights in Pitney Bank. Another... Oh, crap. Wasn't I meant to stop making Centurions? I think I was. Straits of Hormoz. There's no water in these straits, but this is... Well, someone went overcharged, but they retreat before that becomes a problem, so that's not a problem. Upper Lands is full of horse cavalry. I can speed these up now, because... Uh, the tumultuous parts of my expansion are largely over. That's a fair few of them. But there we go. Ethereal is pretty good at mincing indies. That said, that attrition was pretty fierce. In fact, we lost almost all of our ghosts. Dang. Good thing we brought the ghosts then. Otherwise, that would have been goodbye, cool spot and burden warrior. Uh, but yeah. Woof. Bad times. And then Mermaid Island. Again, that's my very small expansion part, but we're fighting Marrows. Marrows are a joke. Please don't be a funny kind of joke. Like, you've got... Can anyone... Oh, I know why you're not healing, because you're undead. Undead don't heal. Wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. Why in the world is he not getting his extra hit points from his obesity? Tyrion, explain. He's not a magical being, so he doesn't need a laboratory to heal. He's just not getting his hit points from uh, from being obese. Well, he's certainly certainly learning to run away. Wait, where'd our other guy go? Okay, we should still have this though. Oh no, we don't. We're completely routed. Damn, not how I planned for that to go. Did it not say heroic ability plus ten, uh, plus eleven in the HP breakdown? Yeah, but he's not, he's always spawning without that hit points. There we go, see? Toga boy. Oh, oh, wait. No, I guess I was wrong. I guess he just took that damage pretty quickly. Still strange that it shows a red mark on him. Ah, I, I think I get it. His heroic uh, ability grew during the turns, but he didn't heal. That's my best guess. Right. Population down and gold down in Lemuria. Ooh. Killing cattle and shit. There's, there's nothing left to kill in Lemuria. Ooh, Tenebrus, the Shade King, has appeared. Tell me more about yourself. The King of the Shade Lands, the dark waste between the underworld and the lands of the living. All dead must pass. Soul gates opened. He answered the call. Led his armies. Shade beasts spontaneously appear. Right, we're getting free shade beasts out of you. Your job is to call spirits for me. 
But which one do I want? I think I'll still take Dispossessed Spirits for now. Hmm, I don't know. What's considered the better things to spawn? Because you can... Shadows. It's, pro it's probably actually better for you to call down Shade Beasts. You know what? This is why we have tools like the Dom5 Inspector tool. Go away Manticore, keep the console, keep the Lictor. I want to know something about Shade Beasts. They're not sacred. They have only three protection. Crappy defense skill, but they are ethereal. Stealthy? Hmm. They actually don't look very good in a game versus the AI. Stealthy is pretty useless against the AI because they just province defense max everything, so you can't get uh, can't get around them. Uh, only strength eleven, reanimating bite. The main thing is, yeah, I don't think reanimating is good. In fact, I think it's very bad. So I'm not very tempted by that, but we're going to do it anyway. But there's also these apparitions that you have. Tell me about the app. Apparition. The Apparition, again, have no protection, but they're again ethereal, they're not sacred. They spread plague and they have fear. That fear alone might be worth mixing in with the regular units just to get the aura going. The Reanimating Bite turns the enemy into soulless upon killing them. I think 50% prop chance. But soulless are terrible. Soulless are mindless chaff. The only reason you want that is to disrupt enemy lines, but... Chances are they'll just instantly die. Apparition, on the other hand, that fear aura alone makes you worth having. So, nope to those shade beasts, and yes to apparitions. And I don't care about plague spawning in my own lands, because we're undead, we don't even care if we get diseased. Right. What am I going to do with you? I want to start researching, but I don't really have units with which to research. So, what would I want to research? Horde of Skeletons is Enchantment 5 and something I'm very interested in. But I'm also very interested in being able to make uh, items for my thugs. Unfortunately, I don't have the path access or the gems to make the kind of items that I'd want. My gem income is pathetic because I've barely done any site searching. However, why doesn't Grandmaster Higgins do some site searching? Water searching in water usually gets a lot of water gems. And uh, could somebody tell me what path you need to make a frost brand? Because I think it's just uh, water one. And the fact is, I can make you when I build this up. In fact, I might actually, I might actually speed that up. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Grandmaster Higgins is going to search the water for water sites, and that's going to be my ticket to making frost brands for my thugs. Not a bad strategy, and it's one that we've just come up with because by chance we managed to get Grandmaster Higgins. Uh, I will double check that. The item, the frost brand. Frost brand only needs one water path and five water gems to make. So yeah, that's a great idea. Con uh, construction four should be quite easy to get once my research is underway, but my research is heavily lagging behind. Oh, I can't even make new um, acolytes with you. Well, I guess you're just starting on the research. Although, I want more Acolytes. Uh, I guess I'm going to bring you back, and you're going to do the site searching. I'd rather have you do the site searching, but... Yeah. It's difficult. These are expensive to make, and I need to empower just to make them. No, you're going to get back and make me Acolytes, and I'll have to make do with level 1 death site searching. As for you, Golden Deer, you are my final leader. You're going to bring this useless chaff somewhere. I don't really know where. Maybe into the water. We seem to struggle in the water a bit. I'll probably take a bit more attrition where I'm going. Oh lordy, Rick Astley actually ran away to the Weeb Junkyard. Okay, go back to Obradin. And then meet up with... Joseph Hugh, who actually has a half-decent army. Even more decent if I add this crappy chaff into the mix. I can't believe I slagged off the marrows and I got defeated by them. Right, Joseph Hughes into Old Whale Bones, Rick Astley into Oberdeen. They will converge on... 
Well, it has to be seafoam islands, and then I guess they're going to go from the bottom to the top. The opposite way of what I wanted to do, but that's just how things go sometimes. Gabriel Knight. Uh, you know, I actually don't want to lose California. It's a little bit outside of my deadly range. And if I put a fort here... Yeah, I, I want... I hate, I hate saying this, but... Uh, it's decent income because it's a... It's a farmland. I would like to keep this. It's also a bit of a choke point. I mean, the abandoned sector is going to be so desolate, I don't care if I lose it, but California I care a little bit about. But I want to keep everything centralised. Ugh. Don't know what to make of that just yet. Arborang might be a better investment. Well, McDonald land is a good investment. But it's all... When my, when my dominion spread, I'm going to kill everybody here. These are maybe the farmlands I should focus more on down the line for keeping my ghastly presence out of. Right, yeah, let's focus on focus on keeping the forts close to me in case I get rushed. Because let's say Mictalan uh, gets through here, then here, and then just crushes me before I get that fort built. I'll feel very sad. I'm going to centralize my forts here, that way they're very easy to defend. Because they're all going to free spawn all of these ghosts, and then I can just move them over to defend an area. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be hell on high water to invade. Right, you three, I want that Highlands taken. Rockman, grab the entire army from here. Is that an apparition? Huh, cool. Your map move isn't even that bad. Are you guys undisciplined? You're not. Huh. Not bad. Map move? Only 16, but still. Maybe I'm going a little too above and beyond with my... Uh, defending here, or my aggression here, but I didn't want to... I didn't want to lose this. You attack, you also attack. You cast your spells. I should actually start thinking about specific spells, but... Yeah, screw it, you know what you're doing. Good. This, this should be as good as mine, then I can claim the throne. Hopefully it's a good one, but we don't know what it is. I also don't know how you figure out what a throne is. Sometimes it just pings up and tells me what it is, but... Other times it does not, and I haven't figured out what causes that. Higgins de Valois? Yeah, you just hide and wait there. Tell me what goes on. Upper land was taken, no problem. Continue your march down to Frozen Forest. The AI is doing a very bad expansion path. Hide and wait there, Grand Gobbo, on Watto's workshop. Mumbo's Mountain is being built up. Pitney Bank will now be built up. Deep Canyon is being built up. And I think you can go and do more on the fort on New London. I do want someone in Barville, though. You're sneaking up there. There we go. You go to Barville and build it up. Because I would actually like to crank out more of these shamans. They're relatively cheap. They're crap at research. Really crap at research. But Water 1 could make a difference. I mean, all you need to do is cast Frozen Heart if you're getting thugged. I wouldn't... The AI doesn't really thug. I wish they did, but AI just throws their massive amounts of units at you as much as they can. Right, Toga Boy, grab some extra spirits to take with you. Again, they're nothing but useless chaff, but I'm very uh, anemic with what I have underground. Oh yeah, Toga Boy made it out as well. Alright, then all of you get together here. Mm-hmm. Can you make it up there? You ditched the dispossessed spirits. I could actually have you go all the way up to the Oprah Din, and then you could take your revenge up here and continue your path around, and that might work out a bit better. Yes, yes, I like that rather a lot. That's exactly what we'll do. Okay, wonderful. And then over in the Straits of Hormoz. Yeah, okay, now we're bumping with Tir Na Nog. Is that a real nation or is that a, a made up nation? Either way, I don't know anything about them, so. Ooh, Ash Canyon's a nice dead end. I think I'm gonna go for that. Straits of Hormoz has library, I can get sages. Astral isn't very important because I already have Astral, but that research. I am slow on research. Very slow on research. What else is there? Great gold mine. Ooh, that's going to give me gold regardless of my death, so I really do want the Straits of Hormoz. Okay, pretty good. 
Tirna Nog is an early age elf nation. Ugh, elves. Around elves. Well, you know. Yeah, they're spread out here. I, is there a way to see who's teamed up with who, though? Is that a nation overview? That just shows my nation. Uh, I don't know who works together here. Mm, oh well, soon enough I'll see. Uh, I'll see all that needs to be seen. I'm worried that there's a nation here, so that means. You know, if you're part of a disciple group, and either of you two are part of a disciple group, and this is a disciple group, then I am in the middle of all of the AIs, and it's a free-for-all in this game. You can tie nations together with disciples, which is what's happened here, but there's no such thing as allying. If these two are uh, following different gods, then they cannot ally with each other and fight together. Only through disciples can that happen. Right, let's learn a bit about Tir Na Nog, because I'm not familiar with them. Save and quit. Come to Create God. Go over to Tir Na Nog. A blessed isle surrounded by whispering mists, the home of Fatha, a magical race descended from the Midians. So they've got nature, they've got air, they've got spell songs. That's a an unusual way to start a commune. Yeah, they can use nature to start a commune, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of something else, but I could have sworn they did. Can I not see their spells? Not from here, at least. Anyway, I hate elves. They're such a pain. Glamour is annoying to hit through. Your iron vulnerability is nice to see. But yeah, hate fighting elves. At least their front troops are... Ugh. I would say chaff, but again, glamorous, sacred... Magic weapons on their sacreds. That's scary. That completely negates my ethereal defense right there. Ugh. Oh well, never mind. Let's get back to it. Is there anything else to care about? We've got the shade guy. Nah. We have seen it all. We've made our moves. We're hopefully going to secure this throne, secure Ash Canyon, congregate the Obra Din. Why are you moving here again? You know, you might. If, there might actually not be anyone here, which would be amazing for me, but it's unlikely to have gone that way. Uh, there's no one there. You know what? If all of this is free real estate, that's amazing for me. I should at least go and investigate. So I think Golden Deer is going to take a southern route for that. I'm sending him alone, which I don't like to do. But maybe it's the right thing to do. All right, make hay. You can get a lot of strength out of the early game by just not having wars happen. And so far, we're not at war. We just had our little bump, which we won. It's not often for me to win bumps. Right, get in there. It's just crummy militia. Unless you get unlucky, you should completely torch them. <laughs> Solid snake doesn't feel so good. Lost an eye, lost an arm, and weakened. But they still get their health back each turn. Frozen forests. God, you guys have nothing left. This uh, this poor expansion party is very much attritioned out. Still going, though. This is the one. This is the one for the throne. So what are we fighting? It's, it's uh, snowy here, which is good. But they have a priest. That is bad. Hang on, hang on. This sight spreads disease. Normally, you wouldn't see indies with all of these horrible disease things, but this tells me that there's either an amazing death site here, or just some other thing that's causing it to be diseased. And maybe it's the throne itself, we don't know. Um, makes it a little easier for these guys dying, but if I just waited a bit longer, they would have killed themselves through diseases. Nice burning blade. Wish I could get my hands on that. Loads of blood mages, but hey, if they cast blood rain, that's going to spook their guys more than it spooks mine. Also, were any of those sacreds? Nice, uh, nice and vulnerability. No, I was hoping I could uh, turn them over to my side. This army, I'm sure, was a lot bigger in the past, but it's not big now. The apparition is pretty useless. However, that fear alone is what I'm after. Oh, well, never mind, he's dead. <laughs> he got solar raid out of existence. 
nice call. They brought in a water elemental that became an ice elemental because it's freezing cold. And he can tell me exactly how cold it is here. Well, at least I thought he could. Ice protection one isn't showing up here. Hmm. Maybe it is. Maybe it was that two there. Anyway, yeah, that's a nice counter. Thank and he tramples. That's actually pretty bad for me. Ethereal counter is trampling, but it still hits more than I'd like. Come on, shank him. Don't let him run you over. Good, good. He sent out another one. James, where are you keeping all those elementals? You're even summoning imps on me. I'm glad I brought a big army for this. Just when I thought disease would do all the work for me. Look at look how much the the spells and the uh, the holy magic is doing for me. That and they're bringing in skellies. Oh my god! Take care of that elemental. It's crushing us. It's got good defense. When you when you kill an elemental, it just becomes a smaller size, which does make it weaker. But oh god, we are retreating. That's not good for us. Skelly spam is an excellent counter. You know, a good counter to undead is more undead. Okay, these guys aren't retreating yet. Oh, we might not get through their skelly spam to kill them. Oh, we did. We pierced on through. Who was it? It was uh, Ven Fairweather that managed to penetrate through. And coming up is the greasy Italian slipping his way, chasing down that poor archer. And we've got the enemy on the back foot. Damn it, I wanted that frost brand. Uh, not frost brand, fire sword. But maybe we can still get it. Arc around and kill that mage. Fortunately, our spectral weapons are magical, so his body ethereal. No, not body ethereal, his invulnerability doesn't save him. His luck does, though. Ugh, he slipped on through with that sword. I wanted that sword, but despite the heavy losses, we did win that. Very heavy losses. I think I lost a commander there as well. Woo. Yeah, look at that. 39 units lost. Our apparition is gone. Oh no, we didn't lose. We had a retreat though. Uh, Rock Man ran away with 14 units and they managed to reconvene, which is quite good. But yeah, they're gone and the throne is ours. This better be a good throne for all that trouble. It is the Throne of the Stars. Dominion up. Two astral perils per turn is quite nice, but we are quite certain that there is a hidden... Oh, it's not hidden. Here it is. This is the spreading deadly disease and unrest thing. That unrest is a bit of a pain. I'm on the fence about claiming this because spreading my dominion, it's good and bad, but it's probably more good than it's bad, so let's go and claim it. It's bad because it kills... It kills my money. Look at that, these, these, these poor um, farmlands, which are meant to be worth loads of money, is just dying off. But yes, go and claim that. Regroup your pathetic army. Uh, where did Rockman run away to? There we are. Okay, now I need to think what to do with you guys. We are now surrounded by the enemy, more or less. I could send you into the water. Yeah, that, I think the best thing these guys can do is go and claim the water areas now. But I also have a decent amount of ghosts start to be cranked out, and that number is only going to grow as I erect more forts. So, a lot of them are really beaten up, though. Uh, I don't mind... If these guys start attacking me, I'm not going to go to great lengths to defend this land. It's better just to pick big fights against them, crush them, and then make them pay for every journey they take in. Because slowly but surely this land is getting eroded. So that means even if they take it, it's not going to be worth too much to them. So, so, so. I still would rather dissuade them from attacking me. So I'm going to put in a reasonable amount of fort defense on my border. Just to try and not have them invade me. Ash Canyon's got this route through, sadly. Even Novgorod. This is quite a bit of money to invest in units that are just going to die to any real effort, but the, the point is the point is to dissuade the enemy, not to defend against them. Go and take Castle Malloy, please. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, we finished off this, but I'm going to build up fortresses, because it's pretty cheap to do so. Keep those fortresses going. And you guys... 
still kind of tempted by California. Maybe I will have another uh, spy there just to potentially build up a fort. Uh, one of you in Shitatsu shows holiday home, one of you in McDonald land, you're building a palisade. You're building a palisade. Um, you will build a palisade soon. Yeah, maybe I could upgrade you to a castle. I don't know if better castles give more troops. Stands to reason that it would, right? Oh, here are Shade Beasts. Nice, I don't know how many that you summon, but good, we'll just keep them flowing. Still plenty of corpses in Lemuria to reanimate, and you, I need you to start monthly casting more Acolytes. I need to get my research online. I want Enchantment 5, I want Construction 4, and after that, probably... I mean, Soul Vortex is amazing, that's a lot of research. A little bit of Conjuration goes a long way. And you're my Sight Searcher now. I need to Sight Search as much as I can. And thankfully you guys can go underwater, so I can also Sight Search Death. Speaking of which, Grandmaster Higgins is going to start searching for water sites underwater. What to do with all of you? Maybe I should put a fort on here. The AI loves to go for... Oh no, that's a great idea. Since it spreads deadly diseases, if the enemy does punch in here, it's going to be amazing if they try and siege me in the highlands, because they're going to get diseased whilst I just hold out and laugh with my skeletal army. Well, ghostly army, even. Yes, yes. Greasy Italian, erect me a palisade there. It's also a good place because it's going to get a decent amount of dominion due to the throne spreading dominion. Yes, yes, I can get behind that. You're not sacred. So you cannot build a thingamajigger there. Right, you maybe get back to... I don't like these things slowing me down. You maybe get back here and then reconvene the army. If I centralize them here, then I'll have the commanders and the units to respond to any threat. And since we have really good map move, it won't take too long to do that. But, as I said, there's a good chance that my enemies can start flinging up counters to that. Toga boy, you're tough. That's probably the best reason to have you lead the bulk of the army. You're less likely to die en route. Would I rather have toughness or HP? Actually, I'd rather have the HP. Rick Astley, you're in charge of the army. And the rest of you on the front lines and go on the attack. This screen made so little sense to me when I picked up this game to begin with. Now I like to think I understand it. Right, Revenge Against the Marrows, and then we're going to carve our way from the top to the bottom, even though earlier I said I'd do bottom to top. Mm, there, then there. Uh, maybe actually there, 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 there. I can do this in a zigzag. So if I go here, I'd have to double back to get out, which isn't good. A rock. What did I say I was going to do with you? Truth be told, I can't remember. I might actually have you join in the, under, uh, the underwater fighting, because the faster I take it, the more turns I spend getting that sweet money in. On top of that, Grandmaster Higgins, he can't build forts underwater, but he can do temples. He could even do labs if I find someone that's worth recruiting underwater. Alright, not bad. Don't forget to claim the throne. Pretty sure I'm claiming the throne. Now, let's go. Of course, the Highlands are a hot bed of plague. Nothing wrong with my Highlands. That would normally be horrible, but because we're an undead nation, it's actually really good. Right, the Acolyte industry is going to start now. Uh, we didn't find anything in the Panama Canal, but we did find something in Deep Canyon. Labyrinth of Skulls, that sounds like it's going to give me death gems. We're fighting down south now. Again, if this whole area is empty, that's great news for me. But I am sending in an incredibly weak expansion party. Look, it's just these two now. And it's coming up to summer, so their chill aura won't help out much. Now, do we get revenge on those marrows? We better. Marrows are pathetic. What killed us, anyway? Oh, they're immediately running away. I think I killed their commander last time. Yeah, yeah, their commander died last time. I could have just walked in there and took it. Leaderless troops always rout. I'm sure there are uh, exceptions to that, but none that I can think of. I suppose uh, berserking units never rout. 
Upper land gives me dominion, good and bad. And, hey, cool spot. Better prowess. And then Burdened Warrior already had his obesity. I'm really seeing no one else here. Hmm. This is kind of dangerous. Oh, right, Solus are not good for us to fight. Especially not without an army of our own. I should probably bring some units down south to aid this. What is that? A shade. I was got the same map moves as everyone else. Steel strength. Armor negating. Hmm. Oh well, in you go. We'll just mix you up with everyone else. Ah, I see, I see. Slippy the Toad joined me. Because I have a temple here. And you are... Actually, I have no explanation. But you're here. And you can preach and you can build temples. And I'm going to need temples down here. I think I already have one in New London. Yeah, temples mean death gems. So, of course, I won't have to do that. Uh, I could also call spirits, but... Temples are more death gems, so get me temples erected, please. There and there for the temple. You're building palisade, palisade. Now, where do I send this army? It's a half decent army. Maybe down to Blobhemia, and then you can aid the southern expansion. I don't like the fact that you're doing it alone, but you go to Blobhemia, and then you can meet up with these guys in Bob on Battlefield and then take the south. I actually think this is free. If it's not free, it's someone I can corner and destroy, especially if I push my line all the way to Loch Dunham. Uh, California, against my better judgment, we're going to build up there. And you are going to check out all of these water places for water sites. Water sites are, funnily enough, more common underwater. And you're going to check for death sites. Because more death gems. My, my economy is death gems. Because I can get my summons that way. I also would quite like to empower you. Or wait for my uh, my god to come back, and then I can summon more uh, death two or even death threes, and then that's going to power my summons even more. I'm I'm actually kind of fragile. If everyone dogpiled me, I'd lose all this stuff and a lot of my economy, and I'd be pushed back to here. But the thing is, they've given me enough time to actually get my forts at least somewhat off the ground, so it might actually still work. Arborang, am I going to regret putting a fort on you. Probably. Maybe you should just build a fort here. Yeah, yeah, let's not be tempted by the farmlands. They will die eventually, so let's not be too attached to them. Head on down to the North Sea. It's only shamblers, so it should be easy for you to deal with. Line formation. It's a little risky putting a single commander up front, because if he dies, everything routes. But with this addition, you should be okay. On top of that, did I want Barville to have a fort? Why did I care about Barville? Ah, because it can recruit my water ones. So yeah. Uh, water ones that can go on land, which is a big thing. They are equally as good in water and on land. Amphibious units are kind of cool like that. This is costing all of my money, you might notice. But the sooner I get these forts on the way, the more of a massive undead army I'm going to have. Yeah, the upkeep is from the Itchited, and I swear I've got something else hanging. Oh yeah, my spies, of course. Spies aren't free. Might as well be, though, right? Hang on, 20? Is that as expensive as my Itchited? Well, not far off, actually. Right, you've already searched there in the Deep Canyon. Search the Highlands. Magical sites are very common in Throne Provinces. Orgulon, job well done. Uh, I don't have any other thrones to care about right now. But you could actually construct a temple here nice and quickly. Seems a waste using your profit for building a temple, but I can't think of a better thing to do with them right now. Except maybe... Oh, he's not a reanimator priest. But he could call spirits. He could call apparitions. No, I'd rather have the temple. Remember, the sooner I have the temples, the sooner I have more death gems. Every temple is plus one death gem. Up to a cap of... Dominion strength. I'm pretty sure Dominion Strength can go above 10. I mean, not for the sake of spreading Dominion, but just the value I'm pretty sure can go above 10. I think I said I wanted a fort in McDonald's land. I'm sure I care that much, but... I don't have the uh, 
and I do not have the money for it regardless. What's Rockman doing here? Oh, I think I sent him to converge with you. Now I'm starting to have a bit too many, but this means I can split up and just take the waters faster. Fine by me. Castle Malloy, get your baseline defences. You might think, wow, Jake's not being punished for all these provinces he's taken, but I have high luck. My luck scales are 3 luck. And it's going to be closer to 3 luck the better my dominion. And that just means unlike un eh. Events are more frequent and they're much more likely to be good. I think it's something like 80% good events. And it also unlocks better events and blocks some of the worst events. So yeah, it's pretty good. Why did I have this extra scout here anyway? I'm spying on you, I'm spying on you. There's not that many thrones around here, is there? I'm going to make a long journey and check out what that throne's all about. There's a chance he'll be caught. Ah, I could send you actually, you're much closer. Well, you're kind of closer. Maybe. What'll I have you do then? I want you in a position to make more fortifications, so maybe go for Hellfire Peaks. Straits of Hormoz, on the other hand, has that uh, gold mine, which I really, really want. I think I'll have you hide in the Straits of Hormoz. Hopefully I can get that fortified so I can keep hold of my gold mine. Keep my precious income before everything dies. Alright. Kind of good enough. Good to see my ghost army growing and growing. But I do want some of the... Oh, right, right. You could go and take over building this palisade because it's a waste of your combat ability to have you doing that. Swedish pizza might get diseased, but that's okay because... Uh, well, if he dies, he dies. He will surely have enough time to build the palisade, right? Yeah, a little risky. No, I'll have him do the palisade. Greasy Italian deserves a break. You will go over there. Alright, good enough. You gain one point of total dominion cap per five temples. Yes, you do. That increases holy points for recruiting sacred units. Yes, it does. It means you can crank out ungodly amount of sacreds if you uh, rank that high enough. And it's really even better if they can be done off capital. So another acolyte. That's more sight searching right now. North Sea. I shouldn't have too much problem in the waters. Even though I did send you in alone, it's just against these crummy shamblers. Look at that, the shamblers can't even compete with my one size, one hit point spirits. All they need to do is breathe on the spirits and they kill it, but they fail to do even that. You still take heavy attrition on spirits, but they're completely free and pretty garbage. That's just, uh, they really are chaff. I don't think they're good for sieging, but they are chaff. Right, come and get some. Oh, that's the problem. They are coming and getting some, and these are mindless units. They're not gonna, they're not gonna be afraid of my uh, fear or. Oh well, I think that's cool spot going down. Yeah, mistakes were made. Oh boy, is he gonna get out of there? Burdened warrior with your battle fright and your never healing wound. Yeah, well that was kind of expected. And that, that's a good counter to my uh, my strategy here. But that means that you can instead turn around to Bob on Battlefield, which we are ready for. Somewhat. Yeah, we should be fine. Units will be lost. Bubble Gloop Swamp. Bubble Gloop Swamp is a terrible place. It's not even worth investing into. I mean, get it if you can, but really, what is it? what does it offer me? I'll tell you what it offers me. A path into these water provinces. I need to make a move on that. A uh, solid snake and a Canadian gather the ghostly armies. Man, these guys are so broken. Um, lost an arm, weakened. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that we didn't have someone with battle fright leading the units. Point is, I want you over here. And of course. Line formation behind the units. You guys just off to the side. Attack, attack. There we go. We'll get these three provinces pretty much for free. And they could actually turn around to Bubble Gloop if we feel like it, but it's also interesting to find out what's here. Uh, Golden Deer. Good job in North Sea. Blood Kelp Zone. Yeah, not a problem. Not a problem. 
earth gems out of New London, and loads of my fortifications are ready, so now we should be able to have proper units pump out of here. Although I don't know if I also need the temple to get the uh, the right, the half decent ghosties. Palisade, palisade, fortress, palisade. You're working on the palisade as well. Excellent. And you're working on those temples. Good. You know, you could turn that into a proper castle, but it's probably more important to get the palace set up. And you, I want you out site searching. We already did Brazil. Maybe go and site search the south, since the south seems awfully safe. Upper land, abandoned sector, desolation, and just work your way down. Very good. Keep this safe. Keep Golden Deer moving. Ooh, ghosts. Well, we do have magic weapons, so that might not be a problem. Hopefully the Wailing Lady doesn't do me in. She could, though. Blood Kelp Zone was fine. Do we split you up, though? Sea Trolls. Yeah, I think we're actually going to send everybody in to deal with the Sea Trolls and then see what's happening over there. Now Oni is going to wait here. So there's Naba. I don't think Nabar can easily get into water, I just hope that they can't. But we're getting a good vision of what's around us. I'm going to assume that Nabar and Tir Nanog are working together, and that means that Old Mictalan and uh, Abba Labia are working together. And the other group is over here. That tells me there's no one here. This is amazing. I can just take this. Splendid. In that case, we will take it with a vengeance. I have a decent army working its way down there. How's New London doing? Oh god, it barely spawned anything. Barville's working on that. Maybe I should go and protect Aberdeen to a degree. Orbilon has built the temple. I'm actually going to put a bit more defense in here in case it gets a nasty event that rips away my temple, my investment at the Palisade, and my throne. I don't want to lose all of that. That'd be a pain. Alright. Maybe go and build up upper land as well. Again, more forts, more undead, more better. You're doing site searching. You're also doing site searching. It's just a question of what I do with my pretender at this point. Mm, it feels like a massive waste, but I think I'm going to use my pretender to erect temples right now. But in a way, it would be better for you to... Yeah, screw it. I don't need to worry that much about what he's up to. I look forward to the glorious retreat to the bottom right corner in 38 turns now. I think we can hold out. As long as I have Dominion and these forts, I should be able to hold out. And hey, our um, our pretender actually became a famous hero. Orbilon's heroic endurance. What is that? Uh, re revigoration? Two magic sites. Whoa! Now that's a breakthrough on water. Two water gems, water ritual boosting, and on top of that... Mm, kind of expensive, but water three. That's really good because jumping up to water three can be a pain. The thing is, I, I can't imagine many things that I want high water for. I mean, that's great for getting sea trolls and... Uh, Queen of Elemental Water, but that's pretty watery, and the water isn't a contested spot. And then there's you. Ooh. Because you're sacred, you're actually pretty low cost for me, and you're a way to turn money into research. Even so, I don't like paying upkeep with this nation. Hang on, was this fort always here? No, no, the um, the thing that I found was actually the fort itself, the academy. That's amazing. That's going to give a um, nice administration boost to the areas around it. So I can get money whilst it's still there. Water 3 is worth site searching with, you think? It costs a lot. Well, it costs a lot of time to get. Maybe you could do the un... Mm. You think I should search and then research with you? I do want lots of frost brands, so I do want a lot of water gems, which he'll be able to find for me. 
Water isn't contested yet. Oh, come now. Does Inba have any real way to get underwater? One thing is I can't build forts underwater. Three red seconds can do it, but pff, I'm not playing blood game here. Voice of Tiamat sight searching helps get good underwater gem income. Oh yeah, that's pretty mage efficient, but I really don't want to spend my gems for it. Also, what is that under? Voice of Tiamat is an early one, I'm sure. Conjuration? Conjur Conjuration 5? Man, that is heavy. And it costs 8 gems. Ugh. No, I'd rather... Since I'm wanting water for the gems, I would rather just sight search. Alright, so I'm gonna, cra I'm gonna grab a Hydromancer and he's going to... He's probably going to recheck all of these after you do it. Or I have you do the land and he does the water, but no, that's a lot of turns away. I want... Yeah, it's efficient. You know what, I could get another one of these guys. Tell you what I could really do. I can build a temple here. Since I have this fort now, if I add a temple here, it's going to be good for spawning me some nice free spawn, including underwater. So I will do that, and then I'll probably have you hop on land and site search here, whilst the Hydromancer searches the water. Sorry, Hydromancers search the water. You go and turn that into a proper fortress. You bear to put a temple there and a temple there. Oh, well, you're putting a temple there. In that case, put a temple in the upper lands, please. That's already been searched. We'll go and do death searching all the way around here. Got another one of you, and you guessed it, I want more site searching done. Because my whole economy is just death. Mm, you know what? We're going to take a bit of a break here. We're going to go up to Sea Trader and then Celadon City. There's a throne there. Might be a level 1 or a level 2 if it's that well defended, but I'm kind of curious to see if it's worth my time. Problem is that my pretender can no longer go in water, can he? Oh, he doesn't have water breathing. So I can't get him over there to claim that throne, and I don't have any other holy threes. I could make him an amulet of water breathing, that'd be quite easy, but a waste of my gems. What's a really yellow radius? That's my dominion. That's the belief in my god. And dominion has special effects, Lemuria. It affects the amount of these ghosts that are freely spawning. It also kills everyone. Lemuria is almost completely dead. Uh, and it spreads my scales. My scales are turmoil, sloth, cold, death, but high luck and high magic. So it might sound bad, and that's because it is really bad, but we're making the best of a bad situation, you could say. Uh, more forts. More forts, more better. Forts don't have upkeep. Hmm. Do I want forts in Aberdeen? Well, I want forts everywhere, but Aberdeen will come later. This has been searched. There was nothing to be found here, sadly. Oh well, continue searching north. Maybe up to Sarmazagatuza. And then you just wait. Wait and hide. Well, we only have wait, but wait in the Straits of Hormoz and dream about the day that we can take a fort up there. Hello? Has this been claimed? Yes, this must be the Throne of Law. So, they're getting order and dominion from holding this, and the AI almost always fortifies a throne. Perhaps they always do it. Okay. In that case, I want to know when these two fight, so I'm going to move over to Skyrim Forest and see when and where Abba Leba and Tirnog end up fighting. As for you two, Bob on Battlefield got utterly wrecked by us. I thought that the undead would be more of a problem, but... Uh, the Poison Claws aren't going to do much, and they were low in number, so just if we cleave our way through, they're no protection. Uh, we got completely destroyed in the Baltic Sea. I thought I'd have an easy time there. We did not. How did that go so badly? We're meant to have magical damage. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, man, ghosts. Ghosts have defense skill 16, and they have fear. Ghosts are awesome. So we are just unable to hit them. Well, that's pretty bad. And then when we try and go for the commander... Well, we, we struck Wailing Lady. She's paralyzed. She should be easy to kill. Are you gonna kill her? She's right there. She's got no protection, no defense, no nothing. Just kill her. Nope, we gave up and ran. Thank you, Golden Deer. And you're gonna run into ghosts that kill you. Ah, oh, so close and yet so far. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot this. Whale. Whale is just a deleter. Aramore spawns you, don't you? Yeah, the Amorian Empire. What a hell of a fight, a hell of an attack. Scary, very scary. I don't think I can just recruit you, but that's a very scary thing to see. And Dire Dire Docks, nay a problem. Oh, they had a Hydromancer, though. Power of life, steel, and high defense. Yeah. All right, well, it's going to take a bit more to take over the Baltic Sea, it seems. In fact, over all the waters are giving me a hard time. But if I go there, 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 and there, we'll have this whole place looped around. No problem, right? You just wait there for now. And staff up. Oh, I don't even have money to invest in province defense and bob on battlefield. Right, we don't know what's in Navarra, but we're going to take over Gen uh, Gensokyo first. Boy, this is a rich area for me to just take, uncontested. Normally you'd have the map um, scroll around so the, the bottom here would reach the top here, so you wouldn't have this kind of locked off area to just secure. Uh, these days I play with full wrap around, but I was specifically told to play without wrap around on this. So I assume that's because Zingus, who, uh, who made all this happen, didn't like it. You're still waiting there? Okay. Yeah, my expansion has slowed down massively, but we've got the income. The income's going to go down because people are dying, but I'm going to invest it into forts as much as I can and hopefully build up a big old ghost army that's ready for when we get attacked. Whatever that is. Wraparound makes my head hurt. Ah, oh, so you probably. Ah, a lot of talking here. So I need a lot of drinking too. Right. Negative on the site search. More acolytes coming in. Feels bad not having my magic operational. Magic is hard to understand, but it's so powerful. Word on the grapevine is, though, that Dominion 6 is going to make regular troops more powerful. I guess magic had a bit of uh, power creep going on. Uh, that's no problem. My units aren't getting any stronger, it's just that I'm cranking out more of them. Which, you know, quantity is a quality of its own, but I would like to be able to buff these units and get my good secrets out. Death gems, excellent. Tax down, bleh. Unrest of magic, we don't care. Fortress and palace is done. Oh, Christ, there's another holy force here. So, Sea Trader Path also has something that's causing uh, damage to undead units, so we want to get out of there immediately. Celadon might be a little dangerous, but I want to see what's the uh, what's the hubbub there. Let's make sure that Bob on Battlefield and again, Sokyo are defended. And Navara. Ah, Deer Tribe Warriors and Deer Tribe Archers, bleh. Watchers are a big problem for me. Watchers are tanky, sacred, inanimates. In fact, this is what we have the Dom 5 Inspector tool for. Tell me about the Watchers. No, I'm, I'm looking at items here, aren't I? If I just clear all of that. Unit. Watchers. So here we go. He's got no attacks. He just sits there and does... Oh wait, no, no, I got this wrong. Who am I thinking of? What's the unit that's in a mobile holy thing? This is still a problem for me, but... Uh, what was I thinking of? Was it just statue? Okay, well, I swear I'm thinking of a... Another summon that's just a holy statue that costs cast holy, but this is in a way even worse. It's gonna throw lightning at me. I don't like lightning. Splash resistant, pierce resistant, magic being, inanimate, need not eat. 20 protection. I don't want to throw my army away against you. 
I'll come and I'll come and deal with these watchers at a later date. Then for now, let's take what's around them. Cerulean City. Oh, we've got Cerulean and we've got Celadon. I was gone for a bit, Jake. Mind showing the current Hall of Fame? Huzzah. Since we're using commanders heavily, we're on it, but quite a few of ours are dead. Bernard the Grave is there. Durand the Great from Tyr Nog. Orbulon's there at the very bottom, but at least they're there. So we're the one mostly populating it. Uh, that that um, wailing lady that I fought, she joined it as well. But she had the she had an item that gives experience, so that'll be why she got that. Right. Temple up. And temple up. I'm more interested in getting more uh, palisades up than fortresses at this time. I'm also interested in more site searching. Where am I going to site search? Should taxi show his holiday home and then head north? Great idea. Uh, you, however, I do want a fortress on this just in case something bad happens to our throne. You continue with the site searching. Mordkalb. You're meant to be building a palisade here, and that's not happening, is it? It'll happen eventually. You continue the site searching here, please. Got another one. Oh, you must have been free spawned, Don Munda. Go and site search Blobhemia, and then carry on for more underwater stuff. I'm putting a bigger emphasis on site searching than I am on research right now. If that comes to bite me in the bottom, then so be it. But at least I'm tanking up a good amount of death gems. I'm also at the point where I could empower you and then crank out even more of my researchers. Because I could empower you, and then I could have you make more of yourself. 20 gems each for you. But if I have a bunch of you, then I can, then I can have the one that came three crank out the sensors. Mm. It's turn 18. My own god could still be a ways away. Difficult choices, but I would quite like a lot of mages. Mm. Empowerment is expensive at 45. But I'm sure there's other things I want my god to do, right? How many death gems do I get a turn? 20. Screw it, we're going empowerment. I want to snowball with my mages. I don't have anywhere near enough of them. Right, we've got our temple underground here, or underwater here. And hey, this place actually has two commander points, so I'm going to grab these hydromancers faster than I thought. That's pretty cool. Then you go and site search on the land, and the hydromancers will do underwater. And you still need to go around and create me more temples. Although, I'm starting to not have enough money to keep the temples flowing. I could also have you preach, but yeah, to that. McDonald land will soon need a temple, so it's got that going. You meant to site search here. And Orbulon. Poor Orbulon. He doesn't really know what to do. Well, without much to do, I might as well just have you preach here. No, no, why preach when I can call spirits? I could have you call out those apparitions, which I like. Despite the fact they die really quickly, at least there's some free fear aura. Uh, the AI is on Mighty Tyrion. I think after I get my uh, teeth back into Dominion, I'm going to move that up to Master, but I will not put it on Impossible. Because Impossible is just oceans of chaff. It's no fun to fight against. But that still means that AI gets a 60% boost in everything. Nothing, 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 so we didn't find any sights this turn. We did the Empowerment, and before we forget, that means I want you to... How, how good's a Grand Lemur, by the way? The Grand Lemur is actually Death 3. It might be a good idea to bring you in so I've got a backup Death 3. Yeah, let's bring in a Grand Lemur just in case something terrible happens to you and you die. I would hate to have to spend on Empowerment again. At least with two of you, then I'm going to crank out things pretty quickly as and when I need them. Uh, you're here to Sight Search. You are here to turn that into a Fortress. 
Mordcalb is here to make a palisade. You've already made the temple, which is good. It's not worth building temples outside of fortifications, I imagine. Where's my ghastly guy? Where did you go? There we go, get the temple there, since we're working on a uh, fort anyway. Get a temple over there. This is good. This is snowballing just as I want. And there's my Hydromancer. Get searching good and proper. What do fortresses do over palisades for Lemuria? I don't know, you tell me. I assume the better the fort, the more the free spawn. If I'm wrong, then I'd love to hear it. Am I making any at the moment? And not to mention that palisades crumble like crazy. Trying to see somewhere that's had palisade spawn. Higher fort does slightly increase the free spawn quantity. I like the sound of that. Although maybe it's better just to have regular palisades up then. I could do a comparison, couldn't I? Mumbo Mountain has 42, California has 5. I'll compare them next turn, but I'll probably forget. Right, time for you to search. You've already searched there. Time for you to make your rounds, searching all the seas. It's time for you to make your way up with the site searching. Pitney Bank, McDonald Land. You know what? I have a dream of the Straits of Formos being well protected. Uh, might be a very bad idea, though. I mean, it's a, it's a long way to drag all my units, and it's pretty hard to defend. Nah, if they, if they take my gold, I don't think I should be worrying so much about this gold mine. Oh, but it's 125 when I count them together. What a pain. Okay, uh, well organized. Glorious Miss Ave will probably be caught here, but I do want some eyes on the situation to see if these two ever fight. And if they're going to fight over anything, they're going to fight over that fort. Continue grabbing the south. Uh, I can grab the pure lands on the way back. Or rather, whoever I send in here can go to the pure lands. I do want another army coming over here, though. Where, where, where is my army, by the way? Where are all my commanders? I guess they're all in the water right now. And you're building that fort. Fortress. I feel a slight twinge of regret for having sent all of my units over here. Oh god, it didn't go well in Celadon. Hmm. Oh, I didn't even look at these things, right? How did Celadon end up going so badly? Was there an enemy mage or some, uh, some priests or what? No, I think we just got blasted. Yeah, well, mundane weapons can win the day at times. However, they're almost all gone. I just need to stroll into there and I win. They have two commanders. And it shouldn't be e it shouldn't be difficult just to go and uh, curb stomp them. Toga boy, you're just going to take care of that single-handedly. And the rest of you, regroup what rubbish you have. And laughably attempt to take the rest of the water. Mongol strats, no wonder we lost. Well, ethereal's good against many things, but enough mundane can get through ethereal. Jolly Roger Bay, well, we know that went well, because we've commanded these units, but... Yeah, ghost, uh, joke units. Cerulean City, not to be confused with Celadon City. There we go. Right, Mumbo's Mountain gave me extra money. That's not going to last, because everyone's going to die. Lots of constructions complete. Uh, undead. Oh, right, yeah, the holy force that we retreated into blasted us. And Joseph Hughes, uh, he's got some iron will. Oh, good for him. Use that iron will to claim the underwaters. Still reviving you, which is fine. Uh, you can wait around for a bit. Maybe not. Maybe I could actually have you move over here and get myself a uh, another palisade in Hellfire Peaks. More forts, more better. And worm spawner. I'm a little 
anxious about moving my sight searchers right where my uh, enemies are, because they could just wander in, kill my sight searcher, and take whatever I've been searching for. So I think I'll hold back. I'll do Forest Frontiers, RCPD, and Novgorod. You go and check out Blobhemia. I've already got my temple here. What do I do with you, Slippy Toad? What I can do is actually use you to move around a lot of my chaff. Because we've got quite a lot of them over in the capital. And what I could do is have them move up, uh, move along to join up with the armies. Because they're still taking... Well, you guys are doing fine, but these guys are taking heavy attrition out there. Hey, look at that. Plenty of ghosts around here. That's nice. That's real nice. In fact, if that's the case... I think once the greasy Italian is done with this, he can head on over. Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Grab those ghosts and head under underwater with them. You please sight search, and we're good. If he's not boarding a particularly faithful AI, he'll probably prioritize indies. Yeah, the AIs like to gobble up indies before they go, Oh, I'm out of space, I need to fight, and then they'll take their fight with me. Right. Ooh, magic sites. The abandoned sector had the Garden of Bones, which I think is death. Yes, and Merman Village, but that's a waste of time. More death, more better. Blobhemia has the Forest of the Dead. Again, I think that's just death gems. See, a lot of them are really boring, but in the end you do need death gems. And Brundisium had the Garden of... Ooh, nice. I'm after water gems again. My, late... My mid to late game strategy is to thug out uh, sensors. They are sensors, right? Okay, forget three death. I actually scored myself a four death lemur. Very nice. What are you guys going to make now? I could be crapping out acolytes, but I'm kind of tempted to crap out thaumaturges. Because death two is better for skelly spamming. Hmm. The consoles are for thugging, but we don't have our thugs operational yet. Acolytes are better for research, though, aren't they? You have... Well, where can I find a good example? You have research 13. You would have research 17. I think I'd rather have the... Thaumaturges, though, because they can research, and then if I end up pushed and I need some skelly spam, I can bring those in. Of course, nothing's getting skelly spammed until I actually start on my research. I haven't done a lick of it so far, but I'm sure we will eventually. Arborang has mountains. It might have some nice sights for us. Uh, got another one of you, but I wanted my temple over in Barville. What are you doing hiding there? Get searching. Celadon City, as I expected, we were able to take over. I don't want this. It gives me heat, and I want to be cold. Dominion is nice. Fire Gem is nice. Oh, it breaks me into fire. And then I could use the Fire Earth to potentially make the... Um, the Fire Brands, if need be. It's a moot point, though. I can't take it anyway, because it's... Uh, it needs either my god or pretender or a, a prophet or holy three to take it. Holy three is what I was trying and failing to say. A sparse reef thing didn't go so well. Oh god, a lot of the fights aren't going so well. We took this, but we took a loss on it. I mean, that happens. You will take losses, especially against barbarians. Barbarians hit hard as hell. Look at these guys. 25 damage, great sword. They can go berserk. 24 on the chaff. They don't go berserk, though. Fortunately, it's still benign weapons, so they can't hit through ethereal very easily. But yes, yeah, Sparse Reef was a total blowout. We only routed them due to fear, and that's it. And we still lost someone. Chibi. This fight should be going fine, though. Yeah, we got the numbers. There we go, not a problem. And then, as we know, Celadon, we just walk in and win. These two are still going to fight, because they are commanders. But we largely ignore being shot. In fact, we can look at that. They didn't even hit us with the bow. It's pretty hard to hit a single small target with a bow. And then we just come and eventually shank them. Could have gone bad, but I 
had faith it would not. A uh, conscripted prefect is being attempted to be... Ah, oh, here we go, just another long dead. Pokemon fight and then splat. Unrest in population, that's fine. I mean, it normally wouldn't be fine for our nation, that's okay. Now, we said we check. California now has... Only six units. We didn't even get any decent units there. Is that because we didn't have a temple? And what was what were we comparing it to? Was it Pitney Bank? Or was it Mumbo's Mountain? Oh, Mumbo's Mountain looks great. All right, screw that. I, I want my I want my fortresses. It's point in having money if I don't spend it. Uh, you go and search California as well. And where is my ghostly apparition? There you are. You go and build a fort over uh, a temple over there. And you do the big searching of the underwaters, and you go and help him. Mm -hmm. Can you get over to? Oh God, I don't want. I don't want to take the fight against you again. You're scary. Could we perhaps just go straight to High Rule? High Rule, Rig Bath, just take out all of this. That'd be that'd be lovely. The attrition I'm facing here is otherworldly, though. There's almost nothing left of us. Still, we can join up, that's great. Oh, I think I brought you over here to move my units around rather than anything else, didn't I? Yeah. That's what you can do. You can get to old whale bones, pick up all those units and head on over with them. In fact, look, you get all of these as well. You go and help out with the, uh, with the south. Yeah, it's north to somebody. Let's not lay into poor northern sea. Palisades, more searching, more searching. Dare I palisade up the RCPD? Yeah, pretty nice core of forts here. If I could also extend the forts out to there, that would be very nice. Yeah, more forts, more better. Get on out there. I'm being largely uncontested by the AI. It's possible that they have decided to start fighting with each other more than anything else. And sometimes you just luck out like that. Right. You go and check out the south. Bob on battlefield and such. You're still searching for water around here. You built your... Ah, that's right. I can have you go and help out. And I can, in that case, bring over all of my undead units on Slippy Toad. And Slippy Toad can go and help out down south. Because we're in dire need of reinforcements over there. Dire need of reinforcements underwater in general. But just uh, get moving there and we'll see what's what. The AI might be fighting each other. Hard to tell without scouts in enemy territory. The problem with scouting AI is the AI love... The AI know where your scouts are and they will go and patrol them out. Always feels a bit unfair. Feels like it removes a layer of the game. But if you talk to Brelix, he hates spies, so... Right, nothing on the site searching. How do we do in Hyrule? I swear it won't be crushing indies forever. I mean, we're almost out of indies. Can't believe we won that. <laughs> we didn't deserve to win that. That was uh, Rick Astley on the back lines saving us. And a lot of retreating. They retreated away, but I think we just need to carry on. Let's take out Fungus Woods. Bird and take out Pilot Wings Resort. How far can you chase? If you go to North Sea, then Baltic Sea. You might be able to meet up with them down here. Oh, right, Baltic Sea has a slight problem with that bleeding, wailing what's her face. Alright then, maybe to Cascade and then meet up at the Pilot Wings Resort. As for you, there's searching to be done. Great Bay Temple. <laughs> okay, so Mictalan has already made its way south and they're reinforcing Tall Tall Mountain. Really don't know if Mictalan can get underwater. I'm gonna put just a touch more defense here so he doesn't think about going for it. And then you two. Well, job well done. I'm actually gonna send you home now. 
I really wish I knew what was over in, in Abba's. Um, does anyone know how to figure out what the throne is? I swear I've seen... I swear I've just seen it. Maybe do you have to ping the throne? I mean, I've got you in here. I will ping the throne. Attack, current province. Pinging is just doing an attack where you don't actually intend to win. You just retreat straight out. That gives you a very good idea of who's in there. Which gives birth to an, a strategy called gem baiting, where you send in someone and the, the, the goal is to figure out what... Uh, the goal is to make your enemies use up all of their gems. Why... Why is your map moved down to 20? Huh. That's just because these guys are 20. That's a shame. That just gets me away from being here. Alright, Jolly Roger Bay and then Bubble Glute Swamp it is. You need a Sacred Scout for that? Really? That's interesting. Let's go and try that then. We'll scout you with that. We're still getting our temple and we're wasting a turn of sight searching, but I'm curious if this is a really good... Um, a really good throne, then it will be worth me going in for. And if it is that good, I will go for it. Yeah, nice thinking. I got more places I want palisades, just more for my undead factory. Right, now we finally have something that looks like uh, a bit of a mage core, so what am I going to do with it? Actually, I should have thought about that. What do I want to do with that? I'm still limited on my death gems coming in. 25 is nice, but... Uh, I don't want to get my consoles going until I can at least thug them out with their bless. Although they are immortal. So the sooner I have them, the sooner they're out there getting experience, the better. But I really want to get some proper researching done. So you two are going to get me some thaumaturges. And my existing thaumaturges are going to research. And yeah, it's, it's slow pickings, but if we just keep crapping out thaumaturges... We're going to work our way through the research, and as soon as we have Skelly Spam, we have another tool at our disposal. The throne setup is that there are four level 1s, three level 2s, and two level 3s. So 16 throne points in total. Victory comes when you grab 12 points, I believe it is. It's kind of a shame that the game just ends when you win. You can't just keep playing and thrashing down your enemies. But hey-ho, right, Aberdeen's getting a fort. And you can move in to aid it. Although, there is a lot of units to move around. This is one of the things I don't like about free spawn. There's just, you end up with so many units, it's a massive logistical problem to move them around. Look at Deep Canyon, all this free spawn. And no commanders to move them around. But we will get free spawn commanders to, to do exactly that. You go and search there. You go and do Arborang. Maybe fort it up. Uh, you have been searched. Go and search Aberdeen for death. Shouldn't be hard. And you... Maybe make your way south. I want some more forting. Oh, well. Yeah, Brundisium. Brundisium wouldn't look too sad without a fort. Fortress up here. Continue to... S uh, no, you've already searched that. Go and check Merman Island. You, however, search me. Uh, deep Sea, more magic sites. I love the sound of that. Search RCPD. You just wait there. So, Gobi's Valley is probably a level 1 fort, if this is all it has. A level 1 throne, rather. Which means it's the Throne of Night is here. Throne of Night works for me. Every so often it makes the whole world dark, and we have perfect dark vision, so we can survive that no problem. Alright, let's go. Once you start getting consoles and grand lemurs, that free spawn is just the bow on top of your mortal raiders. That's what I'm hoping for. Obradine had some frozen deeps for me. Increases cold, which is good for us, and the, the gem is always nice. Uh, otherwise, Bob on Battlefield had another Forest of the Dead, another death gem. And as you see, we have very expensive death gem summons that we're doing, so every death gem counts. Uh, Fungus Woods, no problem. Pilot Wings Resort, big problem. Uh, oh god, Cataphracts. Well, I guess we're not having our units meet up together. I'm glad my initial expansion didn't go like this. But yeah, we failed to spook them out. Probably because I only had one 
of my uh, one of my fear granting out. Oh, he actually died there. What a damn shame. And Inaba. Right, we pinged Inaba. The whole point was just to see what's in here. What do they have? Loads of vampires who have invulnerability, but we have magical weapons, so that's fine. Thralls are just useless uh, guys with pitchforks. The main problem is this guy right here. Vampire Lord, three death, three blood. It's not sacred, so I can't charm him over, and even if I could, he's got high magic resistance. Yeah, a hefty amount of us could take that on. The question is, what's that throne? Well, our sacred spy can't find out, so how in the world are you meant to know what the throne is? I know there's a way, I just don't know what the way is. Still, you just go there and wait it out and figure it out. Uh, we've got our temple here. I actually want you guys to come back and start moving units around. So you head over there, you head over there. You get us more of those palisades up. And you guys continue to... Well, actually, I can't afford it now. You research for now. You bring us out another Thaumaturge. Oh, is it specifically a priest? Well, you are a priest and a sacred. And a mage. And stealthy. And you still couldn't figure out what this throne was. Disappointing. I'm starting to wish I was sight searching with these guys, though. Double death and the astral on top. Always so much to do. Right, you keep on searching. I now have you to go and sight search here. Although, mm, the waters aren't looking so hot for us these days. Right, Slippy Toad, you get to Pilot Wings Resort then. And you folks all join in. And then we're going to use this army to clear out this. Okay. How much is a console? Console's 25, Jinx. That is expensive. But I will get them soon enough. For now, though, actually managing to do some research is a nice change of... change of tactic. Maybe I'd be good getting a third Hydromancer, since water is part of my strategy here. Pretty expensive pair here, and uh, money is a problem for me, but three Hydromancers won't break the bank. I don't want you, but I'm not sure I want a lab just to crank you guys out. Probably not worth the expense. Right, man, look at these fat stacks of units I can have on you. Very nice. I can shove the aberrations in with you to mix in some fear. And you guys have largely finished up your southern expansion. I think I'll have you go to Bubble Gloop. And... Who was I just grabbing you? If you grab... You go and grab those guys, and then move over to California, and I'm going to take you Naba. I'll just take the thing and throw a fort on it. Between these armies... How many arm? How many can you lead? Undead leadership 95, that's pretty good. Grab the people from Brazil, and then let's go and take over Inaba. Greasy Italian. You have a heck of an army. But what are we going to do with you? I'm confident that these guys can take on all of this, right? That's a half-decent army to deal with, uh, deal with whatever ails us down there. Well, Seafoam Islands and the Baltic Sea continue to bother me, so let's go and take those on. I won't even script you. You should be able to take that care of that on your own. Arborang deserves its own palisade. See, there start, this starts becoming a lot of things you need to take care of. Uh, you help by throwing down a temple there, and then you can continue the site searching. You're also throwing down a temple here. You've not site searched Aberdeen yet. Please do that. RCPD site search. I'm pressing N. That uh, that sends you to your next unit that has uh, that does not have an order. Go check out Castle Malloy and Bubble Gloop. I'm still searching water on land, which might seem strange. Let's do what we do anyway. Right there, we have Pure Islands is another place you haven't been to yet. You're not wrong there. Could actually do pure land first. Mm. Nah, maybe there, then there, then back a bit. That uh, that bloody woman can't screech away all of my units, right? 
Please, Jake, use Hydromancer to search the land. Why would I do that? Well, I will when I crank him out, but I want to site search water first, since I want water sites. Right, Thaumaturge, nothing found. Sea foam. Oh, wow, we actually got destroyed. And this will be why. Yep, that was just... Oh, it was not unlucky. It was this. I was not aware that the knights had a magical horn. Since it's magical damage, it completely bypassed my ethereal and just killed me. And with no leader, my units were out. Well, so much for my massive army that I bring down into the waters. Uh, fortunately, they were all good enough to disperse. But they completely dispersed into all the adjacent provinces. Ugh. Well, that, that's really quite terrible. Really, really quite terrible. Well, we'll do this a very Roman way and just throw a whole lot more units at them. Freedom United should be able to get in there and take care of it. I mean, yeah, that the magical attack is a pain, but surely we can just overwhelm them with our superior numbers. Yeah, you get in there and solve my problems. At least now I have enough respawn that I can just throw them at a problem until the problem goes away. Which is uh, going to be a large part of the strategy now. Hmm. Well, we got a problem. He doesn't declare war, he just attacks. Mictlan, and that means Mictlan's uh, disciple as well, are now at war with us. Question is, who's Mictlan's disciple? Is it Nazca? Or is it Abelibia? We can check that. Not there, though. Pretenders of the world. Um... Why do we have all these different pretenders? Uh, I don't get it. Horus, Vortivac, Big Biter, Randy Random. Scipio's my god. Ah, here we go. Lover of Horus. The seed of Big Biter. Right, I see, I see. So Mictlan is... are you Mictlan? Yeah, Mictlan is here, and you follow Vortivesk, so you are teamed up with Nazca. Right, so I've got all of this to chew through. If it looks like I'm big and scary, they got all of this, including quite a lot of farmland that isn't dying on them, because they probably don't have death skills. On the plus side, that kind of means that Abalabia here is an insulator. So, 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 what does that mean for me? I'm going to bump up my defenses along my border here to discourage any of these guys from declaring war on me and punching through here. It might not work, but it also might work. It's very expensive, though. Um, and then hopefully I just have Mictlan to deal with. And hopefully these guys also fight Mictlan. But yes, he's going for the Frostpunk Generator. Unfortunately, he might fight Arborang now. And if he does, he's going to clear out my Palisade, because my Palisade isn't done yet. And he's fighting with Amazons. Ooh, that's also not bad. Let's have a look at... Uh, not good. Discouraging the AI with problem defense doesn't work as Lemuria. They attack as soon as your Dominion starts killing their population. Really? Oh, I had no idea about that. Okay, well, I'll still keep them, and I'll just say they're there to defend against immediate attacks. Alright, so these guys don't have magical weapons. They're actually... They're really bog-standard units. I'd say the upper echelon of bog-standard units. But I, I need to see if I can save you. I do have commanders here, but the commanders can't get to Arborang in time. Uh, they could have had command, uh, commander to lead the troops in McDonald land, but I don't. I might lose Arborang. That's a shame, because I invested money into this palisade. Even if I ran away. Yeah, no, I've got... I'd rather just lose you than not. Although, what I could do to save Arborang is invest heavily in defense. That should be able to fight against the army that they're bringing in. Especially if you also join in the defense. There's not a lot you could cast, but at least you could be there. 
As for you, I'd rather you stayed away at the back and just well, just stay behind the troops if it comes to a fight. You just cast spells if it comes to a fight. It might go for Shatatsu Show's holiday home. I'll keep the defense low so that maybe he does go for it, and if he does, that buys me time to go and uh, wrap my units around him. But now I need to consider how I take this fight. I don't think he's going to be a threat in the water, but I need to start bringing my units in and curb stomping him. We're at the end of year two. I still have another year before my Bless and my Pretender come online. Even so... Whoa, who the hell are you? Etimu the Wraith Lord appeared. A Wraith Lord, but he's mounted. Learn the secrets used to establish the Kingdom of Terror in a distant land. Title of Priest King. He is immortal. With a Bane Blade and mounted. And look at that undead leadership. Oh, getting hot under the bother. Hot under the collar at that. Okay, well, if you think you're that hot, only Holy 2. If he was Holy 3, I could claim thrones with him. Right, well, if you really think you're that hot, take my units and get to work. Should I send you over to Pitney Bank to pick up these ghosts as well? Mumbo Mountain has more, but I think I'll send you to Pitney Bank because I can move them over using Bjorn. And just grab, this, grab the army and you're going to head on out with them. I kind of wish you weren't heading out alone, though, because if you die... Well, why would you die? You're not going to be engaging in, in the fight. At least I don't plan for you to engage in the fight. You're going to be at the back casting death spells, which I have not researched. Priest level 2 can claim thrones. Now you need to be level 3 to claim a throne. Uh, although Dillis is level 3, but that's a long way for him to go. I'm not really sure I want to send him out just to claim that throne. Man, look at that undead leadership. Yeah, I don't have the good magic to make it worthwhile to bring my mages in, I would dare to say. Uh, right, you... Here's what I can do. Solid Snake and the Canadian are going to go to Jolly Roger Bay. Zelda is going to bring like, all of this, not you. I wish it was... The problem you get when you have all these different kinds of free spawn is selecting them becomes a right pain in the bum. But I think I'm going to bring Zelda over to California, and then these two are going to jump on Inaba next turn. Factorio Engineer... I think I'll keep you there so I can move around units better with you. But yeah, you, you've got all my army stuff and are heading over there. I, can I still call apparitions, by the way? It kills people, so I don't think it's actually doing anything anymore. I could move you over somewhere else and start making more apparitions. Especially if it's far away from the bulk of my... Hey, you know what? There's something to be said about making apparitions in California. Or... It's easier to remove, for you to move around if it's up here. Interesting, though. If you wanted to have peace with the AI, what you would do is you would... Maybe even have something to prevent your uh, Dominion from spreading into them. Cool. But yeah, I had no idea that that was a mechanic. Right, keep on searching, keep on searching. Let's get more of you to search on land. Pilot Wings Resort falls to me, as it bleeding well should. Well done, Slippy Toad, you brought us these goodies. I'll give them over to Toga Boy. Actually, didn't I say Rick Astley would be in charge of them? Not if he's got Battle Fright. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, Slippy Toad, pull back. I'm going to want you to, I don't know, move more units around in due time. And the three of you, I want you to go over to Rigbarth. I don't really want my Dominion spreading down here. I want to own these lands and not have them die and stop making me money. So I will not expand past probably Blobohemia, or maybe even not past Brundisium. That way this should take a while to fall under my Dominion, because I want the people here to live and to keep paying me taxes. That's how it goes. Thank you, Trigby. Uh, let's keep those fortresses going. 
And you need to search California for magical sites. You need to search the water for magical sites. Factorio Engineer can just chill out there for a wee bit. Regular Pratus, you're also there. Good for just being flexible for moving my troops around. Barville's got a lot of ghosts. The Highlands have a lot of spooky, spooky ghosts as well. Mitch Dillon. What the hell is Mitch Dillon? Right, move over to the Highlands so I can have you to uh, have you to move around units again. You have site searched Aberdeen. Now I'm going to site search Clip Clock Woods. Boy, what a what a lot of work to do early on in the game for this nation. I can see why people like playing the free spawn, but that's a lot of work. And there's one thing I'm not big on, it's loads of work. Right, I would I want to see a sense uh, a console. I keep thinking it's sensor, but it's console. But I still want thaumaturgist, what's a man to do? Yeah, it's hard to say no no to more thaumaturges. Because I really want enchantment five for hordes of skeletons. It's just the research cost doubles every level. So enchantment three is like what, two hundred? Four is 400, 5 is 800, I think. But we'll get there. The sooner I have enchantment 5, the more safe I'm going to feel, because I'll have hordes of skeletons. I just want you to be there. Maybe preach a little bit while you're there. Huh? Oh, I think undead priests can't preach. Is that right? Oh, well, if nothing else, call in some dispossessed spirits. And while we're at it, let's make McDonald land uh, Actually, I don't think I care about making it a castle just yet. We're getting our palisades up there. I need the money for the palisades. Palisade or palisade? Dominion strength too high for a level 1 priest there without a temple. Uh, no. I mean, you can't, you can't preach anyway. But, oh! No, there we go. It's only, um, it's only Dominion 1. A level 1 priest can preach up to Dominion 2, 3 if there's a temple. Alright, let's go. Hundreds of hours of Dominion's knowledge flowing through my veins. Something has to. Okay. Come on, sight searching. New Thaumaturge, nothing found, nothing found. North Sea has... Was it Growing Kelp or Ridge of Ice? What did you find in North Sea? Bridge of Ice. Well, more um, more water gems, and I really want water gems for my thugs. I don't know what armor I want for my thugs, if any. Uh, if I have plenty of earth gems, it shouldn't be difficult to make a bunch of uh, armor for knights, but that's, con that's construction six, or... Yeah, I think it's six. Hefty one. Nothing found, nothing found. A merger tile? Oh, this is just us taking over the south. I do somewhat. Oh god, tramplers! Ethereal can the gate trampling. But there we go. Get out of here. Midgets hate tramplers, but we're no midget. Size 2 isn't midget, size 2 is normal. There we go. Not too bad. Uh, right, now, this is where planting my spies comes in handy. So he's going for a throne here, Mictalan. Mictalan is using giant jaguar sacred toads. And he's still got his larger bless, which does make them stronger. Larger bless doesn't require blessing to take effect, which is kind of cool. I see he's trying to set his own units on fire, and he doesn't have fire resistance. Thank you, Fire Drakes. Fire Drakes are a bit of a weakness for me. I have cold resistance, but noticeably not heat resistance. On the plus side, my Dominion is full of all this cold, so that's going to be hard for... Well, that's going to be better for my cold Dominion. Okay. Claws are not... <laughs> yes! <laughs> Off scripting AI, just burning your own units. Well, they're not mine, so it's not my problem. Hello, hello. Well, he's definitely taken the place. I can only hope that McLean paid for that. Twenty of his eagle warriors, but they are cheap chaff. Actually, that is very cheap for a sacred flying unit that gets two ambidextrous attacks. Bronze Lance 3, bonus for first strike and good for repelling, especially with larger. Well, 
Larger only takes effect at size 4 and above. Even so, that's a pretty good chassis for your sacred units. You can crap these out, no problem. Nice one, Mictalan. Anyway, I'm having to fight against this now. Uh, Gobi's Valley. Oh, right, one thing is that my spy is probably going to die here, but I'm going to leave him here for the time being. Gobi's Valley is another place I put a spy because it was a throne place. It doesn't... Oh, they're not flying? But they have wings. These guys have wings. Okay, I, I don't think this is going to be difficult for them to take. It's just a bunch of horse archers. Blood mage. What's all the blood mages around here? You never normally see this many blood mages on the map. Not indies, at least. There we go. They're going for the back row. There we go. Yeah, this is a very good victory for them. I used to get so annoyed by flying units, I couldn't figure out how to counter them, because they would just go back and kill my mage core and my commanders, but flying units are usually quite a bit uh, easier to kill than other types. So if you just bait them out with some strong units at the back, if you know you're fighting flyers, then they're going to eat it. I think what really cheesed me off was people casting the uh, the hawks at me. Yeah, the hawks. They target any province, they just wipe out your province defense. But I'm on to them now. A satyr has been caught in Castle Malloy. What? What does that even mean for me? Ah, I bet that means that there's going to be uh, an event here where I get attacked by them. Well, let's see how they like fighting against my... You know, I don't think it's even worth investing in province defense for that. So I lose Castle Malloy. I lose I almost nothing. Yeah, screw it. It's probably worth a little bit of province defense to deal with them. Maybe a little more. Since there's probably going to be a fight there, I'm going to keep you to, in the safety of Frozen Forest. McDonald Land. Last year, a village was laid to waste. Travelers have heard strange sounds. McDonald Land is home to the Statue of the Overlords. Was that it? Or was it haunted? Uh, it's probably haunted village. Well, more death gems is more better. I really, really want death gems. All right. What was the merger tile? Oh, that was a battle. Okay, Mictlan, they did not attack me, possibly turned off by my province defense. My cursed dominion is not spreading into the other guys, so they're not going to be attacking me just yet. But it's time for me to take the offense. Etimu and Bjorn, grab the rest of these units if you can, and you absolutely can. I don't think I want to take these guys, they're really slow. Let's see if I can still move a decent amount with this. Oh, no, we can still get into the Frostpunk Generator. How am I going to attack Mictalan? I would love to just smother them on their capital if I knew where it was. But I don't know where it is. It's probably here. That's a very good valid place for a cap. It could also be here. No, that's Stockholm. It's probably here. Oh, no, here it is. Wait, why do they only have a crappy fort? Do Mictalan only have access to Palisades? In that case, I might be able to smother them on their capital. That would be very cruel. On top of that... Yep, cruelty is the way forward here. That moves 16. What's slowing you down? No, oh, it's you. There we go. Right, we're going to converge all of our units on Frostpunk Generator, because we're undead. We don't need to care about supplies. And we're going to carve a path through Diamond Heights into Old Mictalan. That's going to make everyone in Mictalan suddenly turn around and try and save their home. So I have to be pretty confident that this is enough undead to uh, to be able to repel that. It might not be. So maybe I should be flooding in with reinforcements. But I don't... I don't I'm kind of sending all of my undead at this. Ah, but no, I've got reinforcements from you folks because... because, because, because... You're going to go in there. He'll site search once we're done. The Canadian and Solid Snake and Zelda are all going to come in here. And have our filthy way with these guys. I want you to stay behind and cast spells. You're just going to be sneaking. Spells, attack, attack. Do I really want you to attack? I mean, you could die there. Yeah, it'll be fine. 
starting to think I want some actual uh, militant frontline units because a lot of my a lot of my commanders that I spent time making earlier on are either dead or committed to the Eastern Front. Mm hmm. Better get me one console at least. Let's see what they're made of. And if you could be so kind as to give me another thaumaturge. Enchantment 4 is on the way. Enchantment 5 is what I really want, though. Because a uh, horde of skeletons is just... <laughs> even, even if I was being pushed hard, 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 I should be able to make my way to horde of skeletons, and then I just push out with endless hordes of skeletons. Which is just such a feel-good thing to cast. Right, so things went really bad for me underwater. Do I try again? I think I do. And I think I'm going to have you do some on-land site searching for me. Hydromancer. You just cast spells from there. These guys will know what to do. I got a lot of scattered units here. Do you have undead leadership? You do? Yeah. Oh, no he doesn't. That's magical leadership. What a shame. You could go in there as well and help out. As long as you're casting spells as well, you might even help out the fight, and then you can site search afterwards. Ugh, all these cast about units. Right, merger tile is mine. You guys continue going on. I really want to get to Rig Barth. Probably Argentina, Rig Barth, Grand Reef, and then you guys tunnel all the way back. Be careful not leave these places completely unguarded. A quick check to see if I have anywhere with zero province defense. Bubble Blue Swamp. High rule. Yeah, I've been slipping on these. When you have lots of provinces, you have lots of provinces to manage. Okay, you're still hiding there. You're still hiding there. I really thought that Mictlan would have gone for these. I'm very surprised that they did not. Uh, you're over in Brazil. There's not too much for you to do there. Could have you join the fight regardless, or... Oh, upper Land's got a fair few. I want a flow of reinforcements, so you grab the units in upper land and bring them along. I'll just, just bring everything, basically. Yeah, grab upper land units and follow suit. Uh, you stay out in Mumbo's Mountain. You're calling apparitions, you go and be prepared to grab more of those. I would quite like a fortress here. Keep on with the searching, keep on with the searching. Definitely want a fortress here, the most frontline thing I have. Searching underwater, and moving along to search more underwater. Consider going one deeper into Enchantment 6 for Rigor Mortis. It's a really strong smell uh, spell. It's just so much research. I don't have that kind of research. I want construction so I can get my frost bands on my thugs. Then I want a bit of conjuration, and then enchantment. Because enchantment comes at the cost of pretty much all of this construction, so no thank you. I know it's strong though, you're not wrong. But you gotta pick a pick, pick a lane and go with it. Damn, that's a lot of uh lot of spooky scary ghosts. The temptation is to say skeletons, but they're not the ghosts. You could be nice reinforcements, so I'm gonna move you over. This is gonna be a real pain if I start getting attacked by you. I hope I don't, but my uh, my dominion is stronger than yours, so there's a good chance my dominion is going to leak over and start a fight. But that's my problem to deal with. Let's keep going. Sparse Reef. I must have missed Sparse Reef. But again, I kill the lands that I'm in, so unless I have a fort and a temple, after a while, a province isn't even worth keeping unless it's got really good uh, sites in it that I've searched. Okay. Thaumaturge and the console are on the way. We found ourselves a black coral reef. Good. We want death. Where was sparse reefs, by the way? Well spotted. Thank you. Uh, nothing found. Click Clock Wood has windswept catacombs. Nice. Wind and death. Multi gems is always great. Right. Frostpunk generator. What are you made of, McLan? I'm made of a lot of unscripted ghosts. Oh, he's just got crappy PD. PD stands for Province Defense, but it might as well stand for Pretty Dead. There we go. One bit of chaff and one other bit of chaff went down. 
Normally, moving this many units would be a problem for supply, but the lovely thing is that the undead need no supplies. Without supplies, units starve, which lowers the morale, then they get diseased, which slowly kills them and gives them even more ailments. In Naba, oh, how am I still losing? That was meant to be a glorious victory for me. I didn't think these guys would be a problem. Ah. So something I forgot was that vampires fly and that they have magical attacks, so they just instantly kill my, uh, my leaders. But you should still be able to lead them, Shadow Tribune. Yeah, that light drain is still a problem for me. Uh, it was looking okay, but we're routing, aren't we? Yep. And they've got a lot of horde of skeletons of their own there. Wow. Tragically bad fight for me. Half of my army lost. The Tribune lives on, but Centurions are dead. At least he lost all of his vampires. So I could rush that and take it with a relatively small force if I took it if I took the fight a second time. Do I want to try my luck at that? I've got Trinibus here, I've got Zelda here. Senseless waste of unlife, it is. Uh you might be able to cast some nice spells for that fight as well. That's it, I'm not gonna give up, I am going to take that. I'm even going to risk this guy's life, even though he spawns me some not terrible free spawn. We're going in. Hopefully this doesn't hurt too badly. I mean, we are worse than we were before. Right, you cast spells from behind. You also cast spells from behind. You are chaff. You are there to be strong. You're there to flank. I want you, specifically, to attack the rear. This could still go very badly for me, but do your best. Oh, you got a Bane Blade. Come on, I just, I just want this throne. In preparation for getting that throne, Orbulon, would you mind moving over to... Hey, you could move all the way over here, that's actually useful. If Orbulon were there, Orbulon can cast spells to get rid of the enemy's undead. And strengthen our own units, so that's the plan. Yeah, just stay back behind everybody. You should be fine. You're big and strong enough to handle yourself. You move over to Albania. Frostpunk Generator is just mobbed with the undead. I'll put a token defense. And then... I said I'd go via Diamond Heights. Now I'm not so sure. And I'd probably have to do Diamond Heights, strip him of that income. But look at Ardania. That'll be a lovely big fight for me to win, assuming that I win it. Maybe I should start scripting these units in some way. Uh, right, part of the problem is that I have a lot of units that are mixing undisciplined with disciplined. So I'm going to do that. I like my units just in regular line formation. I used to like double line formation, but now not so much. You guys off to the side. You guys just do whatever. And I should probably have something resembling a guard for you. Guard for you, and guard for you. I just want you to cast spells, you figure out which ones, same with you if the enemy has any undead. Otherwise you can boost, uh, buff rather nicely. Oh, right, one other thing I forgot is I want all these weird little houndy things over there. If I had any more, which I don't. What's my bless? Uh, blood surge... No, where is my bless? It doesn't show up here really, but it's reinvigoration plus two. Um, Prophet Shape Manticore, which I somewhat regret now, especially since we're too old for a Manticore. Blood Surge 6, Undead Regeneration 10%, and uh, I think there's something else in there. Don't remember though. We'll need to wait for a god to come online. 
Ah, sweet, we're starting to get spectral lictors. I'm not going to use them for fights just yet. I want to kind of amass them so that I can have a, uh, a sacred army, so to speak. You get over to Frostpunk Generator. Thinking about it, this, this is a bit of a point where a lot of my units collect, so I'm going to put some actual half-decent defense on it. Yeah, I'm committed to this fight. I'm just going to bring over everything I can for it. How about you, Rance? No, nope, Clubber Seal is there with a hefty amount of undead. So you get over there as well. Although you could go straight to Ardania. Why was there a fight in Mount Erberus? I don't think I checked all the fights, did I? I, I got thrown by this. Argentina, naturally, we win. Defend Argentina and continue taking this free real estate. Seafoam Islands, I knew it. Went fine this time. No doubt my mage helping out. So yeah, those those magical unicorns are great at tearing apart my ethereal units. But there are more of us than them. Oh, I love that water strength. Bang, bang, bang. The humble water mage. Mostly useful in water, but certainly has his uses outside. Just defend that, search it, and Christmas dinner. Maybe you should go around and pick up all the units that I lost. But there's also this annoying Baltic Sea. Yeah, for now I want you to collect all these units that I... No, maybe it's actually better that they are there. They'll help out in any errant fights that occur. I don't need to pay for them. Yeah, there'll be plenty of reinforcements and replacements. And you go into the Baltic Sea, because you might be able to banish away that annoying Wailing Woman. It's unlikely, but you might. Actually, my units are kind of rubbish against you. A much larger army got destroyed. What hope do you have? Maybe go to the North Sea, then. Gather up the army from there. I don't know, this Wailing Woman bothers me. I want her gone, but Wailing Women are powerful. Don't have a good idea of how to counter them. Here we go, here's my Consul. And he's actually Priest Level 3. I could send you all the way over to Celadon City to claim the Throne of the Summer. The Dominion is nice, the Mage of Summer is maybe nice. Do you still need a lab for him though? I maybe do, it might not be worth breaking into fire just for all the way over there. But I will want the Throne points at some point. Oh well, Arbiter's Ground, you, you get over there then. Kind of a waste of your time, but until our faith comes up, uh, until our god comes online, you're not that good for me. Does getting the Baltic Sea even get us anything important? Not really. But it's another province, it's more income. It's better to have it than not have it, is what I'm trying to say. And probably failing to say. It's as useful as any of these other provinces we have. Right, I'm still wanting more Thaumaturges, please. More Thaumaturge, more research. It's growing, but man, this is very, very low research to have at this point in the game. Time for you to start searching on land for watery sites. Scandenburg, you just... I'm actually at the point where I should probably start thinking about turning these into proper castles. Wake up, DDR Ox. What? Who put that name in? What does it mean? What could it mean? There we go, let's get proper castles. Should get us even more delicious free spawn. You've got some searching to do there. You get me another castle there, although you should probably build up forts here. Actually, that makes so much more sense, doesn't it? Get building. Um, yeah, failing to take Inaba. I might have you attack the province with them as well. At least then you can cast some spells to help out. In fact, I think what I did was I didn't have you involved last time. Mistake on my side, no doubt. Oh, you are full of units. Alright, well, the French can go and hold out there. In fact, do you think the French would take over this? I'd give them another turn to get more units first. Or I'll bring over these guys from New London. Yeah, you go to Old Whale Bones and then next time Pure Land is taken without a fuss. 
<laughs> you guys are getting diseased there, but that means nothing to me. Undead can take diseases, no problem. Turn that into a fortress and keep on searching. Ooh, Sarmazega 2 is searched. Alright, Deimos and Weeb Junkyard. Weeb Junkyard first. Novgorod is searched. Mount Erebus is not. What was the fight in Mount Erebus? Oh, we actually got attacked. Hmm. Didn't I invest in province defense here? Yes, I did. Not much though, but hey. I think our riders beat their... Whoa, crikey. These are mercenaries, so it feels good to kill them. <laughs> uh, kill them, right? Believe it or not, that useless chaff is doing really good, because the one of the big things about heavy cavalry is they come in with his lance. It gets a big bonus hit on its first strike, but it's still a mundane weapon. So that's why it's good to throw chaff in its way, and it's even better if it's ethereal chaff. Because not only do you take the hit on useless units, three out of four of those hits with. Of course, they die. But hey, I gave us enough time to shank them away. And this is kind of nice as well. All of our province defense comes with a death one mage. Now, this isn't a lot of skeletons, but every so often, just a few bits of additional skeletons make a huge difference. Especially since he actually has... Wait. Am I about to find out... Oh, he didn't bless himself. I wonder why he didn't bless himself. Oh well, not to worry. Trash Canyon gets me a bunch of gems. Chibi gets me a bunch of unrest. My spy was discovered and butchered, but that's fine. That's what spies are there for. Oh, I forgot. Frostpunk Generator massacres undead units. What a horrible place to have as a choke point. I just lost tons of them. Oof. Whoa. Oh, okay, right. Well, we're not using this as our go-to spot anymore. I completely forgot. Right, well, tell you what. Let's not bring all of our units over there then, shall we? Let's focus over for Ardania. Yikes. Okay, yeah, Frostpunk Generator's a bad place to be. It's definitely not worth setting up a temple and a fort in, because my free spawn would just get instantly gibbed. Uh, I said I was moving you over to help out there. That should be fine. You are meant to be searching yet more. You're meant to be searching here. You search Bubble Gloop Swamp. Okay, good enough. Having labs in your templed forts give free spawn mages. Completely forgot about that. It's a good way to spend the money that I have now, though, isn't it? Right, no magic sites. No magic sites across the board. Rigbarth should be a no-brainer. Yep. So Rigbarth gets its defense, and you guys deal with Great Reef, and then circle back. So I actually have some commanders to start using. Although... Maybe, oh, it's a monolith there. It's hard to kill monoliths, especially magical ones, with my crappy weapons as well. There's a good chance I won't be able to defeat him anyway. Maybe I could charm the monolith. Probably not worth a shot, but it would be so nice to have that monolith as my own. Right, Naba got defeated trying to take this throne. What throne could it be? Uh, I think I can take a good guess what kind of throne it is. It's really nice when you see a throne like this in AI land, because the AI loves to throw its units at taking it. And it usually takes quite a lot of effort for the, uh, the AI to win. Especially if that throne also has stuff that they summon, like these elementals. Come on, you guys are meant to be used to the heat. Huh, Will-O-Wisp don't actually emit heat. But they're still ethereal, and that flame burst is no joke. Not a huge amount of damage, but it uh, ignores half the enemy army uh, armor. Not that they have any, and it just oh, it's roasted camel for dinner tonight. Yeah, sure. Counter these fire beasts with a fire elemental. <laughs> Wait, who's who's this fellow? Big old John guy. 
He's an expensive one. Decent enough mage. He did not tell me what his bless is, though. They decided not to bless. Or not, uh... Yeah, not bless. I don't know what their bless is. Be careful of the Watchers. Yeah, I'm not engaging the Watchers. They're too deadly to me. All that, uh, all that lightning, I decided that much earlier on. Still, good to see. That's a lot of damage done to Nabar. And... Yeah, mostly chaff. Just got rogered by, uh, for the throne. Now that throne is in all likelihood Throne of the Sun. A very powerful throne. Not for me though, I don't actually want any of this stuff. But lots of dominion, these are good for living nations. Three gems and fire resistance. Ugh. I would love to have that. Right, they did come for me in Mount Erebus. They sent a lot at me in Mount Erebus. Including a Jade Serpent. Well, let's hope my ethereal units can do something here. Hopefully my enemies just have mundane weapons. Looks like it. Are these mercenaries? No, he just has itchy -its. Why does he have those? Am I really playing with AI no recruit on? Well, I must be, because otherwise he would almost certainly have uh, a whole heap of... Wow, okay, that Jade Serpent isn't lasting long. He'd have a whole lot of crappy speared militia. Spectral Javelins flying. Uh, these these guys are not going to last long. Down they go, even against Itchyids. These are not the Itchyids that have nets, at least. Nets are a pain. Alright, well, we got hammered there, but in go the Ethereal Ghosts that I brought over for exactly this purpose. They decided to fly into my backline, the Serpent Fiends, but I think they're getting frozen. Yeah, courtesy of you, my acolyte. You can be our acolyte, but first boy, it's time to bow. Lots of them running away. I don't even have fear. They're just taking too many casualties. And yum, 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 yum. Good, I love it when the enemy just kills themselves on me. 99 losses for them. And all I lost were a few ghosts. The province defense doesn't matter, because province defense gets replaced after every turn. As long as you don't lose the uh, the province. But if they want to start attacking me here, it's probably a good sign to buff up my defenses a bit. And yeah, there's Belgium. Right, yeah, you make an excellent point. I have not been erecting temples here, and I probably should. I just wish I had some free, uh, some very cheap mages to go around and build temples for me. Really, this guy's the only one, and I kind of want him to be sight searching still for water. Oh, yeah, there's you, and you're doing sight searching. You can't get back to upper land in time. Then again, I have a lot of units here. There's nothing really stopping me just casting a bunch of Acolyte, Acolyte, Acolyte. Then I'll have those Acolytes spread temples around here. Is that worth it for the mage turns? I could just send these guys out, build the temples, and then still have them. But I like having them centralized here. Just a very quick way to grab a load of my level two, uh, level two death ones and send them out for skelly spam. Yeah, no, I will use the acolytes for this. Slowly getting there on enchantment five. Right, are you ready for some pure landing? You can just have all these units. But two of us are both going in. Cast, cast. Line formation. Get me the pure lands. Your mental man. Am I ever gonna know what to do with you? Should I just throw everything at you and hope for the best? Actually, if you go over here, you need to move anyway. Oh, I don't have Frozen Heart, of course. I keep thinking I have all these nice spells, but no, certainly I do not. I got a Water Strike, though. Magical damage. I don't know if that uh, girl is cold resistant or not. Well, whatever. Cast spells. I want. I want this regardless. Just take the damn place. Trig be still hiding out here, and we have Throne of the Night. Wait, I thought that one up there was Throne of the Night. Well, regardless, Throne of the Night is good for me. So claim it, defend it. Maybe not with a uh, fort that's a little far away from it for us. And you, I want to sight search it, 
and the rest of you. Uh, you can just join in with there, although you're faster, aren't you? Yeah, you'll probably run out and die. Alright, then you join the other ones. In that case, get over to Albania, not to be confused with Ardania. Maybe I will fort it up. I don't have a lot to lose on that. He means labs. I, I don't know what I said. Seldom do I. Not a lot going on in here. Oh boy, free spawn commanders is a pain. Oh, Shitatsu Shows Holiday Home doesn't actually have a temple. I'll fix that. That'll be why it's not spawning me any useful ghosts, it's just mostly the useless ghosts. Construct ourselves a fortress here. I'm probably not going to compete in the death match. Diamond Heights was actually quite a lot of losses for us. 70 of our 280 died. It all, including almost all my shade beasts. But this possessed spirits I don't really care about. Let's see how that went down. Yeah, them using magic is gonna help me much. Even when encircled like this, yeah, we chew through them, but at what cost? If I go for Old Mictalan, there's a very high chance that these guys just all die horribly. However, if I concentrate all my forces over to Ardania and then Old Mictalan, I could probably choke them out. Is it worth a go? Maybe. We'll give it a go. Because we're having some offensive mages would help out, because I, I really am just throwing loads of chaff at him. There isn't a lot of strategy. I feel like Yuan Shao here. But then again, I really love Yuan Shao, so it's hard to think of that as a bad thing. These bodyguards should also be helping me with any surprise attacks up the back side. go. So yeah, big win in Ardania is what I'm certainly hoping for. I'm not sure if I should spill a lot of province defense into Diamond Heights. See, we'd probably just go and mulch it anyway, and I want the money for my uh, my labs. But yeah, we combine our forces in Ardania, crush old Mictalan, and that stops him recruiting all of his fancy units. Well, most of them at least. And then hopefully we can slice across and take the south. And then hopefully the north is also embroiled in a war. We don't know that because we can't see anything. We're getting closer to our god being a, uh, being resurrected, though. Or called down or whatever. Breaking free of imprisonment, I suppose is how it is. Uh, Mount Erebus needs to be searched. Not a lot going on highland-wise here. You're building that castle. Maybe go over to the Ars... Oh, you're, you can build this into a castle. You can also build that into a castle. Why don't we take one of these guys and throw them away on a death match? There's not a lot they can do. Well, they're going to die, that's what they're going to do. But if they luck out and they end up just fighting somebody who is uh, using mundane weapons, they might win. If nothing else, we at least get to see the, um, the death match. It's even more fun than it sounds. Yeah, you're heading down there. Is there anyone important that needs to be moving right now? Look at that jump he can make. We get surprisingly high map move out of these undead units. Okay. And there's so much more to check. Yeah, damn free spawn commanders. Useful, sure, but they really clog up your turns. If you enter the fight to the death as an undead, do you lose by default? No. <laughs> Surely a fight to the death means the first one to die is a winner. Why else would they call it fight to the death? Ah man, time flies when you're playing Dominions. What day is it anyway? Is it Friday? I need to do my shopping, so I'm getting kind of hungry. Right. Revive, revive, revive. Magic Sight in Inaba, the Banefire Braziers. Death is good, heat is not good. The fire gem and the death gem, very nice. 
Look at those water gems. Where the hell am I getting all these from? This is good, though. Uh, I should be getting ready for my thugging, honestly. So... I guess I'll take you, and I will tell you to monthly cast getting me some consoles. And... We're a bit away from getting enchantment 5, but when we do, we should be able to explode our way to construction 4. And then... Oh, well, I, I don't know. I don't know. Our, our research isn't speeding up in any way. Oh, well. Get out there and build me my... Uh, my laboratories. I might actually go away from Enchantment 5 just to get Construction 4 so I can get my Frost Brands. I would like my Frost Bands. But that really slows down my research. Yeah, you can never have everything in this game. But Enchantment 5 is just a strategy in and itself. Hmm. You know what, I'll hold off on Enchantment 5. It's... So at five months of work... It was either Skelly Spam or get my... Uh... This, this goes well in time with my thugs coming online, because they should be able to come online pretty much any turn now for the next 12 turns. Of course, another consideration is... Oh, crap, that's a thing. I want my... I want my lab over here so that I can make these guys to cheaply churn out uh, frost brands. Yeah. Yeah, lab over there is important. Good, 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 good. Right, Albania. We had our fight against the Indies. We're still expanding here and there. Not a problem. Yeah, we're far, far away from our expansion parties of about 10 and 14. Diamond Heights, as I expected, they did come for me. And it was not worth investing in province defense, because they would just mulch it with that anyway. Grand Reef. Is this where we're fighting... No, I thought this was where we're fighting the uh, that annoying lady. Oh, this is just us mulching our way through. Ardania. Potentially a big fight. Certainly a lot of my units. We certainly outnumber theirs, but a lot of ours is just chaff. I'd, I'd be hard-pressed to call a sacred... Yeah, he's still kind of chaffy, isn't he? Gotta remember he's enlarged. And yeah, it's weird to me that these guys aren't flying. Look at those big wings. Mm. When blessed, the sacred cloaks give the eagle warriors the ability to fly. Huh. I don't get it. Is that an inherent bless that they get? If so, that's a pretty cool effect. Everybody lobbing projectiles at each other. Ooh, we don't like this fight going on for a long time, though, because the uh, blessing... Well, not the blessing, but the priest does me some damage. Some of them are running all away already. These salamanders are a pain. That, uh, that drake fire is a pretty nasty beam. If he's going to let one off here, it's probably going to hurt a lot of my units. Yeah! You must accept the fact that there will be losses. You just gotta make the enemy take more losses than you. Laboratories are needed to do research and to hire mages. But for Lemuria specifically, if you have a laboratory on your fort, you can get a free spawn mage. And that is good, because mages normally cost me death gems, and death gems are... They're vital for everything. I need them for my thugs, I need them for my mages, my research mages and battle mages. Damn, this guy is a little too holy, but get the hell out of here. I'm not liking the fact that I have retreats going on here. Alright, so how did that come out? We lost a third of our army. In fact, we, we were kind of tit for tat on that, which is unfortunate. Starting to wonder if I could actually do a fight on old Mictlan. Because he's got a lot of units here, and I, I cannot emphasize enough that I'm largely just throwing chaff at him. Very, not very good chaff. And I don't have that much rein that many reinforcements coming in. Thug. Thugs do fight well. A thug is a single or small group of units that have been kitted out with the intention to being able to hold their own against uh, most chaff. 
Jeez, the attrition I'm taking on my ghosties here. I know the ghosts are all free spawn, but it still hurts. Especially since the enemy AI gets a lot more out of their everything than I do. Could move over to North Face Forest, prevent them from... They're probably trying to build a fort here, but... If I moved in there... Probably not. Mm-hmm. Throw enough chaff at a problem, you'll break through. It feels like a lost waste. Not always. Not enough chaff will not get through heat from hell plus foul vapors. I'm not sure there is a number that would get through that unless you fluff them up a bit. But then, are they really still chaff? jump if you didn't have these losers. Here's that thought. I'm going to send a bunch of units in here with a hefty amount of province defense, whilst the guys that are already there... I'm quite likely to centralize their army under you because you're probably the better commander, kind of. You can certainly command a lot of them, it gives me less to think about. What are you doing here? Get out. Mm -hmm. You can't claim a throne, but it would be nice to... They're probably building a fort here. They always fort up their thrones. But if I hit you there... Actually, this is a terrible place to invade from, because what I'm doing is I'm getting in the way of you fighting them. If you're even fighting, I don't know if you are. You got a lot of units in Diamond Heights. You got a lot of units in uh, Mickland. Sod it. We're gonna we're gonna go for the capital. You guys will come in as reinforcements. You guys could also come in as reinforcements as long as I dodge the Frostpunk generator. Uh, what is slowing you down? It's 20 and 20. Why is one of you going there and one of you not? Huh. Why can't he move over here? Um, well, probably because he doesn't have floating, so he's being slowed down by the... Uh, the snow here, if I had to guess. Alright, if that's the case. Send your units over to Zelda. Wait, now Zelda... Now Zelda can't get there. Is there like one unit here slowing you down? What's the story here? Maybe Zelda didn't have the units to begin with. Well, there's no way I'm walking into the Frostpunk generator. That place is unpleasant for me. So how about we just take out Water's Workshop and then uh, raid the south a bit? Meanwhile... You should start to have second thoughts about my, uh, my take on construction here. Do I want more of these? What do I want you guys to do? Probably research for now. Do I want more consoles? Yeah, I want them operational for as soon as my god's around. Same reason I want my... Um, same reason as I want my frost brands at the ready. Alright, Doug the Mug. You make your way over there as soon as you can. Let's send in the reinforcements, because this is a... This is a fight that's taken care of a lot of my chaff, and not in a good way. Any more chaff for any more. You've already got those folks. Pitney Bank, Mumbo, Brazil. Ah, Brazil. Brazil's got the reinforcements I asked for. Get death fields up there. Oh, you can do it in one go! Nice! Sekiro, can you also do it in one go? Not quite, but you're getting there. Why are you calling spirits? I want you to search. 
Search McDonald land. What delicious treats are they holding out on us? Otherwise, otherwise... I'm gonna get you over there to move more Pitney Banks units over. Yeah, I'm just throwing all of my ghosts over at McDelan. If he ends up breaking the back of my army, that's pretty bad. That's gonna be a failure on my offence. But one failed offence is not the end of the run. We can regroup and take him down. Also, how's my consul doing? Okay, the consul's gonna claim the Throne of Summer soon. Which actually doesn't work to my advantage. But what does work to my advantage... Well, actually, it doesn't. It's uh, summer. Why is it so cold here, then? Maybe Mictland took cold skills, which works to my benefit. Mm -hmm. Is Jake playing just one game of Dominions, or will this be a reoccurring thing? Reoccurring. I'll have at least one game of Dominions every week. I know, it's... Uh, the game asks a lot of me. But I love playing the game, so... Too bad. Uh, RCPD doesn't have a... F doesn't have a temple? Well, I'll fix that. And Click Clock Woods certainly deserves a fort. Look at that, a lot of these places are mostly dead. Deep Canyon has nobody living there. Shitatsu Show's holiday home has declined in population. California's dying. That was a silver lining, I suppose. And I have claimed the Throne of the Night. If I end up getting the event that causes uh, night to overtake the day, then that's a lovely bonus for me. What does Orbulon do now, though? Shitatsu Show's Holiday Home is meant to have a temple in it, pretty please. There's not a lot for Orbulon to do. Unfortunately, in this shape, he's not very good for this... Uh, this war. At least you can fly around a bit. I'll keep you in Arborang. I'm gonna regret it if they throw the forts down here. It's another thing to chew through, but... If I could take out the capital, that's gonna take out a lot of their core dosh and their ability to make good units. So I'll be happy to get rid of both of those things for my foes. Grand Reef has been taken and I have a bunch of my uh, commanders back, so they're going to take Timberwolf. I'm going to ignore Navara for now, it's too dangerous for me. And then you're going to go back home and we've taken Pure Land. Oh, we also took the Baltic Sea! Great! So the Pure Land was a no-brainer, but the Baltic Sea was not because those Airmore Wailing Ladies are terrifying. Wow, okay, so with enough javelins, the ghosts are not a problem. And you are not running, despite your army being destroyed. What's going to happen to you? Some lucky hits take you out. They weren't even lucky, these spectral javelins are magic damage. So, uh, yeah, I guess she was nothing to worry about after all. Night overtakes the day. Good. Good. More battles in darkness is good for us. Centaur has decided to attack. We got some free death gems. Robbers robbed us. Okay, so there, there was a fight in the castle Malloy. I prepared for this. Did I prepare enough for it? This is Alpha's doing right here. Uh, those are benign weapons. However, most of my army here are not ghosts. Okay, yeah, these guys are jokers. Kill them. Alright, we'll be eating good tonight. If you were served a centaur, how much of it would you be willing to eat? Because, you know, the torso and above, well, where is it? It's like chest or belly above is human meat. Below that, it's kind of not, so how would you feel about it? I wouldn't have a problem. Okay, would you look at that? I think we got seeded straight into the final fight. Let's watch the arena fights. We probably won't take the time to do this much in the future, but uh, if you've never seen them before, arena fights are um, 1v1 fights that take place in the spectral realm, although... That doesn't stop you bringing friends! Look at this! So, uh, the long-handed individual here... He, he's... Wow, who is this guy? What kind of unit is this? Oh, he's a hero unit! That's gonna be great if he dies, less problem for me. He brought gems, he's got magical weapons... And he's summoning an air elemental to help. However, he's fighting against... What looks like another hero? Maybe so, maybe not. Not a lot of hit points on you. You got Phoenix Power, so you're boosting up your fire. You are dodging away from this air elemental. Sometimes I, will, I wish the air elementals would use lightning rather than trying to trample, especially in a situation like this. But you are dodging away, it seems. Are you even taking damage from that? No mirror image is negate. I didn't know that. Mirror image negates trample. 
You're a skilled air mage, so you're very hard to hit. But are you actually doing anything? I think you're trying to hit the air elemental with a benign weapon. That's not going to work for you. And here comes another elemental and another elemental. Yeah, you... You were not well equipped for this fight. I'm terrified of this guy, though. All those elementals. At least he probably spent his gems. Alright, he is into the next one. He doesn't keep all those gems, though. He spent most of them. And he's fighting against a pretty benign unit. This fire elemental is going to destroy him. Boom. But that's you wasted your fire gems now. All you've got is nature. You're still terrifying, right? You would tear me apart. Um, which isn't filling me with confidence, because I can see that I will have to fight him. <laughs> okay, so what's this? Some giant... Giant guy with a magical golden spear. Someone just sent a skeleton raider. Skeleton raider gets destroyed. The horse part gladly. In the case of the human torso, no. Wow. Alright, so you are showing off your bless here now. Precision, large... Okay, precision. They didn't have that before. They must have gotten that from a throne, they claimed. Precision 3 is great for projectiles. This guy's a big problem. God, I hope he dies in this, but he probably won't, because he fights me, and there's no way I'm killing him. Not with, not with my single useless ethereal guy, and ethereal is useless for this. Yeah, see that uh, glamour right there? Makes it incredibly hard to hit him. All the while, he just... Wow, he, he forced you into a retreat. And now, the battle that we definitely don't win. It's our poor bugger versus this guy. What can you do? Your Paralyze isn't going to do... Well, I suppose if I get extremely lucky, I could hit him with a Paralyze that stuns him and then just do him in with that. But what's far more likely is that he just touches us with one of these things and we die. We have no protection and only six hit points. Yeah. Yeah, well done. Long-handed, you win. That's a shame. We were lucky to get seeded for the final one, but I'm glad I didn't throw anything that would die against him. Alright, lots of castles and fortresses done. God, so much to take care of here. Right. Where am I, uh... Did I not, did I not do my turn or something? No, I didn't, I didn't do my turn, did I? These guys are still set to move. I still need to end my turn. Whoops. Or, or do I? I've lost, I've lost track of, my, uh, of myself, thanks to checking that out. I want you to search, I want you to build me a temple, and I want you to construct me some palisades, get more, more delicious skelly spam on the way. You're coming back to help build four, uh, labs. And you folks, you took over the pure land, we defended it. I think I'll have you send your units over to these guys, and then pull you back for other uses. California already has its temple. Well, I guess... The question is, do I want a fort on Inaba? And I don't think I do, it's far enough away for me not to care about it. Tatsu shows Holiday Home is getting its temple. I think I'll put you over to Mumbo's Mountain so that you can at least grab some units for me. A lot of units in New London to be brought in. Try your best. Oh, jeez, I should not have brought Anne from the inn over to the Highlands. I completely forgot. The Highlands spreads disease. So you immediately got diseased and a never healing wound. Uh, well, you're going to die, but at least do some sight searching before you die. I want more Hydromancers for more sight searching, I think. No, no I don't. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. And this guy that's researching, he should... Oh, there's so much sight searching to be done. Get those Hydromancers out. I want you to search down all of these areas, please. Otherwise, otherwise... I want you to search. I want this massive army of yours to... I suppose it's not that massive, but I do want you over here. Maybe make your way over to Ardania, one way or another. You're still hiding, which is 
fine. Show me what's going on over there. These arrows are starting to look like a free spawn nation. Yeah, correct. I'm holding this a bit against Zingus. Why did you make me play an odd free spawn nation to begin with? That's okay though. I'm going to choose the nations from now on. And it won't be free spawn. I need a spare uh, priestly guy. If I even have any that are going spare. Why are you even going to pick me back? Come to Brundizim and get me a temple there, please. You're not too much, which is fine. You should be doing something. Go and search Ardania or Albania. Alright, good enough. Let's see what happens. Do you have to site search for every element? Yes. So up to level 3, I believe. Ah, oh, man, how do you even describe it? There's unknown sites in a place. You don't know if they're fire sites, or water sites, or death sites. You need to bring a fire mage to search for fire, death for death. There are some special spells that scry for uh, all of them, but that's astral stuff. Uh, but it's not just that. Some of them you need level 2 to find, and some of them you need level 3 to find. Why do I have to, why do I have any units over in Frostpunk Generator? Oh, maybe it's frying my province defense, in which case that does nothing, which is cool. Lemur console is back. Nothing found, nothing found, nothing found. The Highlands, however, had a wellspring. Good. More water, uh, more better. And before I forget, let's have you check out somewhere else. Dying cripple units. Right, Mictalan. We are having a fight then. Okay, it looks like it's just his province defense. But it's good to wipe them out so I don't have to worry about them again. My units seem a lot thinner than they were before, though. And they're getting... Uh, they're getting preached away. There we go. Get out of here. Right, so we won that with relatively small uh, losses. However, his ally is coming in to help. Nazca. Oh, thank god, Nazca's just bringing in trash. If you hear something that sounds like a dice being rolled around in a uh, porcelain cup, that's the spell that raises some dead. Oh, look at all these guys. Soulless warriors coming to life. It's a tiring spell to cast, though. Are you blessing yourself? You are. So you are getting reinvigorated? Good, 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 good. I used to not care much about reinvigoration, but when you start using more mages, you start seeing that reinvigoration is life. So that's good. We now have... Oh, wow, we instantly breached Mictalan. That's amazing. We might be able to one turn destroy him. Uh, there were two fights in Ardania. This is what I mean. Because it's a disciple game, we actually have to fight two nations. Um, and lest I forget, the enemy nations have 160% pretty much resource output compared to us. So if we're fighting 2 times 160% then we're fighting a number I can't even comprehend. Right, that was one battle in Ardania, what about the other? Again, my province defense doesn't care, they just keep getting renewed. So I don't even care if that chaff dies. Look at that, only 8 province defense died there. So, yeah, some of my actual units died, but Province Defense is good for that. And Watto's Junk Shop, a no-brainer for us. Fungus Woods gave us a Bear Tribe Warrior, and that... Ah, oh, I thought he'd be a mage, but he's not. Okay, Bear Tribe Warrior, your job is to go and die for me. There's no way I'm paying your upkeep. Oh, he can't do... He's stuck here because of this river. I can't even get rid of him. I have to keep paying him 32 gold a year. God, I hate you. I mean, you could blood hunt, but what a waste of time that would be. Or would it? Yes, yes it would. Just wait there until you grow old and die then. Actually, maybe during winter this will freeze over and then I can send you over to die. Fortress done, castle done, castle done. Rosspunk generator mashing my uh, my poor troops, but that's okay. Right, Mictalan. The problem is... Mict Mictalan is going to send every unit he can to try and lift the siege. And the fight to lift the siege happens before the uh, the breach attack does. So what I think I need to do is pour all of my units that I can into here. Arboran, can you get in there? You can. Orbulon, why not? Go join in. If I lose my, um, my profit, then just too bad. 
Just anything I can throw at that is for the better. Even you can get in there. Yep, yeah, please send in all of our ghosties, but not them. They're too slow. Matt moves 16, and I've got 18 to move here. Everything I can pour in there. This is a big fight to try and knock out Mictolin. Uh, you can't make that journey. It could get somewhat closer. Uh, what's that? 29? Yeah, you can't get over here. Alright. It's a healthy amount of units. So I have to hope that I can repel his attacks and then breach Mictolan and destroy it. Doing that will stop him from being able to recruit all of these fancy units. He can't do Rain Priests, he can't do Eagle Warriors and Priest Kings, and it strips away these gems from him. One Nature, one Water, one Astral, three Blood Slaves, and two Fire Gems. I have way too many gems that I'm not using, but I don't have spells ready for it. Right. Well, best be ready for anything. It's just going to be one long front line of pain. I don't exactly know who the pain is for. I don't know if his god is around either. That god could cause me problems, depending on who it is. I will, however, have a box formation of units here. And those units are going to be set to hold an attack. Just in case he is able to fly into my back row. I just want to prevent the early slaughter of my units here. So who are you? There you are. You hold an attack. Everyone else is relatively un... Um, well, they're not given... They are not given specific things to do. I don't really care what you do. I don't know which... I don't know... Get rid of that. I do not know which of these spells are most worth doing anyway. Magic resistance for the... Actually, yeah, that's a great one. Protection of the Shade Lands to, um, yeah, to stop the banishment of my undead is actually pretty good. And it affects everyone. Good. Powerful entire battlefield. Special damage. I wish it actually told you what it did rather than these vague ones. Anyway, give me blessing, give me power, and then figure out what to do. Kind of cool when you use apostasy, grabbing grabbing the enemy uh, enemy commanders. Okay, so this could be glorious uh, victory or horrific failure. We don't really know yet. I will try and storm the castle though. Not with a lot of units, but hopefully with enough units. Hopefully, I'm actually going to pull you guys back a bit, so it's less likely that you guys die, and that way you'll be better suited for the main fight. Might not go that way, though. We shall have to see. Finally, I can claim this Throne of Ascension. You go and tell me what's over in Sea Trader's path. You'd be as well just waiting. You go and search McDonald Land for some delicious burgers. Um, oh, wow. More units, for, more units for us to bring over to the fight. Don't mind if I do. Doug is moving in. Rance, you can also move in. Although I don't think I started at rants for that. That's okay, some unscripted wouldn't go too badly. You just wait. You just... RCPD doesn't have a temple, but actually you will construct that temple. Actually, you can construct a lab. You can come over and do a, uh, a temple. You just wait. You just get me that palisade. You continue site searching. You just wait. Setting them to wait stops it pinging me whenever they're not doing anything or makes it very easy to forget they even exist. Right, we're going to transfer all these troops over to Toga Boy, I imagine. There you go. And now, well, Toga Boy's the only uninjured one, but we can just generally have you deal with Timberwolf Mountain and carry on from there. And you folks, hmm. I don't know. We'll get you back somewhere centralized, like over in Lemuria, then. Who is this? Oh, it's another console. Am I making consoles every turn? 
lots of research going on, you're just defending, right? I still need more thaumaturges for more research, so please do that. This console... He's kind of a thug already, but also kind of really not. I wonder if I have uh, sacred units that I can start attaching to him. I think one of the problems is I might have actually accidentally sent away all my sacred... Um, my sacred guys away. It's really hard to find them amongst all of these. But they're the guys that look like they're holding mauls. M-A-U-L. Mm -hmm. I'm not really seeing them, though. Funny, I would have thought I'd get more sacred free spawn than this. Well, I guess it's not to be. Also, by the way, if you're moving, please take everybody. Normally, guys with these standards raise morale, but for whatever reason, this one does not. Don't know why he does what he does, then. Okay, Ghost still a good map move. And you're meant to construct me a lab. Are we getting all those labs made? Lab, lab, lab. Good. Good, good, good. Maybe I can have you have you head over to somewhere like Ardania or even Old Mictlan for pre preparation in the future. And now no one important should be doing nothing. Oh wait, what's Victoria Engineer doing around here? With something resembling an army and doing nothing with it. Always a need for more uh, more armies around here, I think. Maybe build a temple in abandoned sector and I'll get a fort put on that as well. And you keep on searching, please. Search. So, God, there's so many units to care about here. Freaking free spawn nations. Never again. You're here in Watto's Junkyard. Go back to California, grab any units that appear from there. Tenerbus, I wanted you over there, but... I certainly don't want you on the Frostpunk Generator. Get over to Arborang then. It's not a very long journey from there. Why are you not constructing those labs I told you to go for? Yeah, someone is set to hide. What are they doing? That's you, and you're meant to build me a lab here. Great. You know, the income's doing pretty well. I think it's because I'm expanding now out to places where my dominion isn't destroying income. It makes me feel a bit more confident about doing things like upgrading these castles for one. Eh, but that's kind of a spy's job. Then again, it's not like you're doing anything else, so get that built. Alright, come on. It's getting longer and longer between the uh, the turns. And that's what happens in Blitz multiplayer. You start out with like 5 minutes and before you know it you've got 15 or 20 minutes per turn. Yeah, there's a lot of micro for this setup, Chumro. Right, the Lemur is coming back. A Pillar of Life? That doesn't sound like us. Oh, that explains it. That's what's been killing my undead. Any undead gets a chance of being blasted by 10 armor negating Magic resists damage. And it's 10% for every unit in the province, so Brickbeard's probably not happy being there. Brickbeard can leave, you can not leave, you need to sight search it. Nothing found, nothing found, nothing found, nothing found. crippled units dying. Straits are for Maul's battle, uh oh. Abba Lebia is attacking me now. And I didn't, well I actually did invest in province defense here. But this is a bad sign that I am now at war with another pair of nations. So now there are two sets of two nations with 160% resource output that i got to deal with. So for people that thought this has been going too easy for me so far, we'll see how that goes. Uh, ooh, I didn't even defend Water's Workshop. Well, they can keep that turtle village, it's no big deal for me. Novgorod. Okay, so we're getting multi-invaded here. Did I defend Novgorod? No, I did not. Bye-bye, Novgorod. Uh, Timberwolf Mountain is my fight. That should be fine. Fortress of Old Mictal in battle. They did not attempt to lift the siege, so I have to just hope that we do well here. Um, we took out a load of his army last time. 
Now, fortresses are normally a pain because you have to squeeze everyone through this small breach. However, there are multiple ways of getting around that. One is to simply have units that can fly over. Uh, another is just ways of teleporting to the back. One is to just be on this side and pelt them with projectiles. One is to even spawn units inside them, which can be done if you have enough spawning, but the way that we're using is ethereal means you can pass through walls. So hopefully, we're just going to walk through these walls unabated. Or not. What happened here? Oh, we flew to the back row so our units turned around. That is not good. I want to be back there quickly before all those priests banish away my units. Come on! Break on through! Oh no, they're retreating! The enemy is mostly routed, but not entirely. But we still have enough undead here that could maybe go over and shank them. This is their god. No, it's not. It's a disciple. Randy Random, the Archmage Disciple. Holding a scepter of authority. He's fatigued out. He's not going to cast anymore. But the Priest King is not. He's going to continue to holy to my undead away. Get over there. Fortunately, my units, uh, my commanders are not routing. Despite having pretty much everybody else having had to run away. Go, go, go! Shank Randy Random! <laughs> well, you cast away one of them. What's your deal, though? Your defense is surprisingly high, and you've got this enchanted shield. Come on, stick it to him! Literally! Come on, lads! Kill him! He's getting his fatigue back. Yes! From behind! There we go! Ooh! That was too close. I was very close to routing myself, but then so was he. There we go. Mictalan. They aren't down. They're still on the map. But we killed their pretender, their disciple pretender. That's not to end their bless, though, because they weren't leader. At least I don't think it was. No, it couldn't have been. He was a small one. Yeah, in the end, Skelly's managed to do that. So look at that. We lost half of our army, and there was a retreat of 47, of which 36 made it. But let's consider this. It was all free spawn. I didn't pay a penny for these ghosts that died. Those 75, they pretty much get replaced in one turn across all of my forts. The problem is centralizing them. But Mictalan is never getting this fort back. I will not give it up for them. Right, Mumbo's Mountain gave me a Bane Blade and a Laboratory, now that's nice. But wasn't I building a lab here? I wonder if uh, I wonder if that spawned and gave me a refund on the lab. I don't know and I'm not inclined to crunch the numbers to find out, but hey, I get the Laboratory. Can't really recruit anybody special for that lab. This, on the other hand, is where I'm cranking out you guys, the Shamans. <laughs> it costs more resources than I have because everyone there is dead. Oh well, I'll get one of you every two turns, but that will stack up and I'll be able to make my blades once I have it researched at construction four, a few months away, and then a little bit of conjuration. Why do I even want conjuration three? Revive Bane is pretty cool, but it's not better than what I'd be using anyway. Hmm. Nope, no sense delaying Enchantment 5, and perhaps even Enchantment 6. Ah, crap, is it Alteration that gives Soul Vortex? Yeah, Soul Vortex is just mm, amazing. Yeah, let's not revive Bane, keep him dead. Alright, Old Mictalan is mine. It's a really crappy walled city. It's not even a walled city, that's going to be upgraded to. It's just a palisade. Right, what are we doing with this place then? All of my units are here. He's definitely building a fort over in North Faced Forest. What I think I will do... is... put up a very basic defense here. I'm gonna centralize... What am I gonna do? 
I could just throw everyone over at North Face to clear that out. Because he probably has that throne. Yeah, the throne of law giving him dominion and order. No, wait, that isn't his. That wasn't McDelan at all. McDelan hasn't claimed it yet. But he's 100% building a fort here. That's what the AI does. They love to build forts. And I don't see any evidence to say that uh, Ala, Bilia, and Mictalan are fighting. So what I could just do is throw all my units over there to crush his army in North Face Forest. He'll try and take back old Mictalan, but we turn around and, uh, and relieve the siege. And then I just cr crush this. Because he's not going to be able to crank out industrial amounts of good units. He just has to do whatever he can do in his errant little crappy palisades. And then I'll have him smothered. And then it's just one of these two to deal with, and hopefully, hopefully this fight's going on between these two here. But there's also something to be said for just leaving that there so that these two can fight over it. Uh, that's a difficult choice, truth be told. Because they're definitely going to want that. But again, there's no indication that they're even at war. Uh, I don't know. I just do not know. I do know that my units got hammered here, though. I think I will centralize on Etimnu. Just shove everybody over there for now. Uh, maybe not those weirdos. Oh, there are my there are my lictors, fancy lictors. I actually want those guys separated. Nice sacred spectral axe. And they can take a bless, and boy, can they take a bless. Sadly, that guy's a limp. Uh, can you take all of these? No, you cannot. But you can take a whole fat load of them. And Orbulon can't really take many. Who's got experience? Clubber Seal. There you go. Well, even you can't take them all. Alright, cool spot. You take the rest. Uh, those are on Gahard Commander, aren't they? But what are you gonna do? Could send all of you up there and destroy North Face. Then again, there's even Prime right there. It's really tempting just to tear his heartland out from here. If I just leave him with North Face Forest. Mm. It's also another fort I have to deal with, and dealing with forts is a pain. Right, I think these these four are gonna go gonna go raiding around here and just secure the south for me. I will reinforce with as many units over in old Mictalan as I can. His old capital, that is. Maybe you could head over there in due time. You just get over there to hold it down. How good are these guys for defending? Anyway, normally free spawn are not good for this, but since it's national free spawn, yeah, they defend and uh, attack uh, forts just like any other. Sweet. Okay, good. Anything else to worry about? I suspect there is not. Aberdeen needs a laboratory. You need a temple. You don't have too much to do, but you could give McDonald Land a... Oh, well, it's got a lab. Tell you what, give the, give the Highlands a lab. Give the Peaks a lab. I'm putting labs in all these now. I'm leaving Navara. Giving Navara a wide berth. But the rest of you can get up to, well, back home. You start sight searching on land. You give me a lab over here. More labs. Give me a lab in California. Give me a lab in Shitatsu Show. You give me a castle. Yeah, nice to get this income off of all the places I've taken. You get over there and build me a temple in Mictalin. I might as well make use of the fort and get more free spawn in it. Tribunus. You also have a half-decent army, don't you? 
Yeah, just get over there. I want some decent defense in Mictlan just in case I get uh, blindsided in it. Brundisium doesn't have a temple, but you are dealing with that. Let's also turn it into a proper castle. Pitney Bank never got its laboratory, so you can fix that. You're sneaking there, you're sneaking there. Really starting to want my consoles up and operational, so... Monthly cast, get me consoles, please. Uh, you're probably not the best one to be doing that. Better to do someone who's not so good at research. And you are the three, so you do it. Monthly, console, and that's going to be the thugs. Hopefully my thugs don't just turn around and get squashed. It can feel really bad to base a strategy around an idea, and then the moment it hits any resistance it just crumbles, but it it does go like that sometimes. Right. The Highlands is lacking a laboratory. And all of you guys, oh jeez. And you can't preach, can you? No, because you're undead. All you can do is kind of... Oh, well, tell you what, we've got a lot of corpses hanging around here. Why don't we call a load of dispossessed spirits here to help out? Or shadows. What are shadows? Shadow is the name of my childhood cat. But I doubt that's what it is. A regular shadow. No protection. Paralyze. Dark power. Stealthy. Yeah, probably just better to get the bulk dispossessed spirits here. Wish I could preach, though. Mm -hmm. Sorry to interrupt, but can I ask, when will there be more RimWorld tomorrow? I have a schedule just below the stream, under the About page. That should keep you good. Alright, there we go, a load of chaff. I'm not sure if I have enough corpses for it. Probably not. Actually, almost certainly not. Ah, but what the hell. I'm sure they'll find something there. Mm-hmm. Factorio Engineer, what are you even doing here? You need to search. You need to... Tell you what, get me a temple and then someone will... Well, you yourself actually could just build a palisade. Unless I have an idling spy around here. I normally do, but today I do not. All right, Pure Land has been searched. Pure Land had nothing. Let's check out Cerulean City. And you're doing a whole lot of not much. Why don't you just call me some dispossessed spirits? You have searched here. Oh, I don't really think I want to search the Frostpunk Generator. It's not a good place for my people. But he's almost certainly going to turn around and take Inaba. He's kind of sitting there asking to be taken. I'll give it 41 defense. And I might even have you... I really should fortify the damn place. That's your job. Fortify it and stick a temple on it. And you go and stick a laboratory on it. Ashley Graham. You go over there so I've got more people to move um, ghosts around. Fine. You just research. You claim throne. Yeah, Scipio the Manticore lover has us that throne. There's the thing, my my dominion did not spread over to Tirnog. Why did he fight me? Ugh, he's over in Novgorod. Yeah, Novgorod fell. He could go to Mount Erberus. Hmm. Not with a tiny army like that, he won't. But he could also go to the Straits of Hormoz. I like that gold mine, but it's not worth investing that much into. We'll just see what he does. Again, it's not really worth fighting over these very crappy provinces. Even if he takes them, so what? He gets a small amount of resources, a small amount of income, and he's got my ghastly, horrible dominion making it vile. What I care about are my forts. Normally, I'm very gung-ho about protecting lands that get taken from me, but in this one, I just need to let it go, let it go. I want you back home. All right, let's go, Dejro. Unless there's something I forgot on this, maybe, but probably not. I'm gonna get the day off work tomorrow. Good lord! <laughs> if you say so. 
see what Randy can throw at us. I think that thing's still processing on YouTube though, I doubt it's live just yet. I'll sort that out after this is done though. Right, more consoles coming in. We've got Construction 3, onwards to 4. No magic sights, always makes me sad. Yeah, they're really going on for the attacks now. Okay, Straits of Hormoz first, this is my gold mine. There's no way that's taking my gold mine. These guys are already dead. Scary units though, see? They got mobbed by me, but not killed. Battle Frank and Weakened made you pretty useless though. But you, you're getting out sadly. Damn their lofty map. Uh, it's not map movement, it's combat speed that matters for this, but damn your combat speed. Ardania! Don't forget about the dragon, your majesty. In Ardania. So who are these weirdos? Ah, Belavia has infantry are clad in light armor and fight with a morning star. Good against shield users, but our, uh, our province defense laughs at that. Nice mage, though. Air, fire, water, priest two. Sacred, so they're cheaper than normal. But they're old as balls. He took reincarnation, probably as a bless. Don't know why he's not blessing himself, though. Right, old Mictalan, as expected. They want their land back. And I just let them have it. Because now... They're going to have to besiege Old Mictalan. Oh, and they already breached it. Well, that could be a problem, but it could also not be a problem. We'll see what happens. Um, Malacca. Now, this is good. They're still trying and failing to take that throne for themselves. Two fights in Eden Prime. This is one we were going into to expand our glorious influence. I'm just trying to chew through the, rem the remnants of Mictalan's army so that eventually he has nothing to reasonably throw at me. But again, he's got his ally here. This is what um, this is what Disciple games do. Suddenly your one fight turns into two fights. Oh my god, who's spawning all these undead? What do I even have that's causing that many undead? It's good for me, though. Very good for me. And even a battle in McDonald land. And here I thought they wouldn't come for my forts, but I guess I didn't defend it enough. Well, that's no big deal for me. I still free spawn, and he is still in my horrible, uh, horrible land. Right, so Mumber Mountain is built. Old McDonald is breached, and McDonald Land is damaged. Barely, though. McDonald Land can hold out for a long time. In fact, what I could do is encircle him so that when I route him out of McDonald Land, he has nowhere to go. So I'm actually going to leave him this path through Belgium and Novgorod. And then eventually, I'm just going to crush his army at McDonald Land and seal him off so he can't even retreat. That's the plan. Chances are that plan's going to fail somehow. Jesus, he brought everything in the kitchen sink for this fight. I actually think we should turn around for it. And the units that are here should probably break the siege. Yeah, not thrilled about this, but again... I'm taking away his units. And he did build that fort there. Damn, he's got a lot of units. I wonder if he was fighting up here, but he just decided to round them all down to Mictlan after what I did. This could be a problem. Well, at least uh, the Limmer Consul is Im uh, immortal, so if he does die in this fight, he's going to come back. Uh-huh. You know what, I'm not very keen on this pressure. Maybe I won't leave him McDonald land. Maybe I'll just kill him. Maybe I'll just kill him. Don't know if he's going to eat this or not, but let's try coming in here. You cast spells. So if I can just seal him off like that. And then you folks just take everything, but not those. Line up. Line up. Uh, maybe closer is better. And having bodyguards is also better. Just in case they somehow get around our back. Cast spells and go on in. Save McDonald land. Cut them off. Kill them all. And if you're just stuck in there, just do some research. I don't know if you were free spawn or not. Very hard to tell. Okay, oh, is that one single little uh, ghostly guy? Segregate you. 
And you go and help out as well. Just more numbers are better numbers, right? Guard you, cast the spells, kick him out of McDonald's land. But yeah, this is kind of my plan. I've got this core of constant free spawning ghosts, which means even if they come for me, I can just grab them all and shove them into their face. But again, this is this is just chaff. My units are not magically stronger now than they were at the start of the game. I really want my god to come online, and then I can start charging in with these guys. 19 protection, 19 magic defense. He's got chill aura, but best of all, he's immortal. If I give him a magical area of effect weapon, he can just charge in and start killing everything. Uh, on top of that, he has fear, so he'll write them through that. He's got blood, he will have bloodlust and regeneration. Uh, it's going to be pretty hard to kill them, and I plan on cranking one out every turn. I can actually afford to crank one out every turn for the end of the game. Well, until the end of the game. And we are two turns away from getting our frost brands for them. Of course, I need people to make those frost brands. But that's where these guys will come into play. And they will soon be able to make frost brands faster than I can crap out more of those guys. Okay, Virtual Bart, I want you to go and do yet more site searching. Mumbo's Mountain is full of Mumbo's ghosts, and I need you to move them over for me. Always feel like there's a need for more. Always feel like there's a need for more. Yeah, you just go and join there. It gets you closer to that. Or, better yet, let's have some actual defense down here. I don't like the south being as underloved as it is. We've got a decent amount of leadership. I do want that laboratory. Hmm. I think your days of sight searching are largely over. Get me that palisade. And you get me that army over here. Hmm, got nobody over here to grab these many, many units. Moving all these units around, my god, I don't know. I don't know who plays free spawn nations or why. A lot of work. Right, give me that lab. I also, you've got that, that overwhelming feeling of everything you build is going to die. By the end of the game, you're not going to have a lovely, fruitful uh, land to rule over. You've just got nothing but death. Pitney Bank is dying. Deep Canyon's dead. New London is almost dead. Lemuria died aeons ago. Soon all the Californians will be dead. And that uh, The only reason I'm still making money is because I keep conquering new lands that haven't yet died to my ghastly um, dominion. But what am I going to do with you? I don't want to risk building the... Yeah, you know what? The hell with it. Get me that temple. Get me that lab. Probably better to get to work on the palisades first, actually. And hopefully this will hold out well enough. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. You're fine there for now. But it doesn't have a lab, does it? Right, any mages that aren't doing anything? Yes, you. Give me a lab in Pitney Bank. There are all of you, which aren't doing terribly much. When in doubt, break that siege, because there's not terribly much else you can do. Deep Canyon, defending. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have you up to the RPD, I think. We need to search that for holy sites. Aberdeen has been searched and now is in need of a lab. Oh, there's this big army in Aberdeen, so please grab it and bring it somewhere useful like the RPD. I also want a lab here, but I'm out of money for it, so for now, just bring these units over to Hailfire, it's more centralized. Hailfire has been searched. Search the. jeez. Oh, I'd rather search my, uh, my castles since they're more secure, but Anne from the inn is going to die soon. So just go over there. Or, no, I'd have you build a lab here, but you're going to die before that becomes a thing. Also, there's no temple here, is there? Give me a temple with what little money there is left, because otherwise you're just getting these crappy units. And then you can go and check out Celadon City. You still can't move. Go check out Pilot Wings Resort for me then. 
Ooh, so much to care about, and there's no way I'm caring about every single little bit of reanimating corpses. That's a lot of work. Need a lab here, but you'll do that shortly. Hey, having some people hanging around, but I need the money for labs. Okay, hopefully I can kick them out of old Mictolin. Am I meant to be uh, upgrading this fort? Maybe I forgot to do that. But this could go really south. There's 190 of them besieging Mictland. There are also 350 reinforcements. And that's not counting the 130 slaves that you could bring in from Diamond Heights. And I don't have any gems or such to help out with this, nor really things I can use in a fight to help out with this. But hopefully we can hold out. Otherwise, I'm going to lose Mictolin. It was hard enough to get. Ah. Don't call it dying, coil is an upgrade. The flesh is weak, ectoplasm is strong. Oh, well. Problem is, I can easily be banished, so hopefully we get the magic resistance to resist that. Okay, right, most importantly, Mictolan. How did that battle go? That's a lot of ghosts, but that is actually bad in itself. If you just have a large number of units like this, that means projectiles really cannot miss. But whoa, I guess they didn't pull in reinforcements. That's good news for me, because I wanted to keep Mictolan safe. So our wall of spectral spears... How many javelins do they actually carry? Two javelins per person, and I got a lot of them. There we go. Few of them can even get to my army. It's that banishment I hate, though. Damn these giant Mictolin priests. Fortunately, though, our magic resistance is pretty high at 16. We got a magic bonus. We were, uh... Our, our not pretender, our prophet is helping us out with that. He blesses us with even better magic resistance. Alright, so not bad. Tch, only 27 losses is nice. Kicked them off at Mictlan. And there was also the Battle in Novgorod to hopefully seal off any people trying to run away from McDonald land. And good, they didn't reinforce as well, so crunch, there it goes. Eden Prime as well. Wait, why am I being attacked in Eden Prime? Who are you? I, I must have grabbed a jaguar warrior in the fight without noticing it, and he was just hanging around there to die. Okay, Straits of Hormoz once again. He's bringing an actual army this time. Yeah, we're not winning this. Even benign weapons can get through our ghosts if they're hard and frequent enough. Uh, Naba is once again trying to take that throne and once again burning all of his troops, which is great news for me. The nice thing about the indies like this is they keep producing more gems, so you can't just starve them out of their applications. The chap is dying to the fire, but that's okay. It's always nice to see my enemy throw away their expensive units. Stammed out and about to die. Great. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. We actually had another battle in Old Mictolan that I missed, so we did bring in reinforcements. Okay, this was the actual fight. Fortunately, though, it was done in snow, and thanks to that cold. Uh, oh, our ghosts don't have chill aura. Well, never mind. Still, still good to be in cold, because we resist cold. In go our spectral beasts, and down go our spectral beasts. They're throwing stones at us, we're throwing spectral javelins at them. One problem is, and I think it happened right there, is you can easily have friendly fire. So we friendly fire hit one of our own ones, a spectral javelin, and that's a shame because our spectral javelins do magic damage, so we can hurt our own ethereal units. Probably more than the enemy can. And we're throwing with relatively low precision. Nine. And he's flying on in! Now this is why I put bodyguards on my mages. And not, I mean, not really mages. Eh, holy is a kind of magic. But that's done so that we... Um, that's done so that my mages don't suddenly get surrounded by flyers and die. But my god has come. And that means that my bless is operational. So Orbulon the Prophet is now enjoying 
Morale, Reinvigoration, Undead Regeneration. Well, he's not undead, so he's not getting that. Blood Surge 6 and Awe. So every time he kills a non-undead unit, he gets Blood Surge. Increases Attack Skill by 6, Defense Skill by 3. It gives... Okay, it gives 6 Reinvigoration. I was wondering how much it would give. I swear it gives something else. Strength, of course. There we go. Despite being old, with enough anger, you can still hit pretty hard. The awe is three. So, was anything negated by awe? Uh, it's hard to tell because it's not really in the thick of that. But this is good. This means that my consoles are now online. This is still just chaff versus chaff, but now that my consoles are online, I can start making them some frost bands and get to work. Smother them. There we go. So that gave us some losses, about 10% of our army. The follow-up battle we crushed. The nice thing about Disciples, from my perspective, is that my enemies can't group up for a single attack with both of their armies. They have to do us one at a time. Unexpected, some extra death gems, some population down, palisades and desolation point. Well, that's definitely going to be built up. It already has a laboratory, but I might just research here now, because heavens knows I need it. You can always build me a laboratory over there, because you're crap at research. Uh, castle, castle. Why do I... <laughs> okay, the free spawn in Frostpunk Generator is constantly going to get mulched. Not really my problem. Alright, Mictalan, for the love of God, I need you to not be so crap. And I do want a temple here, so that my nasty dominion can start uh, choking out my foes as well. But yeah, here's the problem. I might have strangled Mictalan's capital off of them, but Nazca still have their capital, and they can plow out how many troops they want. Their capital is right here. Not that far to go, but the attrition I'd take every step of the way would be painful. So, not great. Ardania, I'm more than willing to just let go as long as it causes these two to fight each other. But hey, nice big army. That's what I like to see. Problem is, I'm going to need to keep feeding reinforcements in, but thankfully I have very long map move. Right, McDonald Land, let's give you some actual defense now. Actually, not too much. I need that money for laboratories. Like one here. And here. Okay. Probably still a lot to sort out. Let's sort it out our shall. Hmm. Oh, you can't take that. But you can. What do we do with you two? They're still trying to fight us in Nov... No, no, that was us in Novgorod. That is fine, though. He took my Straits of Hormoz. That's my gold mine library and arena. Not happy with losing those, but... There are times that you just need to shrug and say, oh well. As long as he weaponizes that to go and fight our mutual enemy, I'll be happy. I'd even happily lose Novgorod, I just took it back to choke my enemy out of it. Right, what I do need to do is get these units over to the front lines. Why is one of you moving further than the other? That's because Myriapt has these. I don't like these. Get rid of those. There, now you can move 20. Get rid of old Mictalan, I need that place defended. And I know it might seem like a lot of back and forth here, but I do really want to... I do want to push out and give them a lot more pain, but how and where? I want my... I want thugs operational for this, but they're not operational yet. Right, I want you to start forging frost bands, but that's not going to happen until next turn. Is there anything useful you can make before that? Uh, I don't think a water breathing ring's gonna help us anywhere. Bah humbug, then just do your crappy research till now. My god is right here though, Scipio the Manticore Lover. You got great fire, earth, death, and blood. Although I don't have blood mages. Well, I don't have many blood slaves. Um I don't even have access to Oh I do have Dwarven Hammer, right. It feels like a waste to have this on my god, but a few Dwarven Hammers are going to save me a lot of gems down the line. So the first thing I'm going to have is have them do that, unless there's something I really wanted to cast. Not really, and... Yeah, 
not really. It's kind of tempting to make horror helmets for my consoles, because that's going to add even more fear to them. But it's 10 death gems, 8 with a hammer, that's a lot to invest in someone who's immortal. Frostbands with their 5 water gem cost when I'm drowning in water gems seems a lot more sensible. So monthly forge me some dwarven hammers for the time being. Pop Puri, uh, you still can't build me a, um, a lab here, but I swear you will someday. You stop your research when there's site searching to be done in Aberdeen, starting. Get some research done. Fire Peak is fine. What am I doing with you, though? If you're moving up there... Maybe I should just protect the RCPD. I do have this wall of forts. Even if all of this fell, it wouldn't be that much of a loss. What's that? Two, two gems in a laboratory? And practically no money or resources. So this, this is just no man's land for me. I don't care about it. I do care about my line of forts, though. So I'm going to move my units to the frontline fort here. Although, there's another argument that says, for the love of God, get them over to the main fight. And that's a very compelling argument, so I will do that. The console is on his way to the fight as well. And another console's on his way to the fight. There is a laboratory there, so they can grab their magical items from there, and all will be well. What do we do with you, though? You know what, since I want them on the front line, it's kind of tempting to send you all the way over to Old Mickland so they get made there. It's less running back and forth when they fall, and they will fall. I won't do that just yet, though. We must take Eden Prime, do it for Shepherd. It's a great province as well. But there's another argument that says pour some province defense into Mickland and defend it. I'll put one in. But. Eh. I wish I had an army at the south coming along the bottom here. The average sand, sand enjoyer? What? I let people put in custom names and I'm getting nonsense. Right, there's a lot of these guys hanging around and I've got a lot of army to pull around so I'm going to have you guys move over here to grab these armies and then you are going to be my southern force to push out Mictalan from the south. I could even go via the sea. I might do both. A little bit here, a little bit there. We crunch up this way and that way. And then I should be able to break up from Mictalan, especially with my consoles operational. I'm going to link as my console here. As long as this wall holds and Mictalan holds, I will be able to push them back and then head north. And I'm going to unleash a whole load of pain. And my income is staying good largely because of this. Look at all these income lands not affected by my horrible dominion. So I just keep taxing the populace. This wave of death is approaching, but right now it's not a problem. Still want you to die, still want you to search. Cerulean City didn't have much, check Cascade Hills. Um, you're still working the Palisade, but you can at least research from there. And you could actually call some dispossessed spirits. You can also research. You can also also research. Uh, you don't have terribly much to do. You're just defending there, get searching for me. So many idle hands. And I've got all these defenders. These ones are fine to defend, but what do these guys do? I could really have them patrol the area, because they're almost certainly going to want to come and fight for Mictalin. If I keep leaving, we're going to have to keep going back, and that's going to interrupt my wall building. So what I might just do is I'll take all of you, even you, and your job is to patrol the province. Hmm. It would be really nice if I'd already killed all the population here, because then it would starve to death. But with population like that, supplies like that, they wouldn't starve themselves here, so let's just patrol while we can really do wish that I had some nice battle-wide spells here. Like Rigor Mortis. 
causing a lot of fatigue damage to non-undeads and inanimates. Three death gems is worth it for a good wipe. And that largely stops a lot of people retreating because they get too exhausted to move and then you just pick them off. But not happening for me today. You've already searched in Celadon City and you found the Garden of Bones. Check the Sparse Reef. You need to check Celadon. You need to research. I don't really care about you moving units around, so you just wait there for a bit. Oh, you're alive! And from the inn has a little gasp of life left. Then go and search in the RCPD for a water site, and let's call that our turn. Ten commanders, okay. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care-ish. Don't care, don't care, don't care. I want you kind of over in that direction. Good enough. The throne in Navarra can wait for later. It's a bit of an investment because it's got a lot of lightning throwing uh, defenders there called Watchers. I'm glad I noticed that before I committed to a fight on them though. There was a fight in Old Mictolin, so they do want their capital back. Can I defend it against that? I definitely can. Damn me! There we go. Again, there's attrition for me, but again, that attrition is free spawn, so no big deal. They, on the other hand, aren't losing particularly expensive units, but it's still a cost to them. And hey, I got their High Priest, now that's extra good because these guys are doing all the killing. Between the High Priest and the Fire Drake's area effect fire attack, that's what's killing all my units. Actually, 20, 30, 40... A bunch of my units died to friendly fire there, of that I've no doubt, but that's okay. Again, free spawn, we don't care. There was a battle in the RCPD, so we are getting attacked from uh, from north by Abalai Watsits. Is it not sacred unit? Oh, those are. But he doesn't he hasn't activated his bless for whatever reason. This is okay, this is just token defense. It's more or less just there to tell me what I'm being attacked by. And he can have Novgorod, I do I do not care. Old Will Bones gave me a black heart and some money, some much needed money. You know, I've been the reason I took luck was to get more events like this to give me gold, but I've not been getting many of them. Good thing we got gold the old fashioned way. Click Clock Woods now has its palisade, which I'd like upgraded to a fortress. And I would also like upgraded to have a lab and a temple. There you go. RCPD is damaged. How damaged? They can hold out another turn. Oh, God! Right. Right. He's serious about taking the RCPD. That's 400 giants on their way. Fortunately for me, there are very few supplies here, so some of his units might starve, but probably not enough. I could just let him have the RCPD and I pull back. I mean, Anne from the Inn is going to die anyway. The Kako Demon can just slink away. And so can Swedish Pizza. I mean, him having that is no big deal for me. There's not even a magical site there. He just gets a wasteland. Better than pouring all my units in to die. What's better is I bring him over to these places I have no supplies and I choke him out a bit. Because then he starves, gets diseased, gets low morale, and then oh, it's a bad day for him. So I might let him have RCPD. Might mean he takes all of this, but you know, I, I, gotta, I gotta say that's okay. You can nibble away at me there whilst I chew down on this rich Mictland area. For example, I got my units over in Inaba now. The Palisade is underway. The... Re, um, laboratory is done. We can also have our temple here whilst you folks go and attack him from the south. And you two get those useless units out of here. You guard here. This selecting units thing is uh, not great. But what can you do? Right, you folks take it from the south. Mm, the movement 
here is not ideal. Why are they moving differently again? 20 and 20. You can't even both go to the abandoned sector for some... Oh, right, you're, you're having problems. Do you have something that is a problem here? You probably have some unit that doesn't float. Is it you? It is you. Yeah, managing these free spawners, it can hurt like this. There we go. Now you go over to the abandoned sector, and then I'm going to give you a southern route through all of this. And you, Bloody Mary, can join in as well. Yeah. Oh, you can get all the way to Jolly Roger Bay. Oh, lucky you. Good, I can start making frost brands, right. You're not getting the Dwarven Hammer yet. I'm going to give that to my... Oh, you don't have an arm! Ooh. And the extra arm is something else. Oh, crumbs. Don't want to waste all of my Earth Gems on those, but... Especially since I barely make any of them. Well, you can't go wrong with having two. Make me a second one, please. Dwarven Hammers are pretty expensive, but they they save you a lot of gems overall with that Forge bonus. So your job is to, every month, make me a new Frostband. And then everybody who comes after you is also going to be given that task. Uh, we've only just got a god online now, Tyrion. So I am just going to get them their frost bands, And then they're heading on out. Holy Crivens, Skull Staff for Death Magic plus one. With that, I could boost someone else up to five, or you up to six if I give you an extra arm. What would I do with a five death mage? I could crank out my, probably my favorite unit, or my favorite summoned unit, the uh, Wraith Lord. He's a powerful bugger. Getting to the point where I can have a whole load of consoles coming out here. Anyway, get over. And now I can finally have this laboratory. Alright, what else needs doing? So hard to keep track of things when you've got a giant, uh, giant nation like this. Well, not just giant nation, it's all the bleeding free spawn. Right, you get over to Mictland, you keep patrolling it. You have built the laboratory for us, which is good. And now you can just call some dispossessed spirits for me. Actually, a lot of you could call dispossessed spirits, so the patrolling. Plenty of dead people for those. And you're meant to join all these patrollers. Alright, you I don't mind, you I don't mind. You have searched and found nothing. You need to search. You've got a whole army you could be bringing over here. Probably up north, because these giants... <laughs> Excuse me, these giants clearly mean business. I want to be somewhat ready for them. I mean, the giants are using um, mundane attacks. So I want to centralize my army over in Hailfire Peaks, and then I either save the RPD or I let it fall. But uh, at least I want to know what I'm doing in that regard. Ashley Graham, you bring them over as well. Ooh, look who's back! The few survivors of my Centurion armies. Well then, do I have a job for you. Get up there. Uh, but not you, you somehow grab some useless unit. I hate these guys just sneaking in. You hold on to them. I don't want them on my armies. Yeah, the three of you go up. You're still slow? I'm slowing you down. Armor penalty minus one. Oh, again. You must have something that doesn't float. Ugh. What is it? What is the problem? Ah, I'm not seeing it. Oh, right, I do see it. Right, the guy that has no units attached is able to just jump his way up. Okay, not a problem. 
Right, again, I'm just sending all of the consoles over here because I plan to have them raid around this location. Actually, that's not fair. Let's have some of them head up north to raid the north. You're doing fine there. Yeah, I guess you just research. High time I got some actual research done. And I've got a fat load of yet more g -g -g ghosts And some Shadow Triton. Cool. Didn't know they'd give you special underwater dead for this, but they do. You just wait your life out there. Trigby, you also wait. How many people? Ten commanders are doing nothing. Okay, don't care. Do care a lot. Go and search Aberdeen. Uh, get some research done. There must have been a free spawn then, huh? You also get researching. I need research. I need to really catch up in research because I'm pretty terrible at it right now. You can't call spirits here, sadly, so you just wait around there. There's very little for you to do. I guess you could forge me another frost brand since I want more of those quickly. You continue to search around here. You just wait, I'm sick of looking at you. You go searching, see so, so many things to do. Go, 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 go. And this is a large load of land to have as well. Our early expansion was so good that there's so much to care about. But that's fine. McDonald land and you're sitting around doing nothing, huh? Well, since you have all these dispossessed spirits, why don't you just hold on to them in case we want them for the RCPD? Alright, good enough. So right now I'm expecting them to attack me in Old Mictlin, where I should be able to destroy them. Uh, I'm expecting reinforcements in the RCPD, they're probably going to breach the wall. Then I have to make a dangerous call on what I do about that. I could lose a lot of my army if I uh, commit to defending the RCPD and I lose. But we'll see how it goes. This is where you wish the UI lets you uh, sort by movement type. Yeah, there's a lot of things I wish out of the UI. But it's a very big challenge, right? It's a very, very deep strategy game. A lot of people can complain about strategy games being as wide as the ocean but deep as a puddle. And that's sometimes fairly leveraged on Paradox games, but anybody saying that about Dominions is talking out of their arse. Right. Fire Warrior found us the Enchanting Well. I don't really need more water gems, but I will take them. Especially since I've had some Conjuration, I'd be able to get the Sea Troll Court. I don't really need him. Actually, I really don't need him, because what I can do is I can just boost you up to five. What good things can I do with high-level water, but low-level research? Like, nothing beyond level five in anything, because my research is that gash right now. Oh, it's Enchantment six for water. Quagmire. Mmm. Sadly, that hurts me as well. Foul Vapors needs a lot of nature. If I found something Nature 3, and I just empowered them to water, Foul Vapors would be a splendid thing to use. So if we find something that is actually... Uh, I have that, don't I? I have you. Would I empower you three times for that? That's like a hell of an investment for Foul Vapors, and you could easily die. Hmm. No, there's got to be some kind of thing that I can... Um... Is there a summon that can get me nature access? I swear there is. Fairies, Nahuatls... Uh, there's something. There is something. Research, Conjuration with Water... Nyad, I think. Dom5 Inspector, help me out. What was her name? Nyad? Nyad? Am I spelling that? N A I A D. N A I A D. Nyad, here we go. Nature 3, Water 3. But she has homesickness. I don't really know how that works, but still. If I summon you, and you are a. Conjuration 5, you could cast Foul Vapors for me. I'd need some gear on you so that you wouldn't die horribly in combat, but Foul Vapors would be pretty cool. 10% hit points every turn away from home. In that case, she can make her own uh, Restoration Amulet and she'll be fine. Okay, that, that's, that's a bit more of a later game thing because my research is that terrible. 
But after I get enchantment six, what construction is needed for uh, the the healing thing? I hope it's not construction six. But yeah, we'll go for conjuration six to uh, conjuration five to try and get Nyad, and then maybe construction six. Give it a thistle mace, then you can use it to summon ivy kings for mobile nature access. That's costing a lot of nature gems that I do not have. So, probably not. But it's a consideration. Right, meanwhile, Fire Warrior, I need you to keep on searching for me. Right. So, there was that magic site in Aberdeen. There was a battle in Watto's workshop. They didn't come for me in Old McLean's capital. It was just me going around and crushing them. This is fine, this is my southern raid happening. Uh, Desolation Point got its fortress. Rigbath gave me nature gems. Ugh. There's about 320 units of Champions of the Frost, Bog Spearmen, Longbows. Basically not good news for me. The question is, do I counterattack? Pretty big fight. I wouldn't have that much on my side. And I still don't have enchantment 5 for Hordes of Skeletons. I do, however, have my first console. And he's got his Frost Brand. He can run right into the uh, the middle of that, and between his Ethereal, High Protection, Amazing Defense skill, and the fact that he's immortal, so I don't even care if he dies, he would really wreak havoc in there. Unless someone just gets a lucky hit and slaughters him immediately. Could happen. Alright, you know what, let's break the siege. Oh, do you not get your free spawn if you're under siege? That's not very nice. How is Anne still alive? You should have died ages ago. Well, you might as well go out with a bang. You're going to join the break of the siege. You're uh, you're just going to slink away those Swedish pizza. I don't know, go over to Forest Frontiers or something. You go and help out as well. Arbiter's Ground's coming in. Bab can't make it in time. Oh yeah, grab every unit you can for this. Alright, how's it going to go? I don't even think I need to care about line formation with this many troops. It's just a case of get them out there. You guys are going to hold, just in case there's some nasty stuff going on. The consoles can go... Actually, I'm no longer at the point where I think I want my consoles up front. They're a little too squishy. I'd rather have them move units around for me. Especially since a lot of them took a hell of a beating. Arbiter, on the other hand, you... I want you to... Oh, crap, you're my you're my priest level 3. You're the one that throws down the really nice things. Ah, crumbs. Um... Well, you know what? In that case, I want you to cast Protection, Unholy Blessing, Unholy Power, and then run in and attack. You cast whatever spells you see is worth your time. You hold an attack so that you protect our Mage Corp. Means I'm going to move you back. You guys are undisciplined, not much to do about that. You cast spells, attack, cast, cast, attack, attack. Alright, let's take on the Giants. This is me dedicating a lot of my force to that. Might win, might lose, either way I'm sure we'll have a good time. Still send, still going in from the south, we'll go via Chibi into Alexandria and then push north. Watto's workshop is all mine, and it doesn't have any flanks to care about, so we're going into Mount Moon, then up to Lutetia, and then I think I'll claim Tall Tall Mountain. If he doesn't want to take uh, Old Mictland for himself, then I will take the fight to him. Banjo, can you equip a Frostbrand? Good. Banjo can rush in because... Ooh, Makoto is also there. Well, you're all going in. I'm still calling spirits, though. <laughs> no point not bringing the spirits in for a lark. I'm not gonna... Yeah, no, actually, screw the spirits. I can just use their measly siege defense skill instead. Right. Look at that. Freaking army, he is planning something. I actually think he does desperately want to attack me, he's just waiting to get everything. But that's a good opportunity for me to simply take out half of his army before he joins everything up. 
If he attacks with, in quotations, just these 580 units, then at least I can take at least 300 and then double back on them. See what I mean about the AI having the resources to just crush you on production? Alright, uh, what are you even doing here, Aoni? It is beyond my comprehension. Fire warriors moving around, you just sit there and do not much for me. I've already... Oh, no, I didn't grab this entire army now, did I? There you go, good for your movement. You're just defending here, but what I wanted you to do was give me a temple. And I want you to give me a lamb. The money situation is so good. Lemuria is not meant to be a rich nation because you keep burning everything down, but we're doing A-OK -okay here in terms of Dosh. Let's try and get everything made up to castle and not have these dinky little, um, little just forts. Also, I'm going to grab that shaman just so I have a shaman. Never know when I'm going to want that astral nature cross path. Scipio. Give that hammer over to the itchy did, and this itchy did is going to monthly forge more frost bands. What do I do with you, though? Uh, no, actually. What do I even want out of you? Hard to say. Researching is such a waste of your time, but I don't know what else I'd want to make. could make another uh, hammer by dissolving these astral pearls into earth pearls, uh, earth gems. Some people think lifelong protection is worth a go. The horror helms aren't bad yet, but they're expensive, especially without access to a hammer. And he doesn't get access to a hammer. You are right though, horror helms are good. I think that's what I'll do, actually. We will do some alchemy, and we'll turn our astral pearls into earth germs. And then I'm going to make another dwarven hammer, because I really want to crank out a lot of um, a lot of swords. Um, and I actually would quite like to turn it into making two consoles per turn. And you could help with that. And you gotta help. Cast monthly console, please. Hey, here's another console, but he doesn't get a sword. That's okay, head north. Now that I have these laboratories almost everywhere. Ooh, I'm missing a lab here. Let's change that. And New London doesn't have a lab. What are we playing at? Go and sort out New London, please. You get researching. Good lord, look at that army. We've got investments to do here. Come on. Who was just resting around here? Give Blobohemio a double over on water. Uh, you just research here. We've got the Palisade going. Watto's workshop. We're moving through that, which is good. Five commanders doing nothing. None of them seem too interesting. Great. Who would have thought that getting these itchitives would be so good for us? It's pretty much designed our uh, our frostband strategy. But that site searching has really paid dividends on the water gems. All right, come on. We actually got our pretender up a couple of turns early. You expect them at 36 when imprisoned, but they can spawn as early as 20... I don't know. 20... 30 maybe? 28? Fear stacks, yeah, and its stacking changes nearly nothing until Fear 25. Right, he did come for me in Old Mictalan, go figure, the moment I left he came in. It's probably just fighting my one unit though, right? Aw, oh, damn! He was just using hawks! You bastard! I do have a bit of fear, I might be able to scare them away, but... Wow! <laughs> I froze them and feared them away. But you know what? We now have Undead Regeneration online, so he was able to regenerate his hit points. Why exactly did he get 7? Oh, because he's got Life Drain. Whew. Normally that would have obliterated level 1 province defense, but we made it. 
Alright, nothing found, nothing found. Console, console. Magic Sight and Bohemia. The Weeping Stone! We didn't find this with level 1 uh, water, but we found it with level 3. So it's pretty disappointing it's just a one water gem generator, but... Can't choose your friends and all that. Right, crippled units dying is to be expected. They're all free spawn, so they don't particularly care. Oh, there was another battle in Old Mictolin, and... Oh, it's just an Archmage. Oh, their, their god is being recalled. And he just immediately died. Well, not immediately. There is a good chance he could take us out. I should consider that and actually invest in something more. There we go. And you can keep animating the dead because you have Reinvigoration 2! And eventually, even a god will fall to... Uh, yeah, there we go. Eventually. Eventually. There we go. You're just a pretender. Well, you're just a disciple pretender at that. You killed our god. Yeah, not my problem. Right, Mount Moon. This is my southern raid. I don't expect to face much uh, competition on my southern raiding, because he's focusing everything on trying to protect his capital for whatever reason. Double fight in Eden Prime. Did he see this fight coming? Remember, this is mostly chaff. They're getting fluffed up a bit because my my prophet is there, casting spells like unholy power and whatnot. Mm. He's getting quite aggressive with these flying units. That's a pain for these guys because they're not too great at dealing with that. But they still just use benign weaponry, so all of them can keep moving. Not bad. I lost a Shadow Tribune, but we have a lot of those. Good, good. Wipe out those armies. But there was a follow-up battle in Eden Prime. There is a turn limit in battles, and it can cause some really nasty and weird outcomes. But it's long. It's 100 turns, and then the attacker retreats, and then after 150 turns, I think the defender retreats, and then after 200 turns, everybody dies. I might be wrong about that, but the, the basics are true. There we go. Chase him down, chase him down, chase him down. Well, even even though he's uh, retreating, he's not long for this world. Disgustingly diseased unit. Alright, again. Not bad. We're taking attrition, sure, but we get these units back. We also grabbed a Jaguar warrior. Huh, nice. Uh, either that or he took it from us. Hard to tell. Right, Ardania as well. That's you into me. To that. Including units that never retreat? Yes. Right, the RCPD. This is a big fight that I am investing in. For no good reason. There's no good reason for me to want to defend the RCPD. It's a useless province. But something just didn't feel right about letting the giants in without a fight. And this is one of the nice things. They are starving. Uh, I don't know if they like cold or hot scales. Probably cold, because they're cold resistant, but the AI is very random with what they choose to make. Another thing about the AI is they get more points to spend than you on creating their god and their bless and whatnot. Do they have any... yeah, it'd be nice to see what their bless actually is. Anyway, starving units suffer a morale penalty. Couple of that with my spooky, scary ghosts, and they might not be long for the world. They got some powerful longbows, though. They can strike me from a distance. But they don't have flying units. I'm pretty confident in this one. Well, I'm very confident in this one. You could even say I already know that I've won. Oh, but I forgot to guard my backline! My poor Anne from the inn is uh, very vulnerable there. Fortunately, the ghosts seem to be clogging up their flank. Good for me, I, I was hoping to spread apart more and capture them, but if nothing else, I still got my spectral javelins to throw at them. And there we go, now we're pouring into the side. They are running away, tails between their ta uh, tails between their legs. And there we go. Cost me a lot of free spawn. Cost me 105 free spawn. But that's the thing, they're free. What did they lose? 182, and some of this isn't quite chaff. Sacred units. Yeah, that's kind of chaffy. But they're big guys. 30 gold apiece, and they're all just dying. And even those that retreated, not all of them actually managed to retreat to friendly territory. 
so some of them have died from that as well. Population down, we don't care. Wraith sword and a lab. A lab in bob -omb Battlefield. Almost tempting to build a fort on that just because of that, but maybe not. Worldwide event, constant darkness. That's great for us in a fight. My units and Frostpunk Generator continue to get frazzled. Now we continue on. Mount Moon gets some token defenses, maybe a bit more because those are barbarians. And we're going to take them from the south, coming in from this angle as well. And I'm not going to let that slide without bringing in more reinforcements. Hang on, can you take any more? Yeah, you can take a bit more. There we go, just shove them all in. What are you doing here? You're not making me a lab. Make me a lab. And you folks, yeah, go over to Great Bay Temple, and then we'll hit them in Johto, Alexandria, Hush River Valley, Stockholm. This will almost be the end of Mictalan. I doubt they have any other provinces, and it'll be nice not to have to face their units again. In fact, it would be pretty nice if Mictalan didn't fight me with these guys, period. But those aren't Mictalan units, are they? Sun Guards, Runa Macemen, uh, these are Nazca units. Um, yeah, Mictlan is out of units by now. The big question is, do I attack him in North Face Forest? And did he take that? That is Mictlan's province after all. Link. Send Link. And we got Makoto, but Makoto doesn't have... Oh, right, we've got Banjo. Right, Banjo and Link. We could test out our raiding here. We get you back here together, and we have you cast... Okay, I was wondering why they didn't have Bless, but they do. They've got uh, Unholy Blessing. And they've got other Unholy Blessing? Just does the whole place. Right, I'm going to have them cast Unholy Bless, and... Then they can still further buff themselves. Magic resistance is always welcome. Extra power is always welcome. I think these are the same spells, it's just bigger areas of effect. Yeah, so if you give yourself that and then attack, and I'm going to set that to 1, hotkey 1, and now they're all going to do that when I send them in. So Banjo and Link. Match made in heaven. They're going to go over to the labor pit and hopefully ruin some people's days. They might not. Might go terribly wrong, but hey ho. Temples help priests pay, play, eh, pray better. Uh, the undead cannot preach. So that won't save me, sadly. Whoa, crikey, check all these bleeding units. Right, Ao Oni. We managed to take the RCPD. I think it's time that the shoe was on the other proverbial foot. Hey, you found some greenstone armor. Very encumbering. Lowers your map movement as well, so throw it away. I need that 20. Arbiter's Ground is there with his, uh, his Frost Brand. If there were two or more of you, I would like to send in multiple, but... Oh, hold on, there's Goka Ryujin. You grab a sword, and the two of you are going to raid. Did we decide that Tirnog and Abalibia are working together? Tirnog is Big Biter. Uh, Balabia is the seed of the Big Biter, so yes, they are working together. In that case, it might be time to start raiding properly with my thugs. But where are they going to go? I'm not sure they could handle Novgorod alone. But you know what? Not, oh, they can't even reach there. That's a shame. Maybe get up to the Worm Spawnling for now and then raid from there. I can't believe Anne from the Inn is still alive. How are you not dying? You're diseased! If he if he if she dies there, do I get my um do I get my hammer back? I really want to speed up my frost brand production, but you're slowing me down here. And I don't want to, I don't want to waste all my gems on you guys. Is this game hard to learn? Insanely. There's a ton to learn. Intuitive? Are you sure I'd call this intuitive? Not all that intuitive. Right, you get up there to help build. I would still like this to be a better place, so get me a proper fortress. You do your research, which is fine. 
I want you to be able to move some more undead from around there. You've grabbed everybody you can from here. More research, more better. We soon have enchantment six, which is what I need for... Ooh, I've already got Horde of Skeletons. Funny, I wanted to rush that, but now that I'm there, I don't actually want to use it much. Rigor Mortis is more for bad situations. But once I have that, I want my Conjuration and I want my Construction. As for you, just continue searching. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You get researching for now. You make me wish I had some nice spells for you to cast. More things to forge. There's Brazen Vessel for blood magic plus one, but I don't think of anything that I'd want to be using my blood magic for, even though you've got blood seven. And then there's Earth. Sorry, I really can't think of what to do with you, Scipio. None of this seems to help me out with many of the things I want to do. Yeah, the undead does circumvent a lot of things. You don't need to care about supply, for one. You don't need to care about recruitment in this uh, nation, either. Right. I'm, I don't really want these guys spawning here anymore. I am going to move both of you over to... Ugh, oh, you've, you've still got those annoying units on you, don't you? Or that one annoying unit on you. Uh, let's get the two of you over to Hailfire Peaks. And maybe even further... No, Hailfire Peaks will keep you safe. Uh, from there, you're going to summon the console, so they don't need to spend an extra turn moving closer to the front line. And that little break will give me time to get more Death Gems and have more Frost Bands at the ready. Building a... La you know what? And from the inn, I want another Frost Brand, so take that and forge me a Frost Brand. You go and do some more searching around here. Same with you. You do some research. You finally get me that laboratory. Nice kill in Eden Prime. It's probably not even worth defending at this point. But I would love to tear them apart over here in North Faced Forest. I can't, can't believe they've claimed it though. Either that or they have claimed it in the name of Nazca. Can they do that? Inner Throne is meh, although that Earth Gem is nice. Precision, uh, it only affects Blast Troops. Doesn't affect my Spectral Javelin Throwers. Yeah, I, I got a bit of money. I could sink... I'll just sink six into it. Eden Prime's not a huge deal. Kinda wish old Mictalan had my... Uh, had my Dominion growing here, but that's alright. We're sweeping them up from the south. We should be fine. Seventeen commanders idling. How can this be? Right, that's right, I was thinking about attacking from here, wasn't I? I'm gonna raid from Wormling spawners, but you know what, I'm going on the offence right here. Shouldn't be too bad for us. I'm gonna miss having that buff, though. Actually, to that effect, I will have both of you join in here. Well, you can't, but you, the other one can. And then you're still going to do that that big nice thing to buff all of my units. You need to search in Timberwolf Mountain. You're still calling spirits here from the dead, which is totally fine. How much for you to do in Hailfire Peaks? I'll push you forward, uh, forward some more. Can. And now I'm just checking to see if there are any mages that aren't doing anything. You're not. You should be researching. You could probably build me another fort in Forest Frontiers. But at this point I wonder if I'm not just hitting uh, Terminal Velocity anyway. Also my income is going down, down, down. Because now I really am killing off all the people in most of the places that give me money. Let's, let's call Canny on that. You hide and wait instead. Alright. Nothing much for it. Let's go. This is a great old school manual too, if you like reading. Oh yeah, the Dom 4 manual is the accurate one though, isn't it? An interesting read though. 
It's certainly something you'd need a whole afternoon to get through. I'm not sure we have Private Jenkins here. Oh, I don't like the look of that. Why is there a battle that went on for 119 turns? Hopefully that wasn't my battle, because it's never a good sign. Well, it's seldom a good sign when you have a fight going on for 119 turns. And if that was the fight to the north of Old Mictalan, that's a bad thing for my armies. Right. No magic site, no magic site, no magic site. Cripples, I know. A lot of fights. Right, Lutetia first. This is our southern raid. Notice the darkness. Notice that these guys have minus three to their attack and defense. I thought, mor I thought morale was also affected by darkness, but no. However, ghosts have perfect spirit sight. No penalties from darkness. You can see invisible units. Great. And that means that they're going to have a hard time hitting us, and we'll have a much uh, easier time hitting them. So, splendid start. What else is happening in Lutetia? This was a great time to actually do the big attack, then. Because this is just a very nice bonus for us. Thank you, whoever enacted the, uh, the nighttime stuff. Double Alexandria fight. Okay, yeah, I'm already winning that. What about the follow-up? Oh, yeah. You, you got nothing on me, friend. Should have brought dark vision. Don't tempt me to utter dark. Eden Prime, I said it wasn't a big deal. Oh, we actually beat the first attack coming in with our practically nothing here. Oh, the console was there. That could be bad. The console's probably going to die. That console did most of the work. Where is he? There you are. You bless, you protect, you have unholy power. Look at that. <laughs> unholy power for plus four attack skill. Amazing magic resistance as well. Alright, get stuck in. Put that frost brand to good use. Where'd he go? Oh, he's just racing on in. Splat. And he has awe as well, so most people don't even want to attack him. See if, an, if a unit just flashes bright white. Bright, bright, bright. That means they are awed. They, they find the console so awesome that they couldn't even bear to attack him. And now he's got Blood Surge active, so his attack skill is 29. The only real downside I'm seeing of this is that Frostband is not good for Repel. If I made him also wield a long um, spear-like thing, or if I give him a long spear instead of that, he could Repel, but that would get rid of some advantages, so maybe better if we don't go for Repel. Repel Thug is a thing, but it's easily countered. Because the enemy can out-morale the repel. So yeah, there we go. Between our province defense commander spawning the occasional skeleton and having Banjo the console slaughtering them with his magical sword, which does area effect cold damage, by the way. That's why the Frostbrand is a real go-to thug item. He's able to clean up. So we turned him from not being very killy into being moderately killy. So that's good. However, there was a follow-up fight in Eden Prime, and I'm not confident in this. Uh, maybe I should be. Again, Darkness is helping us out big time. They fly to the back to try and fight the console, or the console laughs it off, even though they struck him. There we go. The Condor Warrior hit the console in the body with a Bronze Lance for 15 damage. That's a lot of damage. Would kill a normal person, but the console had max hit points 33. Uh, but he has Undead Regeneration. Here we go. And that's because he's undead, he gets that 10% regen from the Bless. And he is angry. So he runs on in. And again, the, f the few people that can break through the awe to strike him are being destroyed by his defense skill, his protection, and his etherealness. Defense is best when layered. It's like two isn't a lot, but two times two is four times two again is eight, times two again is sixteen. Those twos keep adding up, and this guy is full of two twos. So good job, Banjo. You single-handedly saved Eden Prime. This is pretty much the build I was going for for my thugs, and I can keep cranking him out every turn. And they're a lot easier to manage than the, uh, the wave of chaff. There are downsides, of course. He's just one person. He couldn't, say, bring down a fort on his own, although there are items and additional blesses for that. Um, 
If he dies, he loses his sword, but we're cranking those out at an industrial pace. We're trying to, at least. Uh, and he's still undead, so a lot of undead counters hurt him badly. Dust to dust, mostly. But that's why we're boosting his magic resistance. We're just doing what we can, as cheaply as we can, to do as much damage as we can. So good job. Straits of Hormoz looks like it was a real fight, so let's go and check it out. Yeah, this is me going on the offense. These are the giants that we chased away. They are still diseased from the starvation they face trying to siege me down. So this should be easier, but they're blessed, so I can see what their bless is. Strength plus three? What kind of bless is that? Maybe their god is dead, or maybe they... Maybe they went for really good scales, but that's not showing. Oh boy, they've got a lot of priests trying to banish us. But with their magic resistance... Ooh, we got our magic resistance fluffed up. And then I'll bring my console here, but this is pretty bad for my, uh, my ghosts. That's a lot of attrition. There we go, take him out. So, yeah, almost a third of my unit's taken out, and their their leaders got away, which is never pleasant. You should always be killing these guys if you can, but I don't have an easy way to the back row. Uh, but there was another fight. Uh, yeah, they have reincarnation. Oh, another fight. Yeah, there's this guy. This diseased, generic priest. He blesses himself. And the funny thing is, he is probably going to kill more than he is worth. Oh, he took out two chaff, then maybe not. Old Mictlan, I was expecting a fight here. Ooh. What surprises me is that there's a follow-up fight, so... Well, you know what? All of the province defense commanders I have are sacred. So they also get undead regeneration, blood surge, and awe. So even this very humble, single gold province defense mage is laughing. You just try and hurt him. You can't. I wonder if this was the battle that went on for 112 turns. Whoa, okay, he actually did some damage with that, but that's okay, because uh, we don't get fatigue, because we have no encumbrance. We're not casting spells, we're just using Life Drain, which pierces armor and gives us health back. So, uh, this is a very, very frustrating fight for my enemy. He can't do anything, and because I have a cold aura in winter, or at least it's cold around here, his units are getting fatigued. So, uh... Sorry to say, my friend, but you are going down and I am not. I can't do anything. This might turn into a problem if uh, he, if we both retreat and his units are too tired to retreat and mine are not. See, you can get a lucky shot. He hit me for 11 there. And then my max health is 40. Okay, I guess I overhealed from life draining. And again, see they occasionally flash brightly. That is all. The single guy is too awesome for the entire army to even want to hit. I'm like Dian Wei. Just no stopping him. And look at this crippled horse. <laughs> Drink. One gold of province defense did all of that. Look at that. 115 of his units dead, including that captain. Not bad. Not bad at all. One downside to this is that um, he doesn't gain any experience or anything. Every time you bring in a new one, every time there's another fight for province defense, it's pretty much a new person. The question is, did they win in the second fight? The answer is yes, but let's find out exactly how. They probably just got a better initial shot on us. Yeah, they came down. Ah. Good call. It sounds like the wait. I thought there was an evocation there. Could have sworn I saw uh, an air elemental. Oh, there we go. He just he just got enough damage done to kill me, which is fair. But you know he had to do all of that, and I just spent one gold to uh, to really style on him. North Forest uh, just had us crush poor little Mictland, uh, but there was a real fight following up from that. Remember, this is where the enormous army was. Now this might not look. Great. There are, as I often say, a lot of them, sire. But 
were fighting in darkness. Their defense and attack skill is gimped. I'm surprised they're not starving. There must have been a lot of supplies over there, but I don't see anybody starving. I'm seeing a lot of priests. I don't like that. Did I bring my console? Yes, hopefully my console buffs up my soldiers. There we go. We got the anti-magic going, so we have extra... Was that anti-magic? No, that was unholy power. I keep forgetting what that is. Strength, attack... I don't know and I don't care. Point is, he will give us the buffs before it becomes a problem. The enemy sends in their chaff. Their chaff are glowing. What's that glowing? Oh, they have air shield! 80%! That's a problem because my spectral javelins are going to be deflected by that. Four out of five of them will. And now there's a bless going. Who are their sacred units? You're the sacred units. Precision, larger, and undead leadership. Not a big problem to fight. Okay, they send in all of their flying units. Again, I gave bodyguards to my mages, so they're not instantly getting gibbed by this. But these guys, even my humble shadow tribunes are also blessed, so they too benefit from blood surge, awe, regeneration. So it's going to be very, very hard to kill them, even if you manage to get to my mage core. And they do, because they're flying. And they are pelting me with everything they can. They have air shield, we have ethereal, so uh, projectiles are pretty bad in this. On top of that, their their precision must be god awful given the darkness. Yeah. But that's okay, we have so many units here that imprecision still means it's likely to hit something. There's my pretender, Orbulon the Prophet in Manticore shape. This isn't a very complicated fight. There aren't big magic spells. There aren't rituals being cast in here, like, uh... There's already darkness, but something like darkness, heat from hell, foul vapors, quagmire, rigor mortis. It really is just a big clubbing match. And I'm paying for this clubbing match. But I really wanted to root out this massive army that he had sitting in that leading province. And even though his mage core is very likely to survive, he is going to retreat, and a good bunch of those might retreat into enemy territory, because he's also bordering the mutual enemy of the north, you know, the weird Apple Labby. I forget it. Right, break on through. There we go. Nice. Very nice. So, what was the end result there of North Face Forest? In the first fight, I lost 24 units, all chaff, and I killed almost everything they had. In the second fight, they lost half of their army, and they probably lost a lot more to retreating. I lost 126, one tribune, one apparition, and a lot of chaff. I came out a lot better than the enemy in that one. There was also a battle in the labor pit. Ah, yes, my console's at work. Just one of them, though. But let's see you there. So, here he is. Good stats. Bless, bless, bless. Great stats. And then when he kills something, Blood Surge. Incredible stats. I love thugging. And now, remember when these uh, heavy... In uh, not heavy infantry, heavy cavalry were a pain for me? Yeah. They are going to fail miserably at taking this guy out. Nobody has even hurt him so far, and I I would put good money on them never hurting him in this entire battle. There are just too many unlikely events to get through all of his layers of defense. Again, you have to get through the awe, you have to get through his defense skill, you have to get through his etherealness, his 19 protection. It's just not happening. So good job, but there was a follow-up fight in the labor pit. Did you ever play as Riley? I don't think I've ever played as Riley. Okay, unless, one, unless they get a very lucky banishment, these guys are all dead. Frostband area effect? Bang. Killed one, hurt another. One of the other ones managed to... Here we go, so that's that banished hitting him. Uh, let's see if it shows up here. Am I looking at the right guy? Apparently I am. He's taking no cold damage, of course. 
Anyway, that banishment is targeting his magic resistance, but his magic resistance should be high enough for that not to be a problem. Like Boom. But no, not happening. It's fine. Decree of the Underworld. Well, here's my decree. Oh, is he fast? Combat speed 10 versus combat speed 17. It's not looking good for you. Oh, he's targeting the back row first. There we go. And to make matters even better, as they continue to kill, they gain experience. Uh, one experience point is one more attack skill, one more defense skill, and probably some other things that you often forget about. So, excellent job. Trigvi was there, but Link... I thought Banjo was... Oh, that was it! Banjo couldn't make it! So I inadvertently actually protected two provinces instead of one. Very, very nice. So... We have just cleaved our way through what's left of Old Mictland. It's time to finish the fight. Alexandria, move into Stockholm. Great Bay Temple, move into Johto. Tall Tall Mountain is actually quite tempting instead. Tall Tall Mountain, then try and force all their units to go over there. Mmm. Mmm. There. Lutetia. Take out Diamond Heights. You know what? Banjo, take out Tall Tall Mountain. Great Bay, take out Johto. Labor Pit, take out Hush River Valley. With that, I'm moving on every single Mictland province, and I should be able to wipe them out once I take their forts. Uh, <laughs> so he moved over to Old Mictland, and he's besieging it. Uh, he took down everything but one little bit of scotch tape that's holding the entire wall up. That means he has to wait another turn before he can actually properly take me down. And that's good because that gives me a turn to take North Face Forest without having to worry about Mictland falling. The only reason that worked was because I just managed to upgrade the uh, place into a walled city in time. I can't recruit anything but a humble deer bribe shaman, but that's okay. Go and save old Mictland, pretty please. We're taking heavy attrition, but that's okay. It's well worth it for grabbing all this land. Sadly, my disastrous uh, dominion is spreading more than I'd like, but... Fit Kinnamundi. Eden Prime is dying. Inaba. Good. Night overtakes the day. Frostpunk Generator just gave me some bone armor. An unusual thing to find. Cold resistance. Why would you want this? Its protection is pretty low, and cold resistance is easy to get. And it, it takes death magic four? What's, where's the upside? Um, where is the upside? Inscri inscribed with runes that leech life, so I'm going to assume this allows you to do life leeching attacks. Which could be amazing for a thug, but I'd rather just have regeneration, thank you. Right, Hailfire Peaks is now the home to you two. Your job is now to, every month, give me two consoles. It ought to cast Soul Vortex. Now that's awesome. Why in the world does it not tell us that? I know why, but... Uh... Hey-ho. Constant Darkness. Castle and Desolation Point complete. Get researching, and maybe go and help out here a bit. I do not have a spare uh, hammer for you. But Anne is almost dead, and just drop that, give it over to one of these weird H- Ooh, we randomed... Random nature water. What does it take to make a thistle mace? Nature 2. I could empower you once, and I'd be able to do foul uh, vapors with you. And you have no idea how tempting that is. But it's much better to summon something else, probably. Mm -hmm. Do it, Jake. It's a pretty bad idea. I mean, if he dies, then I suddenly lose my Foul Vapor. It's better to have access to things that I can crank out to make Foul Vapors. How am I doing on my conjuration for that, anyway? Uh, we're a ways. Would Foul Vapor spill, kill the caster as well? Yes, and he doesn't have poison resistance. Too many gems to invest in him, and he's far too fragile, so I won't do that. Besides, his real job is right here. Hold this axe and forge every month a new Frostbrand. 
My frost brand economy must grow, and you must keep researching. My re this is pathetic research for the stage in the game. But my economy, all things considered, for us is amazing. My free spawn economy, uh, thanks to getting all these forts up, is just wonderful. You're just hiding here, and you really should be constructing fortress. And, uh, boy, there's not much for you to do, is there? I guess you could continue your site searching, although I have all the water gems I think I could ever need for this run. Did not expect to break into as many water gems as I did, but I did. Get me a castle. Ooh, well, how many units are there? Nope, forget the castle. I want... Off it. Oh my god, don't, don't bring those useless ones there. there. I want a fence. Forget the castle. Go over to... Yeah, get to Mount Moon and help aid this offense, please. What a lovely thing to do, destroy you. Whoa, what am I doing moving here for? I don't want to move, I want to storm this castle. Could go wrong. There's a lot of ways it could go wrong. But let's believe that it will not. I'm still giving you all my units because you just look so cool. Protection 22, size 3, mounted with a Bane Blade. Oh yeah, sign me up, Buttercup. You'll have a decent amount of bodyguards kicking around. Those guys may as well not be here. These small divisions are more likely to retreat if they take too much damage, so I'd rather just pump everything into one guy. Do a bit better on the uh, bodyguards, though. Oh, this poor guy just sitting around. You know what, why don't you defend your defend your champion? It's all spells, but I'm not... Oh, right, you're doing the lovely protection spells. Unholy Blessing, Unholy Power, Protection. Yeah, that's good. Makoto is here. Well, too bad. Makoto's just going to have to get involved. Anyway, storm that castle. It should not be difficult. In fact, Makoto, you may not have a frost brand, but I have this idea that you should rush on in. Front line, attack. Just get right in. If you lose, you die, but you're immortal. And... It's only three months immortality, so I only have to wait three months and my dead consoles will come back to life. Uh, that does get rid of some of their afflictions, if they got any. But some say that's not really reliable enough to get rid of them all. But hey, I'm not looking to get rid of all of them, I just want to get rid of enough of them. Mm, Alright, continue searching, Fire Warrior. Although... No. Fire Warrior is going to go to the RCPD and summon that Nyaj thing. And then I'm going to start adding foul vapors to my armies. It's the right thing to do. I mean, Anne from the inn isn't going to live long enough to do it. I don't think I could do anything to keep you alive in there. So just do one last stint of research before you die. Straits of Hormoz are mine once again. I should continue the offense. The question is, where's their capital? It's there. Unfortunately, this cave gets in the way. One, two, three. Do I take out Abalaiva's capital? Mm, I mean, that might sound cool on paper, but I've already taken a lot of damage getting this far. I wanted to start my thug raiding, though. All right, that's a good idea, actually. I will thug raid through Luigi's Mansion, and I will send the main army over to Train Valley. I love these custom names, by the way. Thank you, everybody, who submitted custom names for uh, for this run. Al Oni. Uh, you can get over to Streets of Formoz, surely. There is Novgorod, but I'm not really sure I care about Novgorod. I mean, where can he even strike out from there? He's just going to wander around in my dead land and starve to death. I guess he could go to Belgium, but fine by me. Go and go, and go crawling to Belgium. I've got a hell of an army over here, why don't I put them to use? Is there another one of these deathly guys that can help out? Yeah, there is. There's also Bess Marvin, an icon of sin. Hey, why don't they do it? Yeah, right, my whole strategy's thugging, let's put those thugs to use. Go and... ah, that's a bit too far away. Go to Mount Erebus. I have a funny feeling they're actually going to go and attack Mount Erebus. The others... 
Actually, why don't you go to Novgorod? That's too far. Because you're not floating, you don't get you, you get uh, punished by the snow. You could go to Novgorod, though. Uh, maybe so, maybe no. Go to McDonald Land first. Only all, all this army and forest frontiers. Mm. You searched Timberwolf and found nothing. Uh, okay, you're amphibian. You can cross that river, no problem. Bob on battlefield. Let's see what you have. Why do the caves not have flag icons above them? Oh, because we don't know who's here. We don't know who own, who owns this. It's probably Abba Laiba, but we don't know. This is Fog of War. You know about provinces that you've already scouted out, because the province names aren't going to change. But you can only know who owns them if you are adjacent to them, or if you have some spies or some kind of enchantments that let you see. For example, some uh, dominion can help you scry. Right. Check out the Grand Reef. Rigabarth has been checked out by you, but not by you. Mumbo's Mountain. Probably sitting on a mountain of troops. Where do I want you? I feel like I have insufficient uh, reinforcements in the south, so go over to Arborang first. You just get researching, you get researching. You guys continue the defense. I know it's not pleasant. Toilet Genie, equip your toilet sword. What do you think? Should we send out Toilet Genie alone and see if he can manage? There is a chance. There is a very real chance that he could manage this on his own. I'm not giving him these pieces of garbage because they will just cause him to uh, HP route. HP route is when you lose so many total hit points in your army that it forces a morale check for you. And uh, you could easily lose that morale check. I believe in the immortality of Toilet Genie. Hey, look, I grabbed a Sun Guard. I have to pay him. I don't like that. But he is... he is a sacred unit. Anyway, break that siege single-handedly, even if you fail. You might die, but then you'll respawn in three turns. Or you might retreat into the castle, or you might win. Now, there's no downside to this, except not having him for the big fight, but I've got my great big F-off army up here. Click Clock Woods is being upgraded, that is fine. And you guys, there's not really much you can do but just wait, so let's go. Someone said H-point routing doesn't happen to undead leaders, I think, says Nyx. I'm going to need a second opinion on that. Anyway, it's all chaff. They just die in a heartbeat. The downside would be losing the sword you invested resources into. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, one quarter or one fifth of a turn worth of ice gems. Or water gems, I guess. I kind of wish they would split ice and water into different things. This inherent idea that water is cold is just... Yeah. Why can't we have hot water? Well, you can. You can mix fire and water in magic, but... Right. Console is back. Two consoles, in fact. The Grand Reef had a lake of living water. Wow, man, I'm drowning in water here. Um, nothing found, nothing found. Crippled units dying. Hush River Valley fight. Let's go. So this is Link on his own. He's got two levels of experience, and basically his stats are insane. Let's see him when he activates Blood Surge. Splat. Attack skill 32. If he had a long weapon, he would be repelling everything with that, unless he's being fought by undead, and even that he could repel. The reason I'm not giving them a long weapon is because... You know, why am I not doing that? I really should give them a long weapon. Um, yeah, why am I not doing that? Well, I'm not giving it instead of the Frostbrand because I want something with area effect, but I'm very tempted to start making long weapons for these guys because the amount you could repel with attack 32 is obscene. The sword does area effect damage. The initial strike that it hits someone with does 31 magical damage. But the area effect does 12 armor piece piercing in the square that you hit. It's not very big, but it's it's just much faster than clearing these guys out one by one. That's what I talked about earlier on when I said these guys aren't very killy. He's really not very killy. Look, every turn he's killing like one person. The reason he's effective is that he's almost unkillable to regular units. And that he has fear. Fear is constantly lowering their morale. 
which again is making it less likely that he they hit him because he's awe, and awe is a morale check, uh, and that fear routes people a lot easier. It means when they come to their morale check, they're far more likely to scar her. All those together make this guy an amazing thug. Again, easy counters. Humble death one mage could kill him with dust to dust. Uh, you could destroy this guy using fire evocations, because he has no fire resistance, and fire damage would completely negate his ethereal. But the thing is, if you were to invest in doing that, well, I have a lot of these guys, so good luck getting your fire evocations everywhere. And he is immortal, he will be replaced. But haha, what if... How do you deal with that? You can soul slay him, then he will never come back. But Link is uh, not going to be soul slayed here. Not by these guys. Alright, as expected, no problems to be had in the Wormling spawner. Oh, there were dispossessed spirits just hanging around there. Uh, Diamond Heights. I guess I will check all these because this was a big offensive for me. I'm trying to clear out Old McDland for good. And it'll be one down, five to go. We don't need to kill everyone though. We just need to claim all of the. Um, we just need to claim three quarters of the thrones. So here we go. This is why I'm really glad I got my Bless operational. These guys would normally just die to the surprise attack because those venomous fangs. They might be benign. But if they get through, we have no protection against it. Yeah, we got some poison resistance, but now they have to get through our all. And that's not easy. And uh, if I get my blood... Oh, we have darkness as well. They're blind, so they're not affected by darkness. But they're certainly affected by being skewered. There we go. Get the hell out of here. Uh, battling old Mictalan. This is me trying to relieve the siege on my duct tape held together fort. But the only person that's doing it is Toilet Genie. Can he do it? Unholy Blessing, Unholy Protection, Unholy Power. And that was just in time for the surprise attack, otherwise that would have interrupted his spell casting. Shame on the enemy for doing hold and attack. They are constantly taking cold damage from his cold aura. I was contemplating giving these guys more cold aura when I was creating the Pretender, but... It comes packaged with cold resistance, which I felt like it uh, was a waste. So sure, they can surround him, but they can't all hit him. Only the eight adjacent squares can hit him unless they start throwing projectiles, and some of them are throwing things. What the hell are they throwing? Ah, there are some slings and javelins. Frankly, they're more likely to hit uh, their enemy uh, themselves than do any damage. So they actually hit him twice there. Unusual, but it does happen thanks to exploding dice. Where are we? Way down here. Who managed to hurt? There we go. The archer hit you with a short bow for two damage. So you got through everything else and managed to get an exploding dice roll of 9 plus 15 against my 14 plus 8. My protection there is lowered because it was a piercing attack. So yeah, you did two points of damage on me. Uh, I swear somebody else did damage before that. But you know what? We have regeneration! So that just immediately got regenerated. I uh, kind of wish this guy also had Soul Vortex. Could you imagine that? You know, if we started handing out uh, those rib things, sure, I would leave the I would lose their 13 defense protection here, and that might not be worth losing. But um, it is so good to have Soul Vortex. It just constantly saps the life force out of everyone around you, restoring your health and your fatigue. It can be used to power batteries for your mages, which is pretty cool. So again, there's a good chance we're going to lose this for the simple reason that my enemy is bringing more undead into the fight. And because I'm unable to kill them very fast, especially... As oh, well, look at that. I actually got defeated. How in the world did they defeat me? Quick, what's the button for checking all the actions that happened? I think I'd have to go to... Oh, geez, where am I even going to find you here? Toilet Genie. What happened? We're going to go all the way down here. The Sun Guard hit you in the body with a Sun Mace for 60 damage. 75 damage plus te uh, 12. Sun Guard. Who's the Sun Guard? You. Now this is a counter. 
That Sun Mace is something they just inherently get, and it does triple damage before protection against undead. So that's why it did 75 damage. Dang, okay, so that's a good counter. How many of these things can they crank out? Hmm. <laughs> Where is he? Where's the sun guy? Sun guards. Ooh, wow, they can really crank these out. Impressive. Very good undead counter right there. But, you know what? He may have died, but he will be back in three months. So the only thing I lost was that one... Um, that one Frostbrand. He was lucky to get through everything else. He had to get through awe. And he had to get through, not ethereal because it was a magical weapon, but he had to get through the defense skill. Which was degraded from harassment, but hey ho. So old Mictoland is now being torn apart, but we're going to have to relieve that siege. No big deal though. They're trying to relieve our siege on them. Granted, the numbers are dwindling. But so are theirs. They put up a much better fight last time. Uh, and again, I just lost one Tribune. Uh, Johto, double fight here. The Mictalan one is probably easy. Yeah, I think that's Mictalan's defense. Yeah, yeah, you better run. And then followed up by fighting the Nazca guys as well. Oh yeah, guys, two of them. Short bow user and a mace user. Yeah, no, there we go. Eden Prime, double fight. I hate that Dom 5 killed my Mictalan. I missed my 9 fire. 9 water, 4 nature bless. What is that? 9 fire, 9 water. Um, all quickness? Don't know, and I won't claim to know. Wow, I've got very pitiful defenses here in Eden Prime, but hopefully enough skelly spam and not... Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Bit of skeletons, bit of defense. Eden Prime is saved, but is it follow-up saved? Maybe. There we go. Again, they, they struggle greatly to kill us here. You won't, though. You're a problem. See those sun maces? Now that I see them, I think, uh-oh. But fortunately, even the humble Acolyte has amazing defense skill. He'll have him better if he gets Blood Surge going. There we go. Blood Surge activated. Defense skill 20. You will not hit him. Especially not in li limp darkness. Oh, but we are retreating. We took we HP routed there because we lost too many of our defenders. A shame, but at least it didn't go back to Mictland. Stockholm was not a victory for us. Ooh, that's not good. What are you hiding on me? Just lots of benign attacks. Oh, and the blessing. You're not going to fall that easily. Fine by me. Uh, Train Valley. Another glorious victory for us. And the Centurions were there, so I certainly want to see them in action. Nice bless. Wow, kind of deleting me with those blesses. And I haven't fluffed up my magic resistance either, so force them out. And there we go, there's our consoles in the front line. They're, they're not even armed with fancy stuff. They're just doing what they can. Luigi's Mansion. This is the raiding, right? Yeah, here we go. So we've got these two. Unholy Blessings and whatnot. Oh, they're casting Apostate. I must not have told you to attack. Who are you trying to Apostate? It'd be pretty cool if you got myself one of these ancient curates as well. And I, oh, you took the poisonous skin. Or maybe just have poisonous skin. Oh, I want him. Grab him. That's funny. I'm pretty sure they took the blast for poisonous skin and reincarnation. It's just not showing up here. Because there's no way they're getting that otherwise. So I was talking about our weaknesses. Here's one right here. Fire elemental. Hopefully we can clear out his units before that comes my way. Did you have to stay? No, you failed to have to stay. Alright, hopefully I kill that thing before it kills me. Yes! Good, so so it blasted through most of my uh, my issues here and hurt me. But we hurt it a lot more. And we regenerate. Oh, splat. Oh, 
One more, trying to limp away, and he does. Well, good for you. So great job, our consuls. See, I just find it a lot, uh, a lot more reliable to send in thugs than entire armies. Of course, again, you can get swamped and not succeed, but that's how it goes sometimes. Tall, tall mountain. Do you think it would tip things too far towards the undead factions if undead units didn't HP route? Maybe. Oh, also, we just HP routed, so to Nyx, who says that undead commanders don't HP route. Well, maybe, maybe not. There we go. Just try and touch me. Wow, those guys got scared off fast. Uh, but there was another tall, tall mountain fight for you. Regular undead don't rout. Lemuria is unique among undead faction, having leadership on their basic troops. That's what he means then. All right, you can't try trying to get me, but you're not bringing sun lances to the fight, so uh, sun maces rather. Yeah, these guys are so strong. Again, not difficult to counter, but they're not countering me, are they? Right, here's our battle against the fortress. They did not ri uh, lift our siege. In fact, they wasted so much trying to lift the siege that they have barely anyone left to defend. But look at that! They got a fire elemental, but the fire em elemental is stronger in hot areas. It is noticeably extremely cold, so he's really, really weak. Even that flame strike isn't going to do that much damage. Still a fair amount, because that's a massive fire elemental. I also like it, you can kind of see the outline of a person there. The kings of elemental fire have much more pronounced forms, though. There we go, they're just walking through the walls. They even kill the people on the roof, no problem. Right, this could be a problem. Kill that elemental. Fortunately, our, ma our weapons are magical, so... Uh, fire elementals are ethereal, which means benign weapons have a 75% chance of whiffing entirely. But even our humble spectral spear... Shanks crew. There we go. Fire elementals are amazing, but like everything that's amazing, they are easily countered. But uh, elementals are chaff destroyers generally, and uh, they're even great counter thugs. So, that nice, uh, nice place that they set up for me, and that throne of the moon. Yeah, that is mine now. Precision isn't going to help my troops. Growth isn't going to help my country. Dominion spreading might even hurt me, but I'm still taking it, because I deserve it. Plus, the whole victory condition here is gaining enough Thrones of Ascension. I currently have three points. Twelve are needed, and this one's going to give us an additional two. I'll sort out uh, posting up the mod link once all is done. Uh, I hosted some of my mods on G Drive, but I didn't check to see if that works properly yet. Okay, old Mictalan needs to be saved, because that uh, that fort is going to fall. But if I don't bring Orbulon, I won't... No, I'm actually going to bring Orbulon. I'm not going to claim this throne just yet. I will... I've got a lot of money, actually, so I'm going to actually defend that place. I'm a little disappointed in Stockholm, though. I will send Link. Uh, I'm going to send you two to siege down Tall Tall Mountain, and Banjo is too far away to help out Stockholm just yet. Send you to Eden Prime, actually. In fact, why don't I send both of you to Eden Prime? It'd be pretty cool if you take that out. I will do some actual investments into province defense, since I actually have some money for a change. Besides, once you lower the population far enough, you can't actually get province defense. Get you as well, Lutetia. Let's see, you'll have no problem taking out Tall Tall Mountain. You... I guess you could also just make it even easier to take out, but I really want Stockholm destroyed. Ah, uh, life ambitions. There's a laboratory here, but I don't have any consoles to thug up. Where are my consoles at, anyway? I've been cranking them. I think I've been sending them north rather than south. Right, you two. You are reviving my consoles. Get those frost bands equipped. So tempted to give you that, but no, I, I shall, shall avoid that. Give you that, and how and where and why do we raid? And where are my other consoles? Ah, oh, here we are. Luigi's Mansion, of course. I'll just, you know what? One of them will do. No, almost no chance of HP routing, and. 
where do we go from here? Do we just... Do we just deep raid, or do we go straight for the capital? You guys are going for the capital, so... Uh, do I want to take uh, Train Valley? Train Valley is severely damaged. Hmm... I think it will take... I will take Train Valley. You two are going to split up. Dangerous, I know, but do it anyway. Again, we could just get drowned in uh, in them spamming us out with other attacks, but the way I see it is I've got all of these guys, I might as well send them out to do some real damage. Uh, I'll send you both over to Wormling and then figure out what to do with you in the next turn. Clickclock Woods is being upgraded, which is fine. Got a whole heap of units that you could be bringing into the fight evermore. What are you doing just defending there? Why don't you go over to Train Valley? Help with that. See, if you were there from the get-go, we already had all those walls taken down. Get researching... You just How is Anne still alive? You should be so long dead! Hitchy Tids are making frost brands, which is fine. I am actually using more death gems than I'm getting right now. If only I had... Ah, oh, damn, maybe it's evocation? What's the one that gives 20 death gems? Mm. I knew it wasn't construction. Evocation? Alteration? Conjuration 8 for Well of Misery. Jesus, that's more expensive than I remembered. It's very powerful, though. But yeah, I could certainly put 21 Death Gems to use every month. Hmm. Still going for Enchantment 6 for Rigor Mortis. And then Conjuration Construction. I suppose that's fine. My research is at least picking up a fair bit. Alright, you got Ravaged in Hushra Valley. Don't worry about it. Pick yourself back up. You're going to go and grab any troop that went to Alexandria. Um, you're... Yeah, Tall Tall Mountain will be fine. Our Barang, on the other hand. We have all these units that we definitely should have joining in the fun. You go over to Tall Tall Mountain, help out there. And Mysterious BR, grab all of those. But, ugh. Sorting out free spawn. Can you get over there? Whoa, look at that. Da look at that travel distance. That's amazing. It's so good, actually, that you two should go and work on Stockholm instead. Yeah, definitely. I don't want to give him any chance to bounce back here. I am going to strangle the life out of this baby. A lot of Ardanian troops just hanging around here, though. And Bed Chamberlain Wilhelm is just hanging around as well. Most suspicious. Right, go over to Ardania so it's well defended, and then we can strike out north from here, and then we are just going to suffocate the north under our ghosts. As well we should. And hey, I got Bazzy Joe here. There are always options to do with you, but I'll just keep you researching. You're just there if I find that I need you at some point. Which I may. Who knows? Right. You guys are just defending. I don't think you should join in the... Um... Join in this. In case it fails, you should at least be there to see the demise. You'll go and help out, save old Mictalind, and once these two places fall, Mictalind is wiped out. And then it would be pretty good to wipe out Nazca as well, as because I've got this rather narrow area to just push everything north through. All the while I'm raiding here, that prevents you from really causing me troubles in this region. Excellent. Anybody I care about not busy? Get over to Gensokyo. Go and check out Hyrule for Zora's Domain. Check Argentina. Search Argentina. Uh, more ghosts. Fewer problems. Get up to Lutetia. Let's have this as an actual... Oh, you're building a fortress. Huh. Well then go and make Brazil better. A lot, of, a lot of these guys just hanging around. Wish I had more of my free spawn to move them around with. Suppose I got you over in California. Go and grab upper land, people. And you just research because you have nothing. Oh, I'll search, actually. 
And Diamond Heights, you're just kind of hanging around. Diamond Heights is under no danger right now. I'm going to move you into North Face Forest. That way, if you do defeat North Face Forest, we have a little bit of defense there to keep it, I don't know, safer. Is what a wimp would say. If I have an army, we attack. Destroy Freeze Easy Peak. Yeah. So got those eight. How many people are not? Oh, 18 commanders are not doing anything. A lot of them hanging around here. Go and pick up units from way back home, like Pitney Bank. And you should be researching. Ah, right. We have the uh, Icon of Sin and Bess Marvin, the Mount Erberus duo. Did I say I wanted them to go and slaughter Novgorod? I think I did. That way they'll retreat to Belgium. It'd be very funny if they couldn't retreat to Belgium. Very, very funny if... Th oh, that's a little too far away from my units. But if I thought I could take both of you out... Alright, Bess Marvin, you're doing that. Icon of Sin, you're doing that. There we go. Good chance that I might lose both of them to this, but... If I wipe these guys out and they have no path to retreat to, they all die. Even a god can be killed that way. Which is just fantastic, really. Search Lugdunum. And... Yeah, I didn't really give you anything to do, did I? Go and join the Stockholm. Consider that your counter-attack. Much better. You yeah. will. Yeah, we're now guaranteed not to lose due to thrones, although it was quite unlikely that uh, the way the map was set up, you pretty much have to dominate. The only real reason I have it set for thrones is so that I don't have to painstakingly delete every single enemy to claim victory. If I'm in a position where I control uh, three quarters of the thrones, unless I throne rushed with like flying units and teleportation, I've probably dominated the map. A couple more consoles. A couple more consoles means a couple more people getting their complimentary frost brands and their instructions on how to attack and orders to head on north to Wormling. Actually, I, I like I like thugs in this direction. Go over to Novgorod. Uh, Labor Pit. Oh, that's just hawks. I do not fear the hawks. The hawks fear me. Uh, nothing's found. Magical site, a well of white water. Sorry about that. It's just one more one more water gem to add to my pile of water gems. I've got far too many gems that I haven't been spending. And the reason for that is because my path access hasn't been great, and I've not really been recruiting um, mages. This doesn't... I mean, I, I reckon you could do this as a mage-heavy nation, but it's just not felt right for me. I've got all the skeletons I could be raising, but between the consoles... Um, the Ice Brands and the Ghosts. I have a winning strategy here. We will definitely have different strategies with different nations we play. Good lord, all these fights. Right, Tomb of the Lost Queen. Ave Caesar, welcome to the Legion's Council. Here's your complimentary Frostbrand. Now get out of there. Frostbrand and the Vine Shield, two incredibly popular thuggy weapons. You have not been told to attack. But you won. Hmm, well, easy peasy. Uh, I'm going to go and make sure you have proper uh, scripting. There we go. Better to do it from back as well. Uh, Novgorod now. Firstly, did I win in Novgorod with just best Marvin? Blessing, protection, and... So here's the thing. These, these air elementals are very powerful, very annoying. Ethereal tramplers. So if you don't have magical weapons, these things just wreak havoc. And if you're bigger than them or as big as them, they hit you with Lightning Swarm, which is armor negating. But... Trample can be negated by Ethereal. It probably was here. No, it wasn't. But it only did one point of damage. And we have a magical weapon, the Frostbrand. And this is why I gave them Frostbrands. It's not just making them more killy, doing area of effect damage. Their original weapon is benign. This is magical, meaning it strikes through Ethereal. It's entirely possible that we could get drowned by ethereal units and we just very slowly fail to hit them because they're ethereal and our weapon was benign. But the Frost Brand, like all magical items, is magical and it's shanking this poor air elemental. Uh, air elementals. 
there we go. Now, air elementals are never free. They cost gems. Now, maybe you could use a bag of wind or whatever, but comes at a cost. Why are you guys running away? Are you that scared of me? I guess they are. So eventually, even if they keep summoning, they will eventually run out of gems with which to do that. And then it's down to good old shanking. God, I love to shank. So, good job. But that means they already ran away from here. Where did they go? It also means that these guys are getting a lot of experience. Right, the library. I assume the Halo library, not the Library of Alexandria. Yep, yeah, thugs are doing God's work. Uh, but there was a follow-up library battle with someone who I haven't fought yet, Tirnanog. And he's bringing big scary birds to the fight. Two attacks with slashing and relatively high damage. Impressive morale for an animal. They don't have the animal tag though, which is- oh they do, they do, my mistake. Good patrol bonus, flying, tons of hit points, size 6. In a way a scary unit, but only 7 protection. You can shank through that with militia. And again, bringing the elementals. It's kind of nice to see the AI using elementals. I think that's the better AI mod. I think it's maintained by... Whatever his name is. What's his name? Oh! Well, now that was a problem. This air elemental was too small to trample you, so it smacked you with a lightning storm, which is armor negating, and an exploding dice roll made it do plus 22 damage. And that just eliminated our poor console. Well, good job you. I didn't think that would be a problem, but these air elementals are actually countering us pretty well. Not bad. Right, old Mictalan. Lucid, that's the name. Thank you. So this is us listing the siege, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Get the hell out of here. Um, oh, but there was another battle in Old Mictalan. Copper arm for consoles. I don't want to invest a lot of gems in my consoles. But sure enough, I should be prepared for that, shouldn't I? Nah, it was one bad exploding dice roll, and I shouldn't have been so cocky as to send them individually. That's on me. Anyway, a little bit of attrition, nothing too bad. This is just the last gasp of breath out of poor little Mictalin before I choke him into uh, into the darkness. These are the guys that beat us with their benign attacks. There we go, numbers overtook the day there. Tall Tall Mountain, counterattack. Uh, destroyed by us, although we took some damage for it. North Facing Forest. Again, crushing them, just with our province defense. Now, I invested province defense in North Face Forest in preparation for this. Oh yeah, yeah, we're definitely winning that. Uh, we also went over to Belgium. It's just you, Icon of Sin. 100% you've got this, though. There we go, he's too awesome to hit. Uh, yeah, there's another thing, the elementals are mindless, they don't care about your awe. Straits of Hormoz? Are they mindless or just high morale? I think they're mindless. Oh, okay, and now they actually mean business. Yeah, we are we are toast here. That's okay though, you win some, you lose some. The Straits of Hormoz is not a vital province, although I do like it because it's got that gold mine. Um, it just means that my enemy stars when they go in there. Eden Prime is once again being fought over, but the consoles strike out and destroy. It's the follow-up attack. Pathetic is what it is. So this is much better. They're a lot safer when they travel in pairs. That's going to mean a lot more, um, a lot more fear checks, a lot more cold aura, and a lot less concentration of force. Freeze easy peak, conquered and raised by us, and the labor pit. We got defeated. Oh man. Well, I didn't invest too much into it, but that's okay. Train Valley is being uh, reduced in Dominion. Tall Tall Mountain has been breached. Just go and storm the castle. Uh, Stockholm has been breached. Storm the castle. Belgium is unharmed. Oh, I don't really care about that. 
Why are we even in Belgium? It's just the icon of Sin doing what he does. I was cutting off any retreat paths. That seems to have worked. Actually, you know what? While, we, while you're there, why don't you maintain the siege? These guys will take it over. That allows you to slip away and destroy Amity Airfield. And, oh my, Train Valley. We are not too far away from your capital, but I am taking your Train Valley. Poor guy, I have ravaged a lot of his troops in these fights, so he doesn't have a lot to throw at me. This is good, but this is exactly what I mean. We're just pushing north. It's a shame to lose provinces here and there, because it means I can push back. But Link and Banjo could probably deal with this. Especially if I... I'll just add one to Eden Prime. And then there are all of you. Why don't, why don't this time I actually take a fat load of these useless units with me? I've taken a lot of attrition along the way, which is a little painful. Sun Guard? Yeah, bring the Sun Guard. Why not? We'll style on our enemies by bringing over one of their own. Get over to Eden Prime and then push north from there. North Face Forest needs... Just give them a few people to take care of it. The rest of you keep on calling shadows. And by calling shadows, I mean dispossessed spirits. A little worried about Hush River Valley. I don't want that to fall. So you go and move over there to prevent them counter pushing down. Tall Tall Mountain's going down. Stockholm's going down. Brilliant. And I've got a lot of units back here that I can start bringing in as reinforcements. Oh wow, I've got 94, uh, 95 of those straight up. Get over to Old Mictland. So many units. And there's this just one bloody spirit getting in the way. I'm just going to attach him to Rude Chap. Rude Chap who should be researching. And you can also go and help out north. Skippy, I feel so bad having you research. I wish I could have you cast something useful, but I don't know what I'd do. Eternal Pyre would get us a high amount of fire gems, but I've got no use for that. What would I even do with all these fire gems? Well, I mean, I could break into something fiery. After all, I'm almost in a position where I could conjure up King of Elemental Fire, but... Uh, struggle to imagine the use for that in a world that I'm turning extremely cold. If I don't care about my fire gems, why don't I just make a bunch of stuff for my um, for my consoles? Because it's only just one of you, so that's not really worth our time, is it? No siree, it is not. Even though I don't have a... Okay, I don't actually need you to help out anymore. I don't need any more of you, in fact. This is enough frost brands to see through all of my... Uh, all of my additional consoles coming in, of that I'm quite sure. Okay. 25 idling commanders. Well, I need to put them to work. This is all going according to plan. You can go and help out probably in Hush River Valley, given the situation. You go and bring all of these over to there as well. Wow, what a jump. Can't believe the travel distance. It's going to suck to play as a nation with a normal map move after this. I'm running low on death gems, I think. This might seem sacrilege, but I'm actually going to convert my astral pearls into death gems because my strategy is revolving around thugging. I might as well keep them flowing monthly consoles. Mm -hmm. Pop kill is usually downside because it kills your income. Emmy, Ermore, and LA Lemuria don't care because the only use they have for gold is construction. If you find good indie mages, there are those, but by and large, absolutely. Yeah, straight to Hormoz taken back. Or did I lose here? Best Marvin got destroyed, didn't she? Maybe, maybe not, but go and take back the Straits of Hormoz regardless. Icon of Sin is moving away to do more raiding. And yeah, I got two more of them being chucked out of here every uh, every turn, and that is A-OK. -okay. Cost me 50 gems a turn, and I make 33. 
and I'm not really sight searching anymore, but I don't think I'm at the point where I really need to because I can always turn other things to help out. Oh god, I don't get a lot of astral pearls. Anyway, I think I'm doing fine. I know I'm doing fine. Defend Freeze Easy Peak a little bit, and then continue raiding into the north. Yeah, yeah, just completely cut them off. These people won't know what hit them. This might be the bulk of their army that's left. Are you fine there? You just wait. I've got no better use for you right now. Transform Aberdeen into something even better. Gotta have a little bit of pride for old Aberdeen. Someone needs to. Aberdeen itself certainly doesn't. I thought these spectral lictors would be a bigger thing, but they're just not frequent or reliable enough to make a strategy around, so I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I focused on thugging rather than uh, normal sacred attacking. Go and take over Estonia. Erdnot Rex and Mordkalb head up to Gratis. You two will travel as a pair. And you are essentially going to slice up here to prevent these guys from bringing in more pain for me over here. Good, 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 good. Guka, you need to... It might be suicidal, but I want you to turn their attention to Abalabia. Or we could take YouTube Scrubland. Or I could even go for the library. I thought I took the library. Mm. Go around, I'll save the I'll save the main thing for our major force. Pilot Wings Resort's already searched. Most of this is already searched. Perhaps even all of this. Go and check out Gensokyo. Yeah, all this all this water searching really helped out. Two of you here, get researching, get researching. And Darius, command the legions. Can you get them up there? They're not Rex and Mord Calber heading over there. Yeah, yeah, actually I can have them I can have these pile up in Estonia and do a bit of raiding with that. I have so many of my free spawn coming in now that I can just throw them around. And you know, if, if some of them work, great. If some of them don't, well, too bad. They're dead. I feel like a venture capitalist. All right, good enough. Let's go. Pop growth is percentage-based. Once they're gone, no amount of growth buff will ever bring them back. 200% of nothing is nothing, yeah. There are some mods that mean that growth will make you go up to, like, 250, and then it can grow normally from there. But no, I like, I like the commitment to it, right? You cause lack of population, you pay for it. There is actually a wish you can do with very high astral, and that will drain an entire uh, enemy province's population and bring them over to you. But it also brings over their army if there is one, so be careful with that. Does growth offset pop kill? Nope. I can't think of any nation that pop kills where growth outshines it. Also, I'm completely out of water, and my throat hurts from all this talking, so I will be back momentarily. There we go. Much better. It feels like I talk a lot more with this game than others. I'm certainly feeling it in my throat. Maybe I'm getting sick. Who knows? In any case, two more consoles. Battle in Ardania as we continue to push up. <laughs> but that's just him fruitlessly trying to hit me with his birds. Not going to happen. Mm, nothing found. Nothing found. Crippled units dying. Luigi's Mansion. And this is our raid, right? No. 
No, this is my one province defense. Having to fight against yetis. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no. No, Luigi's Mansion was not holding out against that. Freeze easy peak. Again, this is just me using my one province defense, because I think that's... Oh boy. What? You got quite unlucky there to get shanked really hard, but you are running. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Maybe I should have actually not been so tight-fisted. I do have five digits of money. Uh, gratis. Yeah, the consoles are just going in and cleaning up house, as they should. In Okinawa, we got slaughtered. Why? This is my grand plan to push forward. But again, they send enough benign my way. Yeah, even my ghosties can't handle it. Uh, oh, right. Where was Okinawa? Hey, that was just me aggressively pushing forward and I got punished for it. Well, so be it. Let's make sure that we actually have a proper walled city and a temple here. And Amity Airfield. Good to see my enemies fighting each other for a change. A tiny battle, but at least it shows they are fighting. These guys are funny. So they got the mummy. They, they're already dead and they're being suspended up by these slaves there. And it is a slaver unit. And there's those yetis as well. Is that an ethereal lion? The green ethereal lion with vitral breath. There we go. One thing I feel I miss out on is being able to see the AIs fight against each other. If you just want to watch a free-for-all, there is an omnipotence mod that gives you a practically invincible faction that can't attack. But your special things you can see everywhere in the world. Right, follow up Amity. We were also coming in there. This is just you on your own. But you are all powerful, so get in there. There we go. Not a problem. If they were magical attacks, maybe. Maybe a problem. But nope, Amity Airfield is now mine. Let's, uh, let's put a wee bit in. And dare I push forward yet more. Maybe you can win in Okinawa where others have failed. We tore apart and I really don't like sending these guys out one apiece. I prefer to double them up and do two, but what can I say? I cover more ground this way. Or Moz has taken over. Um, our forces defeated them. Nice province defense in North Face Forest. I'm glad I invested in that. Tiranog has been conquered. A double fight in Eden Prime. We obviously win the first one, otherwise we wouldn't see a second one, but I'm pretty sure we win the second one as well. Naturally. Just a wee bit of follow-up. Novgorod. Yeah, there we go. The console's doing God's work in Novgorod. Did I mean to put you there? Because that's a hefty amount of giants. God knows, but they get stuck in regardless. So the, these undead are insanely chaffy. Even if they get protection, they've got very low hit points and they just go splat. However, the consoles, they know what to do. Even if it takes a while. The reason it's taking an extra while is that these guys are cold resistant, so the follow-up area of effect attack of the Frostbrand is doing nothing against them. But there we go. Often a good thug just has to outlive his opponent. Labor Pit, great. Labor Pit follow-up, great. Train Valley, good. We got the Fortress, but let's actually... I should actually watch the Fortress ones. We had three of them. Nazca's super cool. Shame their crippling societal debt means they don't show up in the late age. Well, I've just got one age. All ages show up in middle age on this. Not even an inconvenience. So that was Train Valley. Phew. 
pretty small amount of attrition for us, all things considered. But did we also get Stockholm? You know me, I miss Stockholm. Love the fact that we can shank people on the walls because of our ethereal nature. So these guys have been a pain when fighting Mictlan. Wait, is it this guy? That's Jimmy Hopkins. I, th I thought this guy was a priest. Anyway, they've had annoying priests. Jimmy Hopkins seems to be something completely different. He's moss-bodied, isn't he? Is he? I think he is. He, he seems to be glowing like he's moss-bodied. No, he's lucky, that's it. moss body would have shown up. He was lucky, and that negates 75% uh, of lethal attacks. Another one bites the dust, and finally Tall Tall Mountain. Oh, they've got one of my favourite units. The Monster Toad. Oh, they've got Invulnerability Bless. How long are they holding that out on me? It's just so hard to make these guys work, though. They're not very good. They're animals, so there's a lot of counters to them. But I just love the idea of trampling in with giant toads, causing a huge amount of poison around them. But look at that. He's getting shanked by my... Uh, by my javelins so much that he runs away before he's even a problem. Not to mention his poison wouldn't hurt me because undead laugh at poison. And with that, what do we have? Population, unrest, air gems, a circle master and two conjurers. That's a break into blood and death. Not that it matters, we already have both and we're not using blood. Just shove that into the laboratory for me. Circle Masters are awesome to get, though. But unfortunately for them, they're just going to be researching here. Uh, maybe not here. There's no fort here. Go and research in McDonald Land. Just where we need blood and death. Still very cool to find. There we go. Randy Random, the ruler of Mictlan, has been permanently vanquished. He did not rule a single province. He has nowhere to return. And with that, we've actually made uh, Etimu into a hero. A hero who has toughness. Good. Even harder to kill. Wait, is it toughness? Toughness is hit points? How is that different from obesity? Ah well, screw it. I'll take the extra health. That's no bad thing. Right, right, right. Well, with them down... Where do I go from here? I've already grabbed this throne. No, I didn't claim that throne. Right, of course, Orbulon has been too busy. Orbulon claimed that throne. Ah, uh, but no, I must not. I must actually continue the offensive, take out the Frankfurt main central station. Maybe have a bit more defense on Eden Prime, so I, have to, I don't have to keep worrying about it. Same with the labor pit. Especially since they get um, horses in the labor pit. Stockholm is mine. Tall Tall Mountain is mine. And what was the other one that I took? Train Valley is mine. These units are going to continue on with their aggression as I go over to Alabia's capital province. Do I really want to do that? Really? He's thinking. I could hold off and focus down Nazca instead. Well, I'll go to Scotland and arc around to the right, and I think I'll save this for raiding rather than anything else. Best Marvin, Goka, eliminate the armies in Luigi's Mansion. Mord Calvin, Erdnot Rex. Hmm. Invade Meager Valley. And Darius, Prokop. Take out Water's Edge. Meanwhile, I got another two of you. That means another two Frost Bands. And telling them how best to fight. And sending you to. Kind of a shame, it's still a bit of a jump to get through to here. I might want a bit more raiding going on over here, so I think I'm going to head to you over to Novgorod and then maybe to Freezy Peak and then onwards from there. Belgium is under siege but not destroyed. Probably wants some reinforcements. 
Can you two bring in some reinforcements from McDonald land, please? It's kind of a shame to use my researchers for this, but I don't have other people to be pulling armies around, so go and help out with Belgium. Ardania's got all these troops just lying around. Why are you two going over to Old Mictland anyway? Yeah, so I can push up uh, more with more confidence here, that makes sense. Get moving, get moving. You guys are doing fine, so continue the offense. You two as well. Nice, yeah, that's a that's a good push. Push, 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 push. We failed in Okinawa. But the Icon of Sin can surely help out there. From Freezeasy Peak, sure they could go to Ardania, but I don't think it's a big enough army to push us anywhere. So eventually we're just going to push on through, aren't we? You know what, we really don't need to go to Old Mictland. We've got all these armies. You guys go over to Freezeasy. I still want you to bring units over to Belgium for that siege, and then we're just going to completely overwhelm the northwest. Good. Fire Warrior? Why are you here? I don't have Conjuration 5 yet to get my Nyad, but I will, even more so if you help me research. Is Jake really quiet for, for anyone else? I'm no more quiet than usual, it's just the game is... The game is actually being a bit loud, isn't it? Let's knock that down a bit. Well, it's multiple things, really. For one, the music's all over the place, and the sound effects are even more all over the place. Honestly, I like my sound effects down at 2, but when the battles get big, it does start getting very, very loud. Right, you're not doing a whole lot. Why don't you go back to Click Clop and grab me some extra units? I'm kind of lacking the tribunes to move people around now, aren't I? There we go. Can you bring these folks around, pretty please? What a jump! It's kind of insane how far you guys can go. In that case, I might do it the other way around. Oh, well, no, there's barely any units to take from you, and you're building a castle. Oh, well, let's not worry about it. We're going north. I still have tons of commanders doing nothing. So you need to search. You need to move over to a place to search, of which there are none. This place is fully searched. Okay, in that case, get you back to some kind of place to do research. Uh, you can search over in Gensokyo. You can doubtlessly bring me a ton of units over. Lipips, just get these up to, I don't know, Worm's Place or whatever. And you just build me a proper castle. You also get on the research train. You build me up another proper castle. You bring me a fat lot of units, please. Aberration as well, if you can. Up so daisy. Uh, why do I have these two? Do they reform? Ah, there we go. Toilet Genie and Makoto Nijima are now fully reformed. And this is why it's good that I overproduce Frost Brands. Because it means I have excess to give over to you. Got these other magical items though, but what would I reasonably do with them? That, uh, that Skull Staff is pretty sweet. Two-handed for a plus one death boost. Wraith Sword is pretty amazing as well. But I like the Frost Brand for its area effect, and that I shall keep. Here's one thing Makoto got a chest wound. Not a big deal, because they don't take encumbrance anyway, because they're undead, unless they're spell casting. Uh, and the strength wasn't much, so yeah, although your chest hurts, it doesn't affect you. Still, you two can be sent back out in the front lines. I will send you over to. Probably somewhere like Freezeasy, or maybe the Straits of Hormoz, and then we'll see what we do from there. Otherwise, Deep Canyon, more units, bring them to the front line. Link and Banjo, you took the Labour Pit, and now I want you to advance on, but where? I'm already moving to Edinburgh. 
Kakara's maybe in a bit of trouble with such a relatively low amount of units, so why don't you two go and join in? Perhaps a little annoyingly. How much more effort is it to do these? 125. Maybe I shouldn't be doing those. I should be doing the big ones regardless. That way I don't need to uh, rejig this. So we give you the full blessing. We give you the protection of the shade lands. We give you the unholy power. And then we tell you to attack. And I'm going to use that as the shift one. And then I'll give them all that. It's a little longer to cast, but it means I don't need to rejig them every time they mix up with another army and I want them to do other things. North Face Forest is pretty well defended, as I wanted it to be. Do I go on the offence from here into Okinawa, for example? Nah, the Icon of Sin is taking on Okinawa. But it would be nice if you took out the Avorion. Very nice. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Get yourself some guarding done as well, please. There we go. On the offence. All offence all the time if we can. And then you're still working on that temple, but I want you to call down some spirits. Ventuswil and Krumer are around in Novgorod. And I am pushing pretty well here. i got to remember that these guys can claim thrones as well. In fact, Orbulon still isn't claiming that throne, is he? If I'm heading in here, why even go to Okinawa? I should go to North Face Forest and claim that throne. We're all pushing north anyway. I should grab that while I'm feeling cheeky. Alright, I can kind of feel the tidal wave coming, but I still need to deal with this. How do I deal with this? Those Watchers are a problem. Mm, it's the Lightning that's a problem, so I need to deal... I need to get something that uh, resists Lightning, but I have no Air Mage. I don't even have any access to Air. Is there anything I can forge that gives Shock Resistance? Scipio, tell me about Shock Resistance. Rio, directly north of Edinburgh. Eh. I've forgotten where Edinburgh is. Poor Brazil. Uh, poor Scots. Right, is there anything that's not made by air that resists air damage? No nice boots of grounding or multi-elemental resistance. Ah, there is elemental armor. Expensive, but is going to prevent lots of nasty things. I could crank out two of those and give them to a couple of consoles and have them go down south and grab that throne for me. Might work, might not, but at least uh, fire and shock wouldn't affect them. Any alternatives to that? None that I'm willing to look into, and I can make two of these, so... Elemental armor, pretty please. And the two of you... I said I'd send you north, but I actually want that throne, so I'm going to send you down to Bob on Battlefield. By the time you get to Bob on Battlefield, the armor will be ready, and then you're going straight into Navara. Shouldn't be a problem, right? Maybe Blobhemia is a better place for you to go in that regard. Alright, Ventuswill and Krumer. Wait, I thought I gave you orders. Evidently I did not. I can have you join in the fun in Luigi's Mansion, and there's four of you in one place to do all sorts of damage. All right, there we go. So many, so many commanders to order, and it's only growing. Yeah, the soundtrack is fantastic. It is also copywritten. Uh, this stuff was just licensed for Dominions, so these VODs are going to get hammered. You will probably not see... Well, you won't see them on Twitch. I have them disabled there. Uh, so if you've missed it, you're going to have to wait for YouTube. Well, I'll get it on YouTube as soon as I can. Right, more consoles. Uh, Goka Ryujin was, uh, well, they tried to kill him, but they failed. Tiernog is going with a spell singing uh, assassination attempt. Oh, nice try, though. As we, as we saw, these are a pretty nice counter to me, but not nice enough. 
Your mist warriors are no match. Splat. Right. Labor Pit. Easy win for us. Edinburgh. Easy win for us. Although I did lose one of my tribunes. I need to go and clean that up, actually. There we go. Grab any stragglers that you can. Freeze Easy Peak. Easy win for us. Kakara. Easy win for us. Temple found and raised, as it should be. Luigi's Mansion. Oh, I love watching my consorts in action, so let's go for it. This time we got three of them. thought I sent four here, but evidently not. Oh, now here's a problem. With their air magic, they're able to bring out these false warriors. Very easy to kill, but also very easy to get spammed in. All the more reason to break... Wow, what is what is eating you? Does someone here have a magical attack? Your spray poison's magical, but that shouldn't be a problem. It's alright, you're winning out, and uh, fear is routing our enemy. Kind of glad I brought three of them then, otherwise this would have been a problem. But there was a follow-up attack. It's on the west where you were planning to attack. Yeah, let's see. Whoa! <laughs> they are trying hard to banish us. But with magic resistance 20, it's really hard to get someone with a regular banish. Real hard. Now die. Alright, not too bad, but let's see. Again, I could have sworn I brought more of you in. Maybe Bess Marvin didn't make it. I think we should just go on the offense into Skyrim, frankly. What are they going to do against this? Not a whole lot. But let's group them all together at the back here. Being at the back has disadvantages if the enemy are spawning troops like Undead or Phantasmal Warriors, but I like buying extra time to get my, my uh, spells off. Again, this is still generating plenty of money because it doesn't have my god-awful scales and dominion here. And it's good for me that my dominion doesn't reach this far. It is slowly seeping over. But I actually think we're enjoying the dominion of... Wait, aren't these guys sailors? Phaesia? Oh, I'm glad they haven't sailed over to me. I didn't even protect this area. I want to I wanna not have that throne lost, so let's put a bit of defense on it. As for you, yeah, there's still more sight searching to be done. Endless, thankless thing to do. Well, that's actually very thankful. Uh, I knew I'd win in Water's Edge. Frankfurt Main Central Station. That seemed to have been a big fight. Eh, not big enough. See, I was even able to bring in my, my dispossessed spirits, and they're also getting the bonus for magic resistance. So they're hard to deal with. The Straits of Hormoz. My single console takes them all down. Amity Airfield. Just the minuscule province defense held. Until it didn't. Let's see, the enemy is still able to get a fair amount of units to come throwing at me, but I can respond in kind. I guess he wanted that Earthblood seepage and the crypt back. That's, that's a lot. It's four gems in one place. Uh, rounding it out, what do we have? Meager Valley, easy win. Avorion. Oof. Lost one of my tribunes again. They they die a little too easy, but we still won. And Scotland, naturally. Frostpunk destroying Belgium, severely damaged. Frankfurt Main Central Station has been breached. I would expect nothing less. Completely storm that castle, please. And Icon of Sin, claim our Throne of Ascension to get us another two points. Oh yeah, man, Nazca is on the back foot. Also lost out on Amity Airfield here. Mm, do I thug my way through or not? Belgium still isn't ready to go. That tells me that there might be quite a lot of people defending Belgium, which is worrisome. I'm going to send the Tsar and Peach over there if I can. No, I won't have the time. How is Belgium doing? Severely damaged. It'll be it'll be ready to pop next turn. And I don't have any... Oh, well, no, I got Baby and Jimmy Blank. Jimmy Blank? Oh, Jimmy Blanca. That makes a lot more sense. You two go and help out in Belgium, actually. 
That way I'll be a lot more confident about winning that, uh, that siege. And the Tsar and Peach, again, here's your complimentary frost brand. I want you to head north. They are racking up their um, their injuries, but that is to be expected. Japan was taken. There's definitely a fort on Japan, but let's just keep working our way around here and giving these guys a hard time. I wonder where Tiernog's capital is. But yeah, even if they fight back here, I'm, I'm doing a lot more damage to them than they could hope to do to me. I'm not at war with Naba, and my toxic... Um, my toxic dominion is not spread over to them. So I'm going to do a lot of province defense here and try to encourage them not to attack me. Instead, we're going to work our way over in Munich. There's Tiernog's capital. Very, very tempting to smother that. I've got all my ghosts coming up. They'll do nasty things to it once I'm done. Yeah, yeah, I got a good opportunity to knock out two of them here. Splendid. How about all of you just come knocking up north? I wasn't planning on going this way, but... Why? It's because you don't hover, do you? Right, get up to Weave Junkyard, not up to Munich then. You folks just continue piling on north. You take all of those. You take as many of those as you can. Get a bit of Defense of Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. I don't get that reference, nor am I able to Google it. I'm so glad you're back to Dominion 5 is how I discovered you back on this tube thing. I didn't imagine that uh, Dom 5 brought many over, but there you have it. What reference, though? I make a lot of references all the time. I can't even keep track of them all. Central Station's getting stormed this turn. Nay, problem. Uh, we are just taking over here. We've hit critical mass with our ghosts. And on top of that, our thugs are doing God's work. These two thugs, for one, could do with being elsewhere. Get up through Edinburgh and then further up if you can. I want you guys just researching. Help me out with that. Get me my conjugation and construction. And then, boy, there's not a whole lot for you. Get some low-leveled uh, low stuff, just in case I want that. You're claiming that throne. Good. What's all going on here? I made a big march into Scotland, it seems. Let's protect Scotland, and... You know what? I'm going to march on their capital already. I was thinking about clearing up more out north. Ooh, but there's Bullworth. Mm. Nope. Take their capital. I've already exhausted a lot of their troops. I don't think they have too much to throw at my capital. And on top of that... Oh, no, I don't have a consul here. A consul is pretty vital for these kinds of things. However, what if I brought in... Krumer. Krumer's really good at going off on his own and doing whatever the hell he wants. He'll give those big buffs to all of my ghosts, and he'll just generally be there to help out. Yes, that'll be good for taking them out. Brilliant. A brilliant plan. Is there anyone else that I really care about that's doing nothing? What are two of you doing here? I thought I wanted you over in Bob on Battlefield. Yeah, get there and do some research. I got little little else to do with you. So many units. Management on this on a massive scale must be a huge pain. I don't know, they manage it. Especially since I can't just normally recruit a unit to pick these guys up. Okay, right, you get back to research. There's nothing better for you to do now. Uh, Arbiter's Ground must have reformed. Yeah, they died, now they're back. That means they get their frost brand and they're told to get on out there. I want you to actually join... Uh, no, forget... Mm, I don't know, I never really know what to do. I'll just send you up to Wormling's place and see what you do with that. 
And Scipio, I want another one of those ethereal uh, elemental armors. And then anybody that could be researching and is not. Okay, great, keep moving. Don't worry, armies are just getting bigger in Dongfai. Well, hopefully we've got better ways to manage them. It's kind of good that you can control them incredibly granularly, but whoa, it's something like, this is exhausting. Every every turn is taking longer than the last. But I feel pretty confident about my position. And it was quite nice to play a free spawn nation. I've never done that before. Probably won't rush to do it again. Right, more consoles, a battle in Scotland. I invested in this one, so let's... Oh, well, not against that. Just crummy little, um, crummy little flying hawks. Cripples dying, a proper fight in Edinburgh that I win. Uh, here's the fight in their capital, where I sent... So here's the thing, all of this chaff is really chaffy. Very, surprisingly, defense skill, actually, but a lot of that comes from the, uh, the shield. No protection, so they do die in droves, but what's really fluffing them up is this. A level 3 priest can fluff them up big time. So then they just got the unholy protection, which I almost said... Oh, that's the magic resistance. Or is it? I don't know what it is. But I'm fluffing up their stats. And especially that makes them resisting against, uh, resistant against the banishment. Look at that, the banishment's barely touching them because of their magic resistance. And victory is mine. Funny, huh? Maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe it's all just um, a placebo effect. But it feels like it's going well. The console is doing his magic. Amity Airfield, we got slaughtered. Why did we get slaughtered? Ah, that's why. We only had one general and he got eaten by lions. And that caused a rout. We would have won otherwise, but that's one of the problems of only bringing in a single general and not defending him. Actually, weren't there two? I guess the other one just ran away. Uh, I didn't defend Meager Valley, but I wasn't really concerned about defending Meager Valley. Uh, our two consorts crushed Luigi's Mansion, and we went for the capital, Tiernanog. Self buff, and get in there, and get that Blood Surge and all going. Oh, it's so good. I love Blood Surge so much. It's going to be hard to resist on future builds. But Blood Surge, in my opinion, is better on big units that definitely secure the kill. If you're more interested in having, like, small units grouped up together, and maybe they have their auras do more of an effect, then yeah, maybe I'm not so keen on Blood Surge. I forget what nation made me fall in love with it. Probably Lanka. My first Hell Bless I ever did was with Lanka, and then that, that's something that just stays with you. Rio de Janeiro is actually beating me back as well. Huh. So the problem is, getting later into the game, the enemies are getting stronger, their magic is better, they got more units. Well, if I haven't been brutalizing them. And that means they're able to hurt me like this. But I think, again, I just didn't protect my Tribunes. Tribunes aren't great for leading these big fights, because they're pretty squishy themselves. Uh, Estonia? We somehow... Oh, our one unit got beaten in Estonia. Uh, we win in Munich. We win in Polybridge. We defeat Avorion. Victory for Scotland and Frankfurt Central Station. Oh, I've never seen a way to make exploding flagellants work. It is fun, it is funny, but I don't know how to make it properly work. Okay, Belgium is breached. Belgium is going down today. Let's just, uh... What is Storm again? Is it T? Yes, yeah, Storm the Castle. Polybridge, Munich, and Al uh, their capital are all being brought down. Skyrim is unharmed. That's unsurprising, because there's only Bess Marvin here. Really? Only Bess Marvin? I'm surprised. Let's throw in a whole bunch of province defense here to throw off our enemies, and... Yeah, that's going to go down, but where do we go from here? Meager Valley has Sar and Peach moving in. Best Marvin can go to Tuchanka. Yeah, I'm trusting Best Marvin to be able to do this on her own. But this is a nice way of spreading out and really establishing dominance in the region. 
And there's Mord Calvin, Erdnot Rex, threatening Tiernog's capital. They're going to be waiting on quite a lot of reinforcements coming in, but I have a fair few reinforcements coming in. So why don't you go over to help with the Tiernog fight? These guys are desperately in need of a console to help them out. Maybe Bess Marvin could give up on Tachanka and go and help out in Munich. That way she'll fluff up those ghosts a lot better. Yeah, that looks good to me. Looks real good to me. I'm leaving Tachanka, but what's Tachanka going to do on its own? That irradiated wasteland. Another famous hero. Mordkalb! Your agility is so good that you are now a hero. Oh, good on you. There's actually a bless that you can take that makes all of your commanders heroes. And looking back on it, I probably should have taken it. Well, maybe not over awe. Actually, awe hasn't done that much for me. But we mean all these uh, all these guys would have a little bonus, and some of them would make them... I'm not actually sure if any of them would make them better researchers, but it would be cool if it did. Right, Makoto, Toilet Genie. I have elemental armor for the two of you. And you know what? What's better than a frost band? Two frost brands. Get to work. And you know what? Just in case I end up short with a strategy, make even more of them, please. And... I might actually start doing this, double frost branding them. It slightly lowers attack skill, but they're, they're short weapons, so I think double uh, output of damage is worth it. So go and forge me another Dwarven Hammer and make loads of frost bands for me. Yes! Yes! Right. So now we resist fire, we resist shock, we resist cold, we resist poison. We're ethereal, we're cold, we're immortal. Rusty equipment, puh. Chest wound, puh. Two frost brands, mmm. -hmm. Yeah, they'll they'll get the job done. Well, they might not, but let's trust that they will. Also, just to make up for the initial lack of frost brands, these two are also going to make me some additional frost brands. And I think I had a little slimy guy here who could also make me some frost brands. You need to get searching. You just wait there. I have no better use for you. Same with you. Just wait. I've got a Brazilian troops along here. So bring as many as you can up to the front lines. Same with you. There are units. I want them. Go grab some more of old whale bones as well. New London has a ton of troops. Yeah, <laughs> moving the troops around with free spawn. What a pain in the bum. Uh, go and save Estonia. I'm not going to lose my weave junkyard or anywhere else to that. Uh, okay, so the, the death of all the people here is causing my province defense to melt away in these provinces. So boosting them up isn't actually helping me out too much in the long run, it seems. Scotland has been defended successfully, and you could probably easily raid your way further north, so we will, even though it's just you. I'll tell you, part of the problem is that I'm not giving these people um, bodyguards, because I'm being too too lazy, frankly. Amity Airfield doesn't look too hot. We secured the central station, and I secured this, didn't I? Grab what we can and keep on plowing our way forward. Who is not able to move forward here? Is it you? Yeah, you're crippled. I've got no room for cripples in my army. I bet you're crippled as well. Who's the one that's... who's not moving properly here? Someone's only moving one square, who is it? You, what's your problem? You, get out of here. I knew you were a waste of space. There we go, and now it's only the cripple that's a problem. The two cripples? Oh my god, who else is only moving here? Twenty, 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 twenty. Actually, a better way to do it is like that, like so. 
You are. Who do you have? Ugh, nothing but these things. Ditch them. See, when you're the one recruiting your own armies, you get a much better idea of what now. Who, who now dares? It's still you. Ah, it's because you don't float again. That non-floater thing keeps catching me out. Mm -hmm -hmm. In that case, I guess we'll just move up one province rather than a whole lot. You guys are still sieging, which is fine. You go, you go and secure Rio de Janeiro for me. And I'm running low on death gems. Optimize another one. And then cast more consoles. They are my strategy, so why not keep investing in them? Ross Brand's a go-go. Give them the order. And then where do they go? I feel a little light over here, so let's head over in that direction. Otherwise... Icon of Sin has little to do. You know, maybe you can single-handedly take Okinawa. Maybe you could do Amity Airfield. Oh, the decisions. Take Amity Airfield. And carry on. If you want a block of armies protecting your leader and mages whenever fighting flyers, says Brelix, all on hold and attack. I'm well aware of that. It's just with so much free spawn, it's hard to invest the energy in... Uh, in doing that to protect my free spawn commanders on top of that. Granted, it is losing me fights. This is probably the throne fight. I, It probably didn't go my way, but if nothing else, we would have killed a lot of them. It was Tomb of the Lost Queen, right? No, that was another fight. More consoles, no new sites. We're being attacked in a cave. That's not good news for them. <laughs> he doesn't even have to lift a finger. He just summons the undead to do it. Uh, Estonia? These are non-fluffed up guys, but... Yeah, they're getting it done. Navara, that's the fight against the, the throne holders. Will it work for me, though? Oh, probably not. Earth 5, Astral 5, Nature 5 with a bajillion gems. You are hard to kill. Not impossible, but hard. Especially if you do personal regeneration, and I hope you don't. Even these guys are hard to kill, but at least that lightning has limited ammunition. Alright, let's see how it goes. This is a level 3 throne for sure. So we've got our, we've got our uh, buffing going. They've got their wall of chaff here. These projectiles are zero threat. They couldn't even conceivably kill me with that. Uh, what did you just cast there? What, what did he just fluff everyone with? I don't know, but his units are starving, which is kind of funny. Here comes the lightning, and I'm suddenly very, very glad that I'm resistant to lightning. However, the lightning still got a nice uh, damage roll on us for 16 and 5. And, um, well, maybe you'll regenerate, but what's more likely is lightning's going to finish you off. Jesus, Crivens, away you went. Oh, there goes my, um, there goes my dual frost brands on you. These guys are incredibly accurate with that lightning. Yep, that's the power of armor negation. I'm even paralyzed. Oh, oh God. <laughs> right, well, these Watchers, I... Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was kind of painful. Okay, don't really know what to do against you. Yeah, though those poor consoles did get curb stomped. More consoles would have just been more of them dying. What can I do against them then? Have much better uh, resistance. 
against lightning. That would work, but I'd probably need some air stuff for that. Okay, well, at least we win in Meager Valley with some very heavy attrition. And they're trying to relieve Tirnog's capital. They're failing. Amsey Airfield's down. Althenia's down. Scotland. Defended. And then there's Rio de Janeiro. Excellent job. I did not defend gratis. That's on me, but, you know, it's difficult to remember to defend everywhere. For example, I missed the Baltic Sea all those ages ago. If I could just sort by undefended, that would be ha uh, handy. Old Mictoland doesn't even have a defense. There we go, it certainly does now. Mori. Poor Mori. Yeah, that, that throne does seem like it needs something a bit more specialized. Or just a proper army. Alright, no problems there. And Belgium. Belgium went down, no problem. Alright, walled city done. Poly Bridge is critically damaged. Munich is breached, so we're going to flow into Munich. Storm the castle. And... Their capital is critically damaged. Skyrim and Altheria are unharmed, but I don't think I'm properly seeding those anyway. And Icon of Sin is a famously precise general. That's kind of wasted on us, but at least it's ours. Get a little bit of defense up and carry on the fight. Right, where your your capital is there, Nazca. We should go for it. Take Rio de Janeiro. Um, you're still working on Polybridge. I don't like leaving Okinawa open like that. But Baby and Jimmy Blank. Let's, let's get those jewel frost bands growing, uh, going. Mm, bit of a distance to go. You go there and you go to Okinawa then. And my two additional guys. Take your double complementary frost brands. And continue heading over in that general direction. Or to thug here. I gotta think about pulling in the win at this point. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points, and I need 12. That's probably Throne of Elements down there. And there's the Throne of Sun. Where was it? Chings, I can't even remember. God, what do I do about this then? Hmm. I mean, I could just send a proper honest-to-god army at it, but they also have units that are very hard to destroy there. The Monolith has enormous protection, and the Watchers have high protection. Mm hmm. God knows. Right, continue to bring me those consoles, because they're still my strategy. Right, Nazca will be down very soon, and I'll pretty much have them vanquished. Then I can grab Gobi's Valley, and I'll probably slink along the north to grab Japan. What is Japan again? Japan is just Throne of Law, that's no big deal. Inner Throne must be Gobi's Valley. So between those two... I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I wouldn't even need Throne of Law if I just grabbed something else. But what would I grab? Have I been overlooking a throne? There hasn't been one underwater. Whoa, look at that! Hidden throne way up in the far corner. Hmm. Probably between that and Malacca. Ah, Malacca, that's the fiery one. Actually, I could go to Malacca through the water. And since that's the throne of the sun, that's three points right there. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I need Malacca. I need Gobi's Valley, probably, and I need Navara. So how do I get Navara without just throwing a million ghosts at it to die? Let's consider what Navara is made of again. 
They will eventually run out of lightning. And it doesn't do any... It only does DRN damage. The problem is that's completely random. Unless you have uh, some resistances, obviously. I don't know, maybe I will just bring an insane amount of ghosts and see if they can handle it. Because they'll eventually run out of lightning. And I will not run out of ghosts. And then, then I turn around and go, I ran out of ghosts. Plus, I can bring some skelly spammers down there. Not great skelly spammers, but hell, anything to get some. Anything to get some. Right, assemble in Gensokyo. We bring, uh, we march for war. That's what I'm saying. Rigor mortis won't help because those guys are just bleh. Could you use Z's to hard counter their lightning? Do I have Z's? I don't know where I get Z's. I don't even know what Z's are. I guess I can use Dom 5 Mod Inspector for that. What is a Z's? Uh, resist shock 15. Mm hmm. Summoned with Ziz, enchantment 6, death. Hmm. How many do you get? Looks like it just summons one of them. Good fear. High strength. Well, high enough strength. Maybe I, maybe I could. That's a lot of death gems to invest in that, though. Are these commanders or units? They're units. With map move 20. Huh. You know what? We'll give it a go. I like to try different things. I don't have death gems, though. Well, I guess I'm going to slow down on my... Um, my creation of consoles. But hang on. Ziz. What was it again? Enchantment? I don't see it there. I you said enchantments. Oh, it's air death. I don't have air. I don't think anybody has air. Yeah, no, out of luck for the Ziz. Aw, oh, man. Got my hopes up over Nout. Is there anything you can do to help us out here? Scipio. Flames, archers, enlivened statues, terracotta, clockwork, bane lord. Contact the trolls. I think not. And I struggle to think of what you could forge to help me out here. At least those consoles will be revived over here in due time. But let's bring over the army. Yeah, get them all over in Ginsokyo. Including what I can grab from here, which should be a fair amount. Now these guys are probably going to die en masse to this. Well, definitely will. That's armor negating lightning damage. But at least we'll be trying. And it'll be a nice relief for the other people that I'm attacking. Get over there, get over there. Oh, you're going to take forever to get over there. I don't have time for you. I'm loath to use some of my good mages for this, but you can get over there in a one can't you? Yes, you can. So take our units and get over there. Oh, wait, why is it suddenly taking longer now? Ah, uh, because any amount of units are slowing you down. Yeah. I don't think this is going to be a sufficient amount of ghosts to throw at the problem. But I'm not particularly close with any other ghosts to bring in. I might bring my uh, hydro guys as well, just to do some uh, some water casts on them. Yeah, yeah, get you guys get you guys in on that as well. Maybe next turn to Gensokyo. A lot of commanders doing nothing. I've been lacking on my aggression here. Move out, search more. Uh, you guys help me out with research. You guys are doing a lot of nothing, but you just took Belgium. 
I want you to bear in mind I need to make my way up to Gobi's Valley here. And you're all sorts of spreading out. Get up to Amity Airfield, and you folks get up to probably Train Valley. Got some options from there. And you go and bring more ghosts down to the fight. And, uh, taking you south seems like a waste. Go north. Bastonia, Munich. Munich's getting stormed. Up to Meager Valley, yes. Get some defences in Meager Valley. Maybe a few more defences. And then... What was Japan again? We don't know what Japan is. And we just know it's something that they haven't claimed for themselves. Maybe I will go for Japan. We're holding out Tiranog here anyway. There's not much point in holding this, but I might just hold it anyway. Actually, if nothing is going on here, go and take Tuchanka while we're at it. And I missed somebody there. There we go, Arbiter's Grounds. Take Gratis back. Yeah, Harundi, I feel that the, the pendulum has swung for me here. But all in all, I think well, Lemuria is a very powerful nation here. I can see why people uh, gang up on them in multiplayer. So much free spawn to drown your enemies in. You shouldn't ever let a Lemuria player gain, um, gain any sort of grounds and friction, traction rather. Go on. To what extent is your bless going to help you here? Not at all. Actually, I'm kind of surprised you got murked there. But murked you did. Where is Tomb of the Lost Queen? Okay, not exactly a province we care about. Tiernog. <laughs> right, so even on their capital and they try to defend themselves. I love these consoles. A lot of what's making them powerful is the Bless, but there's still an amazing chassis for that Bless. Their attempts to poison us are falling on deaf ears. Although, oh, ooh, ooh, crikey. That was a trample that forced us out, but regen kept... Uh, Regem kept Mordkalb alive. He's still got limp and weakened, but he still wins. And I think they poisoned themselves more than me. Excellent. Alright, I am curious about Japan. I'm having fun trying to figure out all the province, re uh, province references. I know most of them, but some were added that I do not know. If you ask, I'll probably... Well, I'll try my best to answer. Right, destruction of Meager Valley. Um... Hmm... I tried sending one person to the capital and it wasn't enough. In fact, you died for it. Tuchanka's irradiation did not save them. And Munich fell. Good. Right, Polybridge is, uh, is busted. We're going to storm. Skyrim's unharmed. Their capital is breached. Now that one's going down. That's going to rip the heart out of these guys. Not that they've been able to throw that much at us. But once I've got that, I've got this big army that I can move over to Japan. I'd still like these guys to push forward more into Gobi's Valley. But this north is proving... Well, for some reason I'm having a hard time pushing forward. Don't know why. Unharmed, unharmed, unharmed. Demonic troops being destroyed in Frostpunk Generator are given. And now Erdnot Rex is known for his reflexes. I don't know about that. I don't particularly want to go and fight these last guys, keeping them not at war with me is more useful. Let's go and blitz down what's left of Japan, keep you holding down that whilst we defend Tuchanka a little bit. Uh, I want my defences in Kratis back. Munich is mine, very mine. Let's get some defences in Estonia. I'm just trying to convince our friends not to attack me by having a strong load of provincial defence. And I also need to start setting out for Malacca. There's a lot of fire there, and I don't have fire resistance. I've got a lot of heat going, in fact. Yeah. What would I do? I would, it would be nice to have a, a wipe spell available for me there. 
So I might give I might bring Dillis in. If I give Dillis this skull staff and maybe give him some protection with this enhanced thingamajigger. There we go, now you've actually got a bit of protection on you. Not much else I could give you. Hmm, corpse construction shock resistance. Huh, maybe that lightning rod could help out. Alright, I also made another one of these dwarven hammers that I haven't been using. Okay, so Dillis is going to head on over, hopefully with a nice army. And I'm going to cast Rigor Mortis in that fight, and hope for the best. Goddamn, all these units and uh, no one to move them around. Tons of units and no one to move them around. I need a lot more of my ghosts moving around for that. Feels like the amount of tribu uh, tribunes that I'm spawning have gone way down a lot. Maybe it's because uh, laboratories spawn mages instead of the tribunes. Alright, there we go. We've got somebody here. You go and pick up people from the highlands and move them over to Mermaid Island. And you and go you go and grab what you can here. Go and grab Aberdeen and move to Mermaid. We can get uh, Malacca, we can get Japan, we can get Gobi. And uh, something's gotta work in Navara. Whoa hey look I just got an air mage out of somewhere. Unexpected event in Timberwolf. Mars the the dude. He's only level one. I don't know if that means he can forge me anything particularly useful. But you know what? Construct yourself a lab and figure out what you can do from there. Forty-three commanders are doing nothing, excuse me. Lazy, lazy commanders. I got a lot of them over here in Blobhemia, but I want them over in Gensokyo. Get over there. We got a we got a place to take, no matter the cost. Mm, I think I'll actually have you go all the way up there. I do really want uh, more to take on that uh, that throne. Thrones are everything, after all. And you can go to Highlands to pick up more of these 180 units. And you can not do a whole much. I suppose there's a guy always, guys over in Wormling. I could actually divert some of them over to Mermaid Island. Whilst these two make their way further north to put pressure there. Or just head in this direction. Yeah, actually, I prefer that. Get over here. Good. We got the Rio de Janeiro force. Yeah, take their capital, get rid of it once and for all. My poor, my poor um, prophet. Holy smokes, he's dying. I think he should stop joining in these fights. He's very fragile. The consoles do the same job better. Tell you what, the console's gonna follow up behind you when Orbulon dies, if Orbulon dies, and they could, they could die to a single shot in a battle, then we'll have Link do the part of buffing up the army. And Gobi's Valley's right there. Da -da -da -da. You have a lightning rod with death and air one with death and air and one gem, you can make corpse men. Then again, you still have the problem needing at least one rank in air to do it. With Rod, it's plus three summoned. Ah. Nah, I don't think it's worth going out of the way for at this point. Okay, could I have you move some units around? I'll get you over to Aberdeen if nothing. Nah, just research. Construction six might get me something, although I don't know what. More tribunes, which I'd rather have over here. Yeah, I 
got some tribunes just lying around here who could definitely be used to ferry around armies. Leaving you undefended, but that's okay. I watched my friend play this game a bunch, and I thought the end game gems and research, you can just cast nuke tier gobels all the time. Normally, yes, but my research in the Magical Pass has been terrible because my early game was spent summoning rather than. or rather, summoning, sight searching, attacking, just not researching. And the sooner you start researching, the more it snowballs. Right! Naba has actually declared war upon me, so I'm now at war with truly everybody. So there's not going to be any free lunch for me. That's nothing. That is also nothing. We have managed to find a Garden of Bones, so that's another another little bit of death for me. Death is always welcome. Right, Japan. So we are getting attacked in Japan then. Don't we only have one consul here? No, I actually put an army here. Yeesh. Obsidian swords are magical. Our ethereal is useless against you guys. Is that their god? This is not a good fight for me. It's the opposite of a good fight for me, but somehow we're winning. Let's see, they're ethereal, well defended, but low protection god. Kill their god. No, don't let their god escape. Admittedly, we did wound them. They're limp now. But limp means I might be able to catch up with them. Come on. Catch the god, kill the god. Limp reduced their combat speed down from 16 to 8, and we are combat speed 14, so we can't- YES! Very dead god. Say goodbye to your precious bless. Which you didn't really seem to have much of anyway. You killed our god! You declared war on me! And then immediately attacked. And there was another fight in Japan, they're not giving up, are they? A poor weakened unit- oh god. That's a, a hell of a lot of blessing my ghosts away. There we go. We forced her out barely, but my army just disappeared. Oh, oh god. Scary stuff. Very scary. Uh, Rio, we win. The enemy capital. Easy as easy gets. Tiernog, consuls have it. Tiernog, consuls bought it. What happened to them? They have weaknesses. I'm just wondering if they got exploited. So they're sending... Ah, right, they've got our friend the air elemental back again. See, it's times like this that you go, okay, well, we've had a good run with our consoles. Either we fluff them up to deal with a new threat, or we just have something else we can throw in. If I'd had them backed up with loads of skelly spamming mages, then this wouldn't be a problem. But as it is, yet yeah, there we go. We have no, we have no uh, strength against fire. So these fire snakes ravage us. In fact, elements in general ravage them. Too bad for them. Over at the library, well, we just crushed them. Mori is fine. That is also fine. Polybridge got nuked by us. The enemy capital also nuked by us. The centurion fell, the consul did not. And their place is gone. And we killed their god, and then I might as well see it. I like how the screenshots of Dominion 6 look exactly the same. Yeah, I'm wondering exactly how it's going to be different. I've only heard some things that I think are very mm, surface level changes. Number f uh, Dominions 4 to 5 was pretty big with the simultaneous combat. Combat used to be turn based, you'd do all your moving around like you see here, but the enemy would be completely still and then they would move. It was very slow and honestly not very good. So who's the god? Oh, you are. An Archmage again? Got a lot of buffs going on, but not enough. Splat. Wow, that was tough. Don't want to have to deal with him again. I just got rooted out in the highlands. That's okay, we still have a fortress, so we don't particularly care. 
Right, I do worry about Malacca. I worry about my slow progress towards Gobi's Valley, and I also really worry about taking over Navara. Am I going to manage Navara? This isn't the biggest army I've ever seen. And again, I could easily HP route on this. Honestly, I'm not playing very well. I'm just kind of bludgeoning my way through everything at this point. Hoping that what I have now is good enough to keep me going. Right. Huh, could have sworn I had Okinawa. Get moving on that. Yeah, see all my ghosts are getting a bit exhausted because I'm... I'm really lacking in moving them up. Because let's be honest, it's, uh, it's kind of a pain to do. Let's get you up and over there regardless though. You get to research. I think I have somewhere in the region of plenty of frost brands now. And if you could kindly keep the consoles coming, they're still rather nice to have. For what it's worth, I am using both Dominions 4 and Dominions 5 music and all of this. I should get over there. Uh, you were brought over here to bring as many of these Aberdonians into the fight as we can. I think I moved you over here to grab units out of the Highlands, because there's a billion of them. This came at a very uh, unpleasant time. There we go. First off, break the siege and then move on over. 36 commanders to care about. Damn free spawn. Damn you, Zingus. Why the hell did you choose Lemuria? Ah, okay. It's high time Skyrim was put under a bit of pressure. So I've been ignoring it a lot. But I'm also ignoring Japan. Oh yeah, I got cleared out of Tirnog, didn't I? Well, Japan is what I need, so I guess we're moving on over there. Yeah, I got pushed out pretty hard, but I do want Japan, so get over there. I thought LA Airmore would be cool! I even told you about this! I think I did, at least. Uh, okay, okay. Don't want to sound like I'm uh, too glum about it all. It was pretty cool. Pretty cool until we got to this point where it's just more... More units than sense. Right. Gobi's Valley's right there. We've got Lilac System, we've got More. Then again, I've never been best at the cleanup in this game, have I? Right. Could, would, and maybe should just smother you. Actually, I reckon this is something that you two can take care of. I'll send Krumer in there. Can Toga Boy get there? No. In that case, the Mori folks just wait there. And all of you move into Thornton Hall. And then we'll just clear that little pocket out. Right. Now, what can you do to help me? You can make these for shock resistance. I really love Dancing Trident. I've got a suspiciously large amount of air gems as well. I will quill... Shock resistance 25. Yes. Yes, that would pretty much remove the nasty threat that we've been having. Alright. It's not great on protection, but hey, I'll take it. I don't have a spare hammer for you, do I? I think I care a bit more about air gems than I do... Uh, not air gems at this point. So there we go. Get me some of those. If this big attack fails, then I will send in a couple of consoles. Hey, look, there they are. And they will finish the fight for us. Does the game have a turn limit? Nope, only the battles do. Alright, Baby and Jimmy Blanca are fine over in Train Valley. Why don't you take back Scrubland and Tomb of the Lost Queen? Oh, because you don't connect to Tomb of the Lost Queen. In that case... In that case... Yeah, 
I want more. I want more of them at, uh, helping out around here. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm I don't like you being on your own, especially since Inva's bringing in some uh, nasty elements for us. Go and help out with Skyrim. So much to care about. Too much to care about. Move on. Seems like a one game, such disrespect from opponents not surrendering. Uh, this would be easier if I had good spells researched. But yeah, note to self, not playing free spawn nations again. Right, made it on the construction, alteration, thaumaturgy. Okinawa was one, Highlands was one, Skyrim. Yeah, I wanted to give Skyrim a run for its money, and we certainly did. Bullworth going down as well, but there is something to besiege. Previous own province. Ah, this was Ninja Province, not their capital, but down it goes. Double attack in Thornton Hall, won by a horticulturist. Yeah, these midgets can actually be quite good. Some spells depend on the size of your unit, and they could be cheaper if they're small. Things like Twiceborn and Transform. And to chunk it good. We're winning a lot more than we're losing then, so we're A-OK. -okay. And now we should be able to put uh, Nazca to sword. Storm that. Banjo, continue pushing forward. Ryu and champion LA. No, LA, I don't know what it is though. Continue that siege. All of you are going up there, but I kind of wish there were other places for you to go. Yeah, actually, you can go all the way up to Installation 4. Good. 45 commanders to worry about. Okay, okay. All right, Bed Chamberlain Wilhelm. The Ryokan Hay is probably not a good place, so you go and join up with everybody else. The Pips of Luigi Mansion. Actually, do we have anywhere that's breached? Japan is only lightly damaged, Ugh. but Icon of Sin is back. Icon of Sin can get his copper plate and both of his uh, frost brands, and who knows, maybe he can take care of Navarre. Anything's possible, right? This doesn't even have a console to help out, does it? I could really do with a console to... Ah, you guys are coming to help out. There we go. And while we're at it, let's make sure that Gensokyo has a lab, just in case I need to switch some items out. You get searching there. Okay, okay. Right, Thornton Hall was ours, no problem. Ophiria, Tuchanka, Japan. Yeah, I think I will cleave my way over in this direction. But I did want to take out the Lilac system, though. Hmm. Yeah, alright. Curb stop the Lilac system. We're just keeping this under pretty much permanent siege, so it can't do anything to us. But I wonder if Goka could do that alone. I want you to go and help out Japan. This is good to see. Tirnog is fighting Nba. Take some, uh, take some pressure off of me. Continue on with Skyrim. We've got all these people hanging around in Munich doing a whole lot of not much. We'll have them help out with Skyrim as well, and then they can jump from Skyrim to Japan. How's this looking? Not yet good enough, but if we just get a few more of you, then surely this will be okay. We lifted the siege, and now you guys can get over there in one turn, two turns, and then we go for Malacca. And we go for you, and we go for you shortly, and then hopefully with that, we have everything we need to claim our victory. There's a lot of people doing not much, but at this point I want to steam ahead because my god, my when I close my eyes I just see thousands of ghosts. Try out gin, they can be pretty spicy. I've never tried gin or naba, but I mostly want to play with the random nations that have been generated by the random nation generator. It's been a very entertaining Friday, thank you, says Overlight. I can't believe it's been the full Friday, it's already Nine hours since I started. Also, why is there a fight that's lasting a hundred and le lots of turns? 
worried. Right, let's see. Best Marvin was <laughs> tried and failed to be assassinated. M and M and M and M. Right, the Lilac system fell. Very much fell. Osea went down to our consoles. Installation 4 went down to our consoles. Almita went down to just one console. Great. Okay, thank god. I was really worried we were going to lose our siege on Japan there, since I do need Japan to win the game. But uh, now we can see Faisha giving us a proper go. Let's view the battle. Abyssia is a great nation for being very aggressive with. And you have to be aggressive because fire counters are everywhere. Do they have sacreds around here? Oh, if they're using sacreds, they're pretty hidden from me. Hmm. Well, not a problem. Because their units are so crap, our ghosts are... Ooh, crikey, running away is what they're doing. Still made it, though, but we definitely need backup over in Japan. And we failed to take the capital here. Oh, Jesus, what were they using? Probably a lot of air on me. Scary stuff, let's view that battle. That's what I get for being too sloppy. False warriors and skeleton spam. Not to mention an almost unkillable monolith here. Fly, you fool, I don't want to lose my hero. Oh, I've lost my hero. This, I reckon, is the battle that took a hundred turns then. Because this guy, he's pretty hard to kill. Incredibly hard to kill. But he's going to die to the turn timer. Or a forced retreat. But yeah, if you've ever, if you've ever wondered just how many skeletons you can have... The answer is yes. This is the real good luck I'm behind 7,000 skeletons game. And there we go. They were eventually uh, retreating as well, but so too were we. So yeah, we got blasted there. We, did, we barely made a dent in them. Actually, not true. I reckon if we had a second shot at them, we would uh, we'd take them out. And the siege is continuing because I have you that I moved in here. But that really scattered my armies. Nonetheless, I'm going to keep the pressure on them. Actually, I reckon there's no need for me to actually take this fortress. I need to take Gobi's Valley. So I am going to have a bunch of you maintain this. Oh, nice, my hero survived. He got a bit banged up, but he did survive. Even my pretender is still alive. Wow, okay. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push forward towards Gobi's Valley with the remnants of my army, and it absolutely is remnants by this point. Just to keep them pinned in there and hope that they don't break out. On top of that, Bullworth Town's doing fine, so Marvin Lackey can help out. And look at that, I'm right next to Gobi's Valley. We take that, we take Japan, which is annoyingly not quite close to falling. You know what, screw Skyrim. Skyrim can be held by Bess Marvin and Arbiter's Grounds alone. You guys go and help out with Japan. Japan falls, we take it. Gobi's Valley falls, we take it. And you guys get over to Mermaid Island. And then maybe we take Malacca, I don't know. If these attacks fail, then that's going to grind this out for a wee while longer yet. Icon of Sin is on the move straight to Gensokyo. And you guys are short some frost brands and copper plates, I would dare to say. Why don't we just go with this? I mean, maybe this will work. And if it fails, then Icon of Sin can clean up the pieces. Yeah, let's do it. We're having Navara. So... I'm not going to script my 
my mages. They can just do whatever they feel like. You guys are going to do your usual. But then I want you to run in around the sides. Very high chance this is going to fail in a lot of ways. But what if it doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> Did you think of that? I didn't. I'm still waiting for this. It's Minette as well. This Minette spawn has done nothing but cost me money. And I haven't even gone around to kill you yet. Still can't cross this bridge and throw you into Navarre, but it's a little late for that. Uh, research queue is empty. In that case, get some conjuration going. Get researching, get research. Yeah, I've, I've really lagged behind in uh, organizing my units. But this has been a very valuable lesson for me. Jake doesn't like free spawn. I do, however, have the ability to forge an arm for my pretender so he can hold something. Or is there anything else that would be particularly useful? I love Armor of Night, but couldn't I... Oh, I don't know what level you need to summon the Troll King Court. Conjuration, Earth, Troll King Court is six. Well, if I get six, I'd actually like you to do that. I like Troll King Court. It's very expensive, both in gems and in uh, the upkeep for the trolls. But it's a nice way to get a an Earth 3 guy that you can equip with goodies, boots, and other things. That's only 19 for you. We could bring yet more, including our lictors. Get over there. Okay, you guys are holding out. Why are you two just standing here in installation, though? There's a Gobi Valley to take. Kind of makes me feel like I want Banjo to try his luck in Canada. Alright, sod it. Let's go for it. Maybe we'll have this done in three turns. Maybe it'll take 23 turns. Like I said, my enemies are getting stronger because their research is doubtlessly going fine. Good, uh, fun fact, if you Google good luck and behind 7,000 skeletons, the first suggested search and result are Dominions related. Damn right. Winning an Asiya, Rocket Racer, Reviving another. Oh, I've not been checking out my consoles here. Look at that, i got one, two, three, four, five of them hanging around here. I'm not sure I have enough frost bands for them all. Bird Not Rex is back. And there we go. I originally didn't want to give them two because it if you take multiple weapons and you're not ambidextrous, it actually lowers your attack seal, but go, go figure, Mordkalf is ambidextrous. Well, you're not. But it's funny, it doesn't... Uh, doesn't look like it's reducing. Ah, there we go. You have attack skill 19, but this is being dropped to 18 because of your... Because uh, it takes the total length of all your ambidextrous weapons and reduces it from the attack. But still, 18 attack is great. With Bloodlust, it becomes 24, and with the other perks, it still becomes ungodly high. So where am I going to throw you get? Well, actually, let's see how the turn went first. Navara. What does Navara think of my ghost army? It probably thinks ha 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 ha, but let's just see how it goes. Here comes the uh, the lightning. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Remember, they can only cast lightning ten times each. So hold, my skeletal warriors. Oh, my ghostly warriors. Oh yeah, there's lightning as well, isn't there? Lightning from the skies. Good, they're routing. Spectral warriors have gotten close. Right, oh god, the monolith decided to spawn his favorite, the Earth Elemental. In his own uh, in his own image, but fortunately he can't summon more. He doesn't have the gems for it. Elemental's going down. His entourage of giant what's that? Enko soldiers. Enkio? Enkidu? Dunno. Big buggers. With big protection, no less, but they're still going down. Question is, can we take care of the- Look, here we go! Who crossed the gap? 
We've got Toilet Genie back for revenge with his double frost brands, and he has frozen the Watchers despite their 20 protection. Okay, I love to see it. But this guy's a problem. Look at that. Ethereal, 34 protection, 200 hit points. Thank God he didn't cast regeneration on himself. But he does have Astral Shield, and that can be a real pain to get through. Alright, the Watchers have run out of ammunition, and now we can just pluck away at them. They have no way of hurting me now. Well, not that I'm aware of. The problem is I might not have a, I might not have a way to hurt this guy. Oh god, what? What is gifts from heaven? We're slowly chipping our way through the Watchers, and we are not chipping our way through uh, Biter from Brazil. Every, every hit lands, because he only has defense skill zero. It's just getting through 34 protection with our crummy 13 attack spears. Yeah. He won, actually. On the plus side, it's just him now. Well, maybe not. I've got my, I've got my undead army that I'm uh, bringing in, but... This ain't, this ain't gonna last. We are definitely routing out. Oh, whoa, whoa, where'd he go? He just exploded. I missed that. Oh, damn, now we gotta watch it again. It'd be amazing if he actually hit himself with his own uh, rocks from the sky. That Gifts from Heaven spell is so cool. Well, look at that. He's getting all his zero damage in, but he just got struck. Well, he just struck himself. Here we go. Monolith hit Monolith with... Gifts from Heaven for 114 damage. And now he's trying to retreat. I don't think that's making it much easier to, for us to kill him. He's definitely killing himself with Gifts from Heaven. Nothing we're doing is- There we go! <laughs> what a nice gift! Right, well, who would have known if you just bring the entire ghostly army, you can spook a rock into killing itself. But hey, that means we actually got Navara. And Toilet Genie lives to tell the tale. And a huge amount of my, well, the army that survived ran away, but ran away to safety. Okay, Toilet Genie, claim that Throne of Ascension. It is the Throne of Elementals. Four gems, evocation bonus. Nice place to sit up and do evocation uh, rituals, although I don't know what what evocation you'd really do. Well, I don't know. Let's celebrate by building a lab on top of it. We'll have you two come over because I don't I don't think there's anything else I'd need you guys to do for a while. Uh, it's getting too cocky. Let's move you back just in case. Let's get you all the way north, all the way. Right on top of that, Canada went down. Ryokan He went down. So yeah, there's not much left of these guys either. They got Bullworth. They got the capital. Wait, I thought I took Canada. Did I read that wrong? Oh, we failed to take Canada. But he didn't die. I just assumed he didn't die. We took it. So what's your problem? Can't believe Banjo was unable to take care of Canada himself. Oh, well, I see the problem now. They're bringing in loads more units than we can handle, and the undead are not weak to my cold sword. So yeah, they, they timed us out there. Right, breached. Bullworth is breached if I wanted to take it, and you know what? I think I will. But the rest of us, and I mean all of us, are going over to Gobi's Valley now to take it. Gobi's Valley is... Let's see, 12 points needed. I got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 for elements. 9, 10 within our throne, and another 3 if I can manage to take Malacca. I might not manage to take Malacca, 
because they are using fire, which I have no real defense against. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm not going to be too lazy about setting up guards for my people. Enough bodyguards might just keep my mages alive long enough. Get everybody else on here that I can. Da -da 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 -da. Shahu Dun, help me out here. Right, now when we go in here, I don't particularly care what many of the people are doing. They can just cast spells. But one person matters a lot. And that person's name is Dillis. Dillis, I specifically need you to. I forgot to give you a load of death gems. Pants, and I forgot to build a. Forgot to build a fort here as well. Uh, not a fort, a lab. Do I hold off for a turn? I do. I need you to construct a lab, pretty please. While we're at it, why don't you make a temple? Bummer. Okay, right. We'll take care of this next turn. It does give me an opportunity to bring in more reinforcements, but nah. I mean, if this can't handle it, then Malak, I can keep its throne. Right, Banjo might not have been able to do it, but I bet Banjo, Baby, and Ryu could do it. There we go. I don't really think I need more copper thingamajiggers out of you. Don't know what I'd have you make, though. Not a Scooby. Actually, the Star of Thraldom could be really nice with false, uh, false fetters. But I don't think it's of any new, uh, any real use, so just get the research going. 37 commanders doing nothing. Well, I'm vaguely caught. Oh, right, Japan needs to actually be stormed, doesn't it? I hope I can take Japan. If Japan actually resists me, then that's a problem, and I don't have the biggest of armies here. Alright, I don't want to overthink things. Just go for it. Nah, both of my elemental armors got destroyed. Well, I lost them in the battle against the Independents. Because 10 shock resistance is not enough against a fairly large amount of Watchers, it seems. Don't you have water access and a ton of water mages? Maybe not a ton, but I have it. Right. Mori was fine. Rokahe was fine. Gobi's Valley, excellent. Because I need this one taken down. And good, I killed lots of them. I didn't want the doll. Oh, that's the province defense. But they still didn't have much to throw at me. So hopefully it's immediately opened up for me. It is not, but I'm sure it is crumbling apart. Sure enough for me to send you over there and give Bullworth its protection. There we go. Then this will go down very soon. And Japan. Yeah, good. We're able to fend off counterattacks on Japan. And I assaulted Japan. I hope I win, because I really want to secure that throne. Oh yeah, with a tiny army like that. Spawn it. Right, very important for me to take this. The throne of... well, maybe not very important, but I'm taking it anyway. Uh, claim the throne of ascension. Give ourselves a lot of defense. And the rest of you... Uh, why don't you just patrol the place? I don't want to lose this one. You've got that taken care of, which is very cool. Keep Nazca under siege. Amity Airfield, can you... What a leap. Can't get over just how far these guys can go. Right, now, Dillis. This time, I'm going to remember to give you your death gems. In fact, why, why, why be half measure? Take all the death gems you could ever possibly want and move on in. Dillis here is going to specifically cast Rigor Mortis. That's going to give uh, fatigue damage to all of my enemies and none of me. On top of that, is there anything else you might want to do? Not really, just cast, cast as much as you want. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yep, believe. I would love to give him a bit more... Defend. Ooh, ooh, this is actually quite good. Forget that, I'm going to give you this. This gives fire resistance, which could save your bacon. On top of that, strength, dark vision, blood spell. Nah, you don't need any of that. Alright, best of luck. So 
So we take that, we take that, and honestly that should be game, set, and match. Can't imagine why it wouldn't be. Are we claiming this one? Come on, Toilet Genie, you're meant to... Oh, I guess we've already claimed the bar, have we? Yeah, claim throne. 12 points needed. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ooh, closer than I thought. Oh, but I don't think I was counting inner throne, was I? Right, just go for it. 40 commanders doing nothing. This is how blasé we can be. Drown the monolith in bodies until it accidentally kills itself. The true Ellie Eremor strats. And that's what we are. We are late age Eremor, aren't we? Known as Lemuria. Don't like the don't like the look of having a battle taking a hundred turns again. We defeat them in Japan, but what I'm really interested in is uh oh, uh oh, I don't think we won in Malacca. We absolutely did not win in Malacca. If we had won, there wouldn't have been a follow up attack by Nabar. We need fire resistance. Hang on, it looks like we're doing well though. Oh no, routed. But look, there's their there's their serpent. Who is routing? Oh, but they are they're fatigued out, aren't they? Yeah, so. This is rigor mortis giving everybody extra fatigue. But we're... yeah, we're unable to hurt you. You've got awe, you've got fire shield. You are decaying, but you can live to thousands of years of age. Oh, whoa, look how it turned around and came back for more. Oh god, it's you. Why are you not casting spells? You're gonna kill yourself, and you kill yourself. I can't believe it's still alive. I would have won if it actually had the fatigue to run away. But this is the battle that took hundreds of turns. Oh, I see the problem now. That thing has 10% regeneration. So it's regaining 16 health per turn. Ah. Well, Naba at least can kill the thing, I'm sure. And then we just need to go in and kill Naba. Oh, actually, you're still alive. Look at you. But for some reason, you're fatigued enormously. Oh, you're getting fatigued by the heat. But you resist the heat. So you're probably just going to get up and run away soon. Why are you not running? You're going to die. You're going to time... Okay, thank God. Run away. Run away while the going is good. So it's got a chest wound. That's no big deal. But I'm pretty sure Nabar comes in and kills it now. So we weren't the only ones planning that attack. Nabar came in as well. And if Nabar can get in without dying... Come on, just slice the thing to death. Six, uh, 15 protection is a fair bit, but you should be able to... Jesus. Can nothing kill the Solar Serpent? Well, maybe you can't. No, no you cannot. But it's just the Solar Serpent now. And it's not like my entire army went uh, the way of the dodo there. I could come back for another round, but I need a better way to kill the thing. Why do I not have any consoles here to help out? They would certainly help. Mm hmm. Mind hunt him. Yeah, that's exactly what the Dillis can do. Um, get rid of that. Give yourself some Astral Pearls instead. Just get straight back in there. And then, instead of Rigor Mortis, because we don't really need that here, it's just causing him to fatigue out, I want you to do... Magic Jewel only works against Astral Mages, doesn't it? There we go, Mind Burn. 
armor negating 12 plus that might not be enough though mind hunt is a ritual sp oh i'm looking at not looking at cast specific spells here um I wonder, I wonder. Yeah, the snake's not an astral snake, it's a fire snake. But I reckon with enough mind burning I could take it out. I can give it a go at least. Worst case scenario, I just you know, lose all of these guys, I suppose. <clears throat> I could hold off on sending these in. You know what, I could also just wait for these guys to take it over. They're bound to do it. And then I come in and have a much easier time destroying them. And what I should do during this time is actually get my skeletal armies back up and operational. And I should also make sure that I'm actually bringing over some of you guys to help out. It's taken too many turns, though. Gobi's Valley needs to go down, too. As long as I de uh, defend the thrones that I do have, I will be A-OK. -okay. Your cheap water mages could spam Frozen Heart. Yeah, maybe I should be moving more towards this. Though, the, God, the Solar Serpent just keeps winning there. Although, Naba didn't send much there, did they? Still sending Hawks at me, but this is just uh, pathetic flailings of a defeated enemy. Yeah, here you guys are. Make your way up, see if Naba can handle that. This place is breached. They'll go and storm the castle. Anybody else I can just throw over there. Actually, I'm pretty confident that um, that you guys can handle this. Victory is at hand. <laughs> just as well, it's been almost 10 hours. Dominion's 5 can take some time, especially when you have to fight uh, three groups of two. Phew. Alright, Gobi's Valley, great, we took it. That's exactly what I was looking for. Might as well see that. So it looks like they had more units than I'd imagined. Ah, they're just big, chunky units. Nothing we can't handle, although they are doing a bit of skelly spam. It's not enough. Through we go. Hang on, hang on, I, I captured you. We actually managed to convert Yuna, the something priest, and now we've got our air death. You know what? I've been I've been underestimating this. We could do a whole lot of stealing enemy units. Yeah, see I like that. If you just really focus them down, 13 magic resistance wasn't able to, to do us in. Mummify, hmm? This unit will be mummified and live again when it dies, regardless of dominion, but not if it dies on another plane you okay. But yeah, look at that air. Air, double death, and uh Earth, and I steal his gems, and his items if he had any, but he does not. Pretty awesome. Anyway, it doesn't matter much at this point. We have grabbed the Inner Throne, and Orbulon, who is miraculously still alive, is going to be the one to claim that. The rest of us can just hold on to it, give it a whole lot of defense. And then for the love of all that is good, maybe you guys can go and take on the uh, the solar thingamajigger. The fire will hurt, yes, but it can't hurt all of you, and the damage you're going to do is going to be far more than it does to you. And then we'll follow up by having the rest come in. I'm confident this will do it. Our watery sword will do a ton to fiery snake. I'm pretty confident this will be fine. Uh, okay, we weren't the first. They tried to take on the Solar Serpent, but now we try the Solar Serpent. Oh, wrong one, that's Mori Malaka. Mori and Malaka couldn't be further from each other. So, who's gonna win five of the greatest lemur consoles of not Rome? Or one thick snake with fire shield? A horror marked one at that. Oh well, give it enough time, you'll kill yourself. So in they go. Fire Elementals are a good counter to us, but we are very strong, so away it goes. Very strong, away it goes, and now the snake. The snake's the snake only has Venomous Fangs, it doesn't even actually have a fire attack except for its magic. Although it's seven fire, I wouldn't be surprised if it has some amazing magic. 
It also doesn't have Heat Aura, thank god. Now, you completely failed to hit it, despite uh, your amazing attack skill. In fact, the fangs on the serpent are... S wait, how the hell did you get... Ah, okay. I thought the snake repelled us, but no, we repelled the snake. Good. That, with that attack skill, we should be able to repel anything it does. But... There we go. We got one attack in. Unfortunately, see that fire shield it has. It's causing us to do damage, so we need to do enough damage that fire shield doesn't kill us. So get in, folks, and don't kill yourselves. Perfect. See? Everything has a counter. The counters are usually cheaper than the thing itself. God knows how much that monster would cost. Right, this is it. The final one. Just move freaking everybody in to save it. You claim the Throne of Ascension. And just in case... I'm going to make a back of it, back up of this in case I ever want to continue playing it. Hold your horses there. Um... Where's my save game? What's it called? Lemuria Disciple Screen. I'm just making a save right here if, for whatever reason, I want to load it up and continue playing. Then I just have to not claim that Throne of Ascension and everything will be okay. And are you claiming it? Are you winning, son? Yes, you are. So yeah, Frostband, very powerful. The damage it does is just pure magical, so uh, it's not even like cold resistance will save you from the the swinging of the sword. So there we go, right? I, I reckon for the past 15 turns I've been phoning it in and just trying to get to the uh, victory. But we got it. We managed to grab ourselves more than three, well, three quarters of the ascension. But look at that, we own, we own pretty much all of this. All we would have to do is crush this. That kind of cleanup is seldom fun, but that's why we have it set to the ascension points. Kind of a two-trick pony here. Huge amounts of uh, spectral spammy chaff and our, uh, our console thugs. Now, I do like those console thugs. It just took a long time for them to come online. They would have come online a lot earlier if I'd set my Pretender God to be uh, not imprisoned, but instead dormant. I would have saved myself almost two years. However, that, that would have cost me 200 points of Pretender creation, which would have made all the blessing and that weaker. But I honestly could have dropped awe. And losing that alone still would have had this come online and be amazing. I don't think all is necessary for these guys. Even if a few things get through and kill them, they're immortal. So yeah, if I were to roll back the clock and do this again, I would have dropped all. But if I were to do that, I'd do a completely different build. Wonderful thing about this game is that there is really no end to the amount of builds that you can do. Fantastic. Right, can we end this turn as well? And then we can view the history of the map. So, there we go. This is us starting out here, and here are our foes. There, there, and there. Very surprised nobody spawned here. Would have been a pain for us, though. We've been attacked from all angles. Being attacked just from two sets of two was bad enough. Any thoughts on trying to make some awful random build work? I'm not going to just roll with a random build, but I am going to use randomly created nations. There we go. We were... We started getting our temples and our forts up really early, so we have a very strong dominion. I kind of don't see this dominion, but it is there. And Ba is pretty safe, and Ba actually had a great spawn location. They really only had to defend Modero and Granada, and they would have had all of this. Um, okay, maybe that's not a lot of space for two people to share, but it's a lot of security. And if they had fancied it, they could have just fought me on the water, but it's an AI, not a human. So, here's about the point where I was pushing in against my foes. We did it. Oh, I really like this arcing around from the south with the ghosts to punch up from the bottom whilst I pierced into the labor pit. And then that was the end of Mictalan right there. All gone. Extinguished. Yeah, pretty sweet. The wrong hold in the northeast corner. <laughs> yeah, that is very wrong. Oh, uh, Naba actually took that. Was it Nabah? No. Five Fices. Whatever they're called. It wasn't me that took it, but there's victory. Here's the extent of our god-awful dominion, which again kills everybody and just gives me practically nothing inside the area. 
But that's okay, our economy was fine. Funnily enough, not because of luck skills. Luck skills was meant to be my economy, but it really didn't pull through. What pulled through was uh, constantly taking land outside of my dominion, which was still able to generate money. And that money is used for infrastructure, and that infrastructure prints out free spectral spam for me. So, jolly good. Let's look at those score graphs. In terms of provinces, we just crushed everybody. Uh, we're the purple one here. In terms of forts, we better have crushed everyone. I was placing forts everywhere I could. Our income, now this is an interesting one. Pretty crap because of our scales. And then we pushed ahead for provinces. We grabbed them and we kept grabbing. But after a while, the rate at which we grabbed provinces went down and the provinces we did have became really crappy. But then when we started conquering wholesale, it went up again and then down again. This would eventually trend down to almost nothing because everybody in the world would die. No people, no income. Then you have to use gems and mines for income. Speaking of gems, oh man, all that site searching felt really thankless because I was only really doing it with three units, but we did eventually get the gems. The other people weren't expanding enough to get it, it seems. In terms of research, we were pitiful. We were bottom dollar for the whole game until, let's see, we, we eliminated Mictalan, and then these guys stalled out probably because I was kicking their ass. But yeah, three nations were ahead of us in research. This this game really didn't show off the best of dominions. Best of dominions is when you get your awesome spells out. Uh, out. So you have army versus army, but you're winning because you're the one doing much cleverer spells. That, uh, that brings me joy, and we will get to that. I didn't even get to skelly spam that much. Or at all, really. Our dominion was the best because we were focusing on building up forts and temples. Our army size was huge, but this is just because of our free army being printed out constantly. And when it came to ascension points, we actually weren't in the lead until we started kicking out Nazca. And then when we stole Nazca's points, there we go. Just catapulted ourselves to the end. So, whoo! What a run! Oh, Christ, the whole game closes, doesn't it? Can I bring it back up? Yes, but in the wrong... Uh, game? For some reason it doesn't think that's the same game. There we go. So, uh, at least once a week I'm going to play another round of Dominions, but I'm probably not going to use any or many of the existing vanilla nations. I'm going to turn the volume down a bit for this. We didn't get to see much of them here because it was mostly vanillas, but we have 30 randomly created nations right here. Starting from Ballberg down to Raktep, we've got 30 random nations. Why don't we turn to chat here? Let's just do a finger in the wind here. Oh, wait, there's way too many to look at. I mean, and I can't give you a... Oh, what's, any, what, what's a good way to decide which of these to do? I mean, if I just choose, I'm going to choose what I think is coolest, and that's not going to force me to think much. Singus, you already chose the last one. You're not getting to choose again. <laughs> you get one choice. Uh, Rested Pandy wants 18th, 18th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Zenkin, Hollows of Thunder. They got air, water, astral, and blood. They're using, ooh, really nice Atlantean slaves with meteorite armor. God, that's good. They got people mounted on elk. Wow, they got the Shambler Champions. Uh, these guys are pretty fantastic. And since they're slave, they're really cheap to upkeep. Who's their... They got Lightning Striking, Yari Holding, Air Shielded Sacreds that are quite affordable. Huh, that does look good. Ah, the wheel! The wheel doesn't sound like a bad idea. You know what? That's a Fantastic idea. It makes it a lot easier. There are 30 of them, so I'm just going to put 1 to 30 on the wheel and roll with that. Uh, hold that thought. Let me grab Wheel of Names. Let me very quickly have a way to get the numbers 1 to 30. 1, 2, 3. Autocomplete all the way down. 30. Grab that. 
Grab my wheel. Shove him in. Bring him up here. Hopefully Don 5 Inspector will work with this. Hey, there we go. That looks very ugly, but just bear with it. So let's random them around. And spin it. Whatever it lands on its own will do. For the next run, at least. It's number... 8, it seems. Which one is number 8? I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Alright, thank you, Inspector, aka Wheel. Uh, the eighth one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Skyons of the Mountain Mages, Ton Colomark. Oh dear lord, <laughs> okay. We got Holbergs, Atlanteans, and we prefer Heat Scale 1. Uh, we've got midgets here, absolute midgets with blowpipes, so I can't think of many more useless units than this, although they do have a li little bit of protection. This is trample fuel, I guess they're stealthy. Uh, similar ones, this one looks alright with, with the obsidian spear, but with damage like that, why even bother? They got shamblers with obsidian blades, those magical weapons could come in handy, but that's quite expensive for what they are. Um... Okay, let's see, we've got a midget on a boar. The boar can gore, and he's wielding a hatchet and a lance that can be used once. Surprising defense skill, 18. Yeah, this could actually be a pretty good... Um, oh wait, how much of that is the shield? Four of that is the shield, so that's actually defense skill 14. I don't trust that shield to defend too much, although 16 on... Oh, okay. Yeah, those guys have problems. Uh, they've also got midgets on top of overgrown ants, and these are my sacred units. Sacred squishy bugs. They're very resistant. Oh, not very. They've only got three resistance. Ugh. They can sting for two damage. They can hatchet for ten and bronze lance for eleven. This is just not heavy hitting, but maybe you can make a build, build around it. Uh, God, are those our only sacreds? We've got flying... What the hell is that? Flying ozolots. Club swords, claws, and bites. Three attacks on size three, though. Low hit points, tons of recruitment points. Oh, that's scary. Mm, another ocelot, this one using a spear instead of a club. Uh, we've got sacred midgets riding crocodiles. Again, only eight hit points. Very nice defense skill, though. And you have awe by default. And look at that, four attacks. One of them you can only use once, but... With enough fluffing, this could actually be useful. What was the creator? This is random. Uh, these units, this nation, the magic paths, it's all random. Are the models also random, or do they exist in-game? It's mixing together... Uh, models from in-game. So there, there are these midgets in the game. What are they called again? I don't know. Highland Champions or whatever. Uh, these exist in the game. And crocodiles exist in the game. And these weapon and uh, armor things exist in the game. So it's just mulching them together into these units. This guy is interesting. That's a scary recruitment co uh, point cost. But with good scales I could overcome that. Those hit points are a disaster. They'd be very easy to kill with a lot of ways, but maybe we could make something work with them. Uh, although if the rider dies, I end up with a crocodile. I don't know if the crocodile is sacred or if it keeps the bless. I'd have to check that out. Uh, we've got more flying ocelots. What makes these ones different? These ones are clad in leather. These ones are clad in furs. Anyone able to spot the difference? Bite claw spear. Bite claw... Lance. Okay, bonus for first strike, but otherwise not as good as a spear. Mm, the first final one is sacred. Oh, hello! Sacred flying ocelots! Hmm. Strength of wielder is not added because you're actually blessing the rider, not the ocelot. Strength of the winter. 25 extra hit points in winter time. Hmm, now this we could do something with. Again, crappy protection, crappy hit points. But getting sacred flyers into the back row can be very good for completely destroying an enemy's mage core and commanders. And finally, I, I actually know this guy. Giant Holberg. Occasionally Holberg is 
born with an outrageous appetite. They starve, but should they manage to get more than their fair share and survive, they never stop growing. This guy eats everything he walks over. He's not sacred. He also causes unrest. But this guy could trample and consume everything. I, what I wonder is if he gains health from swallowing what he swallows or not. Hmm. He doesn't cost resources, but he's quite expensive. Maybe with some fluffing. Like uh, giving him some kind of iron skin. Maybe even enlarging him in some way. But yeah, that's, <laughs> that's well and truly fat bastard. Whether or not we can do a build around him, I don't know. He's not our sacred, so we can't fluff him. But if we have nature access... Which we don't. We could have gift of reasoned him, but no. Right, what about our mage core and commander core? A uh, tiny, crappy, well, actually, surprisingly stealthy spy. That's actually really good for discovering what's going on in enemy provinces. Bit expensive what he is. Uh, standard 80 leadership ruler. Swamp survival and amphibian. That's worth noting. We actually have access to the waters and some pretty good watery units to do so with. Okay, the darts are going to be useless, but I, I could I could use a batch of these guys and I would take over the waters without too much problems. A non-sacred flying guy, but leadership 80. And flying with map move 30. Holy crap, our sacreds could fly around. Stealthily? Yeah, stealthily. Amazing for raiding. Okay, what about our mages? Uh, here is our incredibly cheap priest. This Acolyte is amazing. Stealthy, Priest, Sacred, uh, very small, very easy to do a lot of pre uh, preaching. Uh, here is a similar but better level 2 Priest. I'd want these guys if I'm getting skelly spammed. Mountain Scryer. Ooh, you're expensive, but uh, I can't think of many Water Earth cross paths. Can you teach... Can you hidden preach to spread dominion? Yes, if you are stealthy. And he is stealthy, so I could go into enemy dominion and preach. The problem is the AI always knows where you are, so they can write you out really easily. And they invest heavily in province defense, so it's a bit eh for that. You fight with a stick. Well, let's hope you don't do any fighting. Actually, that earth is kind of good for casting iron skin on you, because otherwise you have no protection. Uh, astral water... Blah. Fire water again, yeah, no. You got fortune teller, it's not often going to help because I'd probably go luck with these guys. You'd be my go to one, I think, Mountain Scryer. But you're pretty expensive for 11 research, that's kind of scary. Here we go. Our sacred crocodile riding 80 leadership leader. 80 leadership is a good cutoff because that allows you to do formations. And you're inspirational, so you actually boost the morale. What's the morale like? Pretty low, so the morale boost is actually quite welcome. Okay, okay. Expensive in gold, but not, a pot, not at all on resource. And one recruitment point for you, that's really good. You can only be recruited in the capital, though. And so can you, Mountain Harbinger. Sacred, so your upkeep is okay for what you are. Wow, okay. So this guy is either going to be three water, three earth... 3 Astral, or 2 Fire, with a 10% chance of getting a an additional one in something. 3 Water could be useful. Troll King Court, and then use that to expand into Water if need be. What's 3 Earth? Well, it's the other trolly things, but uh, Earth Boots. He can wear the boots. Earth Power to 5 for some good combat spells. Astral I'm never good at using, so mulet to that. Recruitment point four, though, so I wouldn't be cranking out a lot of him, though. That's pretty rough. Okay, honestly, I think the mages are quite weak. Which is a shame, because I really want to do a strong magical... Uh, I want to do strong magical stuff, but they're also really puny in battle. Bringing these guys into a fight is asking for trouble. Hmm. I wouldn't rely on getting Astral 4. No, me neither. The odds are way too low. So you'd need the one in four... Four chance of getting up to Astral 3, and then the additional 1 in 40 chance of getting that 4th Astral. So yeah, maybe if you recruit 100 of these you might get one, but let's not count on that. Yeah, I, I never ever rely on 10% chances of these, it's not worth gambling on. 
All right, interesting. I don't particularly want to make the uh, the unit yet, but let's have a quick look at what could be done here. Uh, so we could be using these guys with bite, tail sweep, and hatchet. The the problems are, okay, the defense skill is amazing. The protection is terrible, so evocations would destroy you. Ugh, man, it's hard to think how to fluff these up. Any bright ideas on what we could do to fluff up either? Our crocodile champions are three hitting, size three, length three quarter staff. You know, you can't... If we had larger on you, you'd be able to repel quite well with that, but with attack skill 12, I don't know. Also, you're quite weak, and strength would not be added to bite and claw. So what might be better is getting stuff that just your presence helps dealing with. Yeah, the crocodiles are capital only. Uh, actually, are all my sacreds capital only? Who was my other sacred? Yeah, all sacreds are capital only, so I have to choose ant, ocelot, or crocodile, or a mix of them, but... I'd rather suit my bless towards precisely one of them. They're all expensive on recruitment points, 45 for each of them. Honestly, out of all of them, I would prefer to have the ocelots. But it's also possible that we don't go for some special bless with them, because it's not like we don't have good troops overall. With uh, defense skill 18 and relatively low cost on these guys, they're not too sure. Oh, right, that one protection is a kind of a deal breaker. Anything would kill you. Uh... The non-sacred flying ocelots are still very expensive at 45 recruitment points. And very high upkeep. Oh, Jesus. What about you guys? I hate to say it, but my shamblers, my regular crummy shamblers are kind of the better go-to ones. I might not actually suit much of a bless for you guys. Uh, let's imagine... No, we don't have a good pick of gods here, do we? What extra... Access what I want. We've got water, earth, and astral. Funny. Oh, yeah, of course, earth. Mm. Gotta think what I'd want to do with these. We'd be pretty easily taking over the water between our shamblers and our water mages. Yeah, like everyone's got water on them. Hmm. Hard to see a good kind of weapons of sharpness and armoring. Yeah, man, we're, we're kind of squishy. We're kind of very squishy. One one thing's for sure, I don't need a lot of resources. Nothing is resource intensive here. So I would definitely drop down on sloth. All the way to minus 45? Maybe. I'd max out my order, though. Uh, heat 3 is a given. Growth 3 is amazing. Eh, misfortune or fortune, I could take it or leave it, but I think I'd want magic, given how expensive my mages are. Mm hmm It's so weird to have the basalt guy here. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It's a shame you're four recruitment points, because you'd be tempting to be our uh, go-to mage. But yeah, all these guys just being 11 recruitment point, uh, 11 research. I think I'd go with you just for... Oh, they're all the same price? Yeah, jeez. Yeah, our mage, our mage core actually kind of sucks in my opinion. I would go for Mountain Scryer. I don't think I want one Astral or really... Well, one Fire is... Uh, what kind of gems do we get? Earth, Water, Astral. With Earth Gems and an Earth Guy, I could get my three Earth Guy, and I could start pounding out magical items. Shame I don't have the Forge Guy as an option here. I lack nature really badly. It was kind of tempting to take the tree and go through nature. Through the god, at least. Oh, I lack wind access as well, which the idol of beasts would get me. Mm hmm. 
They're not very exciting. The water can spam acid bolts, I think. Hmm. I think I'd shy away from death for a bit. If I did have you and I had access to air and nature, is there anything cool I could do with that? Regeneration's kind of wasted on us because we've got tiny health pools anyway. All resistances, I'm not a big fan of. Way too expensive for only six resistance. Better to have magic giving you the resistance, in my opinion. Hmm. Yeah, I think I would go scales over a bless. These blesses seem weird. Yeah, I've got random blesses on. Bless modder. Some are awesome, some are just why. You know, commanders starting with Hall of Fame traits. I would have liked that in my last run. I'd take that over all, actually. Uh, quickness being Water Astral is rather nice, but I wouldn't want that in my Pretender because we already have Water Astral access. Uh, strength plus 8, 5 Earth, 3 Blood is amazing. Wouldn't help this guy, uh, these guys though because I don't think it would be added to our uh, Sacred Riders. Do you have sacred size one melee troops? No, we do not. Could do something amazing with fire weapons. I just, I really don't like the weapon buffs here. Because the, where is it? Where's fire weapon? Flaming weapon five. That's only five armor piercing damage. If you just have protection of, say, ten, you're largely ignoring that. It's, it's just not good. Lots of tiny little pokes that might get through, and you have to hit with the original hit first for it to actually proc. So yeah, not a big fan of those. If you get a Beast Commanders here, that would be thematic for Hobbits. Yeah, it would also give very little. Anyway, something for me to think about for the next run, which will definitely be next week. I'll be back tomorrow with probably DDR, but definitely RimWorld, and then the weekly one-shot after that. So cheers for joining for the first Dominions in a long time. Dominions will be a staple for the foreseeable future, and I plan on chewing through uh, a whole load of these random nations. I don't know what kind of setup I'll do for the next one. Probably not another Disciple game, because holy moly. And, you know, if there are people that want to do PvE uh, co-op in this, I am open to that on Dominions. I rather enjoy doing so. I used to do it, used to do it on Saturdays until I stopped doing Dominions over a dispute with a certain Swede. But that's over, so uh, reach out if you're interested in that. Otherwise, it's a cheers and cheerio.